Alright, D-Class. I am back. Alright, so let's go to boxes. One of these loading up the best the most, because they take a lot of experience to level up. This is, is a lemon. Ares is already done. I just need to level up Lemon. And they're all good. Good Pokemon. God damn it. Fuck off, you little shit. God damn it. I hate it when, when they do that. Or like, they move you around instead of just leaving you in the same spot. Just leave me in the same spot. So I don't get hit by another Pokemon. Now the Pokemon I wanted to fight is despawned. Thanks, game. I gotta go down here. Ooh. I'll fight you. Little shits. There you go. God damn it. I didn't want the child, I want the adult. I didn't even get to, I didn't even look to see what new TMs I can get. Fuck off, you fucking tiny shits. You're not gonna be able to beat me in battle. The camera will stop putting me right up in his ass. It's starting to get annoying. And a bronze on or anything. Let's see two of you take you down first. <laughs> You're just f your experience is just food for my Pokemon. 
<laughs> oh, Jolly Bird. Let's see what new teams I can get. Maybe something good for fucking uh lemon. Bad. Okay, well that's kind of good. Little call. Ooh. Forgot about that. You can find out where Teddy Ursa is and give Metal Claw the lemon. Craft that and give that to someone. Uh, someone on my team. Eventually. Give fucking lemon. So I can't get any good moves from Lemon yet. He evolves. Fucking hate these little tiny shits. Die. There are no Pokemon in this water. So let's 
say. survive the next hit, but... <laughs> There's one. There's a motherfucker. Gotta keep leveling them up. Then I can take on the ghost gem. Fall to these. Grand Inferno's gonna be level 60 by the time I take on that gym. Go and just go in regular fight, see where it's a good place for high level Pokemon. Okay. So let's actually just look at the map. Not that far. So it said the North Province would have a lot of high level Pokemon. So let's try and go there. As well as chances. If I see a chance, you kill it.
also see one of those sparklers. Oh, and the fairy thing's right there. Get your motherfucker out of here! Sorry, bitch. Cat barely did anything. Flamethrower seems to do the most. No! You bitch! Stop using soft boil! trying to catch you for first time because you probably will have a good item. So I think you have that item that gives you more experience. Fuck! Stop, just get caught. No! You bitch! Fucking sack of shit. Mm. Get the living shit out of this damn motherfucker. Stop using soft boil! Please! Oh, what the fuck? I'm just gonna toss Ultra Balls at it. Because there's no point in hurting it if it's gonna keep healing itself. There's no point. Motherfucking ball. God. Voice all my balls at this point. Just on this motherfucking dumbass Pokemon. Thank you! Jesus! I did that fucking damn thing. So order an item. Give an item to hold, so no. Fucking worthless and catching that bitch. 
God damn it. Next time I'm just fucking killing it. to fight the gold dock. God damn it. I didn't want to fucking go over. Ah. Aaron Bright. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been an eye opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Aaron. What do you think of Cannoli? Is that so? Personally, I don't think Kamali feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. And but what would that be? Well, I'd best be back to keep to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? in my party so I can't exactly fight well back a dragon man key That was easy. <laughs> Some good shit. Oh, I got M. I got. I got. Yeah, I got some good shit. I got some good shit. Oh shit! I forgot to limit out of the party and add someone else in. Whoops. Beats <laughs> the purpose of coming over here.
What would be you who's next? Depending on how well these candies are. That definitely helped. Is like a chancy, like a rare spawn or something? Ah, there's one. Get over here, bitch. Yes! Fuck you! This is gonna be a long fight. Motherfucker! Fuck you! God damn it! I didn't want to. I'll return later when it's time for Young Master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. I didn't want to fight. God damn it! Hmm? And who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Master? Ah, I see. Since you're unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's ferry crew. The Rockba Squad, led by young master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. Oh, then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who this young lady might be? She's no friend of ours. You know, I think she might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master? Is that so? Well, then that leaves me with only one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Splendid. Then let us begin. I didn't want to fight. Here, when you get too close to shit. Fuck you. Of course you do that cheating shit. Okay, never mind. Might be in trouble. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you.
Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young master will take his battle prowess far as fast as my poultry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista! A gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I, th I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? So down here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Got a lovely star. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. Base belongs to Team Star's Fairy Crew, the Rock Boss Squad. Your boss Ortega is the mechanic of the team. Maybe the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his girls to do all the dirty work for him. His weak point is the short fuse. Get him good and anger, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and, and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe out the Rocket Boss squad off the map. I wasn't trying to fight them. Okay, you're not shining. Thought you were shining for a moment. Orange one? Oh, fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I can take you out in one hit. Definitely get more experience from hanging out down here than up at ice spot because there's a very few like high level Pokemon up there compared to down here. Lately. And you're dead. This is gonna take a while. Uh, but at least there's a lot of these guys. 
That's the only good thing about being down here. Yes. More mass murder. I'm gonna take your ass down, bitch. Oh, you have made a mistake. <laughs> One hit, bitch. Porion? Yeah, there's a big Porion over there. How odd. I don't even want to. Well, I guess I can take down this bitch. I already fought one, so I know it's freaking stronger against it. Ow. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, do do more damage than you, bitch. Oh, Chansey! Chansey! You get your ass over here! Very stupid, but okay. No! Right there, too. Fuck you. No! Stop using soft boil! Yes, get burned, jackass. Using soft boil, please. For the love of fuck. Thank you. It's so fucking annoying when you use that. Fuck you, Chancy. Fuck you. Great for murdering. You're a ginormous pain in the ass. I need a new job. Again, you send out a really bad Pokemon for me to fight. Jesus. Fucking angles. Instant death.
So what's with people only having one Pokemon? You can have up to six. Let's see. Next time we have heal pulse instead of heart. Soft boiled egg. I actually might be able to kill him with one more hit. Of course you despawn, you sackish. Sylveon. That's what we got. Damn. I can just one shot every Pokemon that come down here. Oh shit, that's right, they're normal. So let's just burn it. Oh, and finally, someone has more than one damn Pokemon. I have a ton of these. That is a penguin. Fuck you. And you're dead. Time to die. You're really big, though. You're dead. Goodbye. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of experience.
Okay, Gyarados is leveling up fast. Ever thinks, uh, thanks to Chansey, which is good. Trainer. Uh, what are we up here? First. High defense for some reason. Just keep using that move. God damn it. Now it's gonna be even harder to kill it. Jackass. Oh, come on. Gotta be fucking kidding me! Every time I get it close to red, he fucking heals himself. Fucking jackass! You know what? Just for you, Chansey, so I'm done. Once I find the last trainer, I think I'll go break, relax for a bit, then come back. Come on! No! God damn it! It's gonna keep using. It's gonna spam soft foil. Yeah, fuck you, critical hit. Soft foil that, you fat fuck piece of shit. Hate that fucking thing. Very, very sh great for experience, experience and everything, but they're pain in the ass. Yep, I was right. They're right up here. God damn it! Didn't want to fucking fight a Pokemon. 
sure. Now you die since you wanted to fight me. Dumb freaking hot pit. Some Gyarados won't say I could die in some. <laughs> and that that was effective. Oh yeah. Good thing I didn't send up and oh dear god. Further up this way, see what else is up here. Get the prize. Seeing four trainers. Ooh. Double ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one down, take that one down, fly up. Only a one though. Which means I'm not gonna get any really good shit. Okay, that was easy. Yes! Three star! And I think the game froze. Oh, nope, there it goes.
That did not do much. Knocking it down. It must fall. They cannot win. They, they can take our land, but they can't take our freedom. Oh. I, I, I'm pretty sure I had health left, but okay. So what up, Gyarados? After I put these shits away. A drill pump. Ooh. Crocodile. That's water of hydro pump. Okay, so. This makes us 36, 35. So, yeah, Bramble Gas will be next. But lucky for me. I still have three of these left. Oh, wait, 37. Jesus. Oh, yeah, there you are. That's my prize. Really? It was a shitty prize. Let's see, in place with this. You can learn Hyper Beam? If you Hyper Beam. Alright. 
So I'm going to take a little break. I'll see you with Danger Noodles in a few.
Hello, hello, I am back. Shut the fuck up, Hatchet. I just need to get Primal Bass to level 40. <laughs> He's gonna find another freaking Chansey. Really? <laughs> Why do you always say that exact thing to someone using something that you put into your stream? Because I can. <laughs> God damn it, these freaking. Flower children. Go back to the orphanage. My head hurts now. It's all thanks to you. Yeah. Let's see, what did you miss? Uh, I beat the- uh, beat the VTuber, gym leader. Oh. Uh, I also killed all the titans. And apparently, as soon as you get in here, I get hiccups. I have that effect on people. Yeah, um... Jesus, you've been doing a lot. Yeah, and I also took uh, the poison leader of Team Star. Uh. <gasps> Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Yes, so far. I've just been getting them all at level 40. I just need to get uh, Bramble Gas, the Chonk, up to level 40. Everyone else is level 40. Sweet. Uh, also, the Chonk was a lifesaver for the final um, Titan. I am so mad at the final ti Titan, though. Alright, so it's the dragon, false dragon titan. You would think it would be a dragon, right? No, it was a giant fish and a small minnow. <laughs> that was the false dragon. This sounds pretty hype. Yeah, and they're a pain in the ass, but I beat them. Too bad you can't capture titans. You can after you beat the story. After you beat the story, but they're not big. They're normal sized. Oh. Yeah, it's stupid. What the fuck is this thing? It's... It's the trans symbol. Oh. <laughs> Dragon immediately joins after you're in here. I cook at the pizza. No one cares. Fuck you. I eat baked potatoes. I ate spaghetti. So did I. Teacher is right about to send to hell now. Uh, the trans icon. Which I one? Think... Oh. I think Bright is now unbased. Right, how could you? What do you mean? Why are you committing transphobia? You have become unbased. Yet another instance of Bright committing a hate crime on stream. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I was also also looking at what legend legendaries there are for mm -hmm. this game. Apparently there's a legendary that looks like Gardevoir, but the armor of what their the clothes are actually armor. It's weird looking. Are you sure? Oh, oh yeah, legends, not like legendary legends. Yeah, yeah. You, your game has all the robots that are kind of. They're not boring, but they're kind of like uninspired. Yeah. And then my game has dinosaurs. 
Oh, I can't capture it, so I have to kill it. Right. I think you got ripped off. The other game has dinosaurs. Well, Bright has a cool motorcycle bike, so it's a 50-50. But honestly, how Coridon? But Coridon scales walls pretty cool. So I think I think Coridon is better than Maridon. I'm gonna try and capture a train symbol. <laughs> Are there wild train symbols around here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I caught it. Oh. See, I it lived. <laughs> Sylveon, the intertwining Pokemon. Sylveon cuts an elegant figure as it dances light lightly around, feelers fluttering, but its piercing moves aim straight for an opponent's weak spots. I'm still really sad we didn't get a new Eeveelution this generation. I don't care. Eeveelution? Yeah, that's what they're called. Do you mean evolution? No, uh, the evolutions of Eevee are called evolutions. Oh. Evolutions, yeah. Because there's so many. Oh yeah, due to how I'm leveling up all my po Pokemon with Grand Inferno, they are at level 54 now. Mine's at 51. <laughs> ha! Mine's higher level, bitch. You've also had the game longer. And I also, for like a good hour or two, was just making ethically bred apples. You can stop saying the bullshit now. No. Ah yes, I love killing off the butterfly population. I love killing off the deerling population. I don't actually know what a shiny deerling looks like. Can I stop I'm hiccuping? Them in hordes. Hatchet, um, what have you done to me? I have given you the curse of hiccups. Why? I don't know. Just cause. Wait, Thought why? Be funny. Why do people get hiccup hiccups? Uh, it's because the um. Diaphragm starts having a muscle spasm. Is that oh. actual? Yeah. That's why the best way to get rid of hiccups tends to be doing things that affects breathing. So because breathing, you have to. It'll, it'll fix itself. Well, not necessarily. Ah, yes. yes. That's the more you know. Hmm. Ah, yes. Roasted Flamingo. My favorite food. I'm genuinely surprised you don't have one of those, uh, Flamigos on your- on your team. I- Why would I want one on my team? Because you like Flamingos! That doesn't and mean- And genuinely- Generally speaking, you're a very impractical person. Yeah. But it comes to Pokemon teams, I get a good team, okay? Flamingo! The Flamingo is pretty good. It's a flying fighting, if I remember correctly. I love the fact that, like, with most Pokemon, they, like, try to come up with some goofy pun or wordplay. But no, they literally just took a single letter out of Flamingo and named it that. Ekans. Well, I mean, at least they made it backwards. Oh, yeah. Due to taking down all the tanks, I want to show you something that shit that I can do. But you got all five of them? Yeah, I killed all of them. I killed all of them. Damn, I, l I only have four killed. I'm behind. I can, cl I can climb. Oh, I can climb, too. Climb. Wait, are you sure you got all five of them? Yeah, I did. Oh. You don't get another thing for the fifth one? Oh, no, I got super jump. Oh. Super jump. 
He has so what, extra what you, hops now. What did you think of the big fish? I hated him. <laughs> yeah. The and only now reason I hate I, Bright because Bright hates the big fish. The only reason I was able to survive the big fish was because of the chonk. The chonk. All praise chonk. The chonk hood took it in there like a champ. Also, apparently, okay, so you know Ice Q? Apparently, uh, that's a version exclusive for your game, but I have Stonehenge. So I'll give you a Stonehenge if you get me an Ice Q. Maybe. It's totally Please, not... I want my penguin boy back. Give it's, him to me. I totally... need him. He's my boy. It's totally like I don't know where a giant nest of them are. Please. Right. Please. Please give the penguin a penguin. I don't want to hear a bunch of whining. Fuck you. Also, I actually, I think there's only one or two. Because there was the starters that were penguins, and then I'm pretty sure Ice Cube was the second penguin Pokemon. And uh, I don't think Piplup is in this game, so... Actually, I, I think they there was a video about them having all starters evolve in, in Scarlet and Violet, so I think they are in the game somehow. somehow. Are, are you sure it's all starters, or like all like game starters that you can get? I think they said all starters. Well, except for Arceus. That was the only difference. Holy shit, Lucario? Why are you shiny? Or not shiny, uh, shining. Also, there's a grave dog. Hi, grave dog. How are you doing? Oh, you're 35. Damn, you're old. No wonder why you're dead. Yeah. Where the fuck are the chances? Yeah, if you don't know, chances give you a shit ton of experience if you kill them. I know. That's why in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, there was actually a little, like, exploit you could do where... You would go to this bush in, I think, the last island, or the island with the mud girl, and uh, you would you would go back in it forth. If the bush was shaking, you would check if it was a chancy, because you would save at like the exit point. If it wasn't chancy, you would restart your game, go out, go back, save again, and then see if it was a chancy, and then kill the chancy if it was. Or I forget if you would kill the chancy, or if you would chain the chancy so that you would get more XP. Yeah, basically, the Pokemon that you attack it with will get 5,000, while the second <laughs> one can get 1 to 3,000 3, experience. I'm just exploring a giant-ass cave system. There, this, this cave system is genuinely impressive. I, mm, I love caves. And unlike in Arceus, you can actually see in the fucking caves. It's not like you're completely fucking just, you're a bat. You can actually see shit. Oh yeah, I can also go turbo now, so now it makes sense that I ride this. <laughs> turbo speed. Why does it look like it's bleeding? Because it probably is. Alright. Bright, are you making your Pokemon bleed? Maybe. What level are you? Oh look, it's the wrestling bird. Oh look, there you are. God, my Pokemon are overleveled. I told you I knew where a nest was. I'm not on your stream. I'm also playing the game on on my screen, so I can't see. Yeah. Brett is Could about to. Wait, please? why is the alligator on a, a raft when they can swim? I mean, cro crocodile. <laughs> don't uh, don't question crocodile. it. Fire crocodile. Okay, flamethrower wow. instantly kills um. it. Yeah, no, it's a it's a literal ice cube, right? <laughs> right. Don't ask genocide the penguins. It's okay. There's a nest over here. Use a don't different Pokemon. Them. Yeah, like use an ice type or some shit. Okay, that didn't work. Right. Stop. You use, use someone other than Grand Inferno. <laughs> oh, look, there's another third one. Why is there a pterodactyl? Please, for the love of God. See, it's fine. Barely. Can you catch it, please? No. Please. 
I'm not catching it. And I'm not giving you Stonehenge. Which is a version exclusive that oh. you cannot get. Oh, yay, I love killing penguins. Please, I just want a penguin. Alright! Stop I, I, killing penguins! I love killing the penguins. Why are you... I think... What is that? Five penguins that Bright's killed? <laughs> penguins... Penguin genocide is fun. Please stop genociding the penguins. Oh, the humanity. Well, they're not human. Uh, no, not my humanity. 15th penguin. Please. She's not even actually fighting them anymore. She's just sending the crocodile in to kill them, like, in the world. Huh. Eskew, the penguin Pokemon. If you lick the ice cover in its face, you'll find it has a faintly salty taste. This species rode here on ocean currents from a cold, faraway land. Well, also, aren't we going to play multiplayer? We can. Yippee. Okay, so... Yeah, I, yeah me and Hatcher were just fucking with you. Yeah, Bright caught one. Yeah, <laughs> this the the third one I didn't even kill. I just heard it. <laughs> we we're just fucking with you the entire time. <laughs> oh, fun fact: when you go into another player's world and a shiny spawns, you can actually steal the 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 shiny. I'm searching for trade partner. No, you have to, I think you have to form a group, and then I can join no. the group. No, I'm doing the trade right now, dragon. For the penguin. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, uh, one moment. I'm in the wild killing hip-hop, okay? Hip You're it. killing hip-hop? Hip-it, whatever. Whatever the fuck the Pokemon's called. What are you trying to be, Ben Shapiro? I need a, I need to catch a hip, uh, hop-hip and name it hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> no, name it Hobson. I'm guessing you're Hobson. using the same code as last night that I set up. Y yes. Did you did you realize I put the funny numbers in it? Yes, I can see that. Hello, yes, Bright. Did you use your eyes to look at the code? <laughs> Look, we don't know if she uses her eyes often. I'm guessing it's one of her only functional organs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, so I don't have to do another break during dinner time, I decided to just eat dinner early. Uh huh. Also, uh, can you trade me one of the one of the uh the cats that you got from Wonder Trading? I only have one. I thought you said you had two. No! Fuck. I can make another one. If you give me it, I can make another one and give it back to you. No. Damn. <laughs> it says searching for trade partner. It might take a bit. I can make another one. Yes. That's how an ethical person speaks about animals. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm trying again. It's not working for whatever reason. Yippee. You want to stop searching? It, it, yes. Maybe it's because I'm not online. You're a I imagine guy. that would be a problem, Bright. You know how to activate Why? it by going to surprise trade. Why? Now I'm on online mode. We never expected Bright to be an intelligent. <sighs> Happy, what do you say about Bright's intelligence? Peppy's a cat. He can't speak. Yeah, you can. Look, my nose itches. Also, oh. also, um, did you notice? Okay, I don't know if um, Maridon does it, but Karidon has like little animations when you go idle and when you're idle in the water, and it's adorable. 
And he he purrs. He fucking purrs. I really don't care. No one found. But, oh, I didn't know. Okay. You have to tell me. Goddamn. Okay, I'm searching now. He, she did. She, she I'm out Shut up. Shut up. She oh, out loud God. said that she was, she had gotten online. Yeah, but that's not the starting trading. Okay. All right, so uh, you want the Chancely, right? No, I don't want the fucking Chancely. I'm not giving you any of my Pokemon, though. I want the I Ice Q. I'll give you. I'll give you a. Uh... I'll give you a Dedenne. I thought you were going to give Bright that one that is, like, exclusive to your version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck Stonehenge. Yeah. Fuck. Dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Uh. Okay, here. Oh, yeah. Hatchet hasn't seen that Pokemon yet. Good work. There you go, guess. Hatchet. Yeah, I've... Yeah, I could guess. why it's in this game if it's supposed also, to be like by the way you can breed that pokemon i just have right now i know no i'm not sure i had it new it's just a bunch of pile of rocks that can breed <laughs> sentient rocks yeah it's also called the republican party <laughs> oh my god am i wrong Please, these this stack of rocks, <laughs> they look like they have at least three more brain cells than the average Republican. They always, they also always look like they're uh, judging you with one of their eyes being selected and all. Oh wow, it really is a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Ice Cube Penguin. You will now go off to another penguin. Yippee! I have, I'm going to make so many penguins. I'm going to have an army. I'm going to take over Spain. Once again, <laughs> this is not how an ethical person talks about animals. All right, Hatchet, here we go. Stone Churner, the big rock Pokemon. This Pokemon spends its life gazing at the setting sun. It strides leisurely across grassy plains on legs of rock that weigh over 400 pounds each. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, do you see one of the, the jumping Pokemon, right, that says I don't have it? I I am not on that screen yet. Oh, sorry. I got Chansey and Mankey. Why? Uh, give me, give me the Chansey. And I'll send you one of the Pokemon you don't have. Okay. One of those bouncing ones is Gardevoir and the the big dragon boy. From Magikarp. Yeah, wait, I don't wait. want the Gyarados. How do you not yeah. have a Gyarados by now? Uh, I just haven't caught one. I'm just I've just been lazy. <laughs> Yeah, Bitch, they're there's on been like one. I in, know, in but this, I'm lazy. In this fucking game, there has been a tendency when Bright was just wandering the shores, Fuck, the why, seaside. No, I didn't cancel it. Fuck. Sorry. Give me the chance here. I accidentally hit B. <laughs> there is. <laughs> why? I want you to. I want you to look at this Pokemon's name that I'm sending you. What did you name them? You'll yeah, see. Yeah, at the very least, in Bright's version, there is a tendency for Magikarp to wash up onto the beach and just sit there flopping around. Yeah, I instead saw. Instead of, like, actually trying to go to the water. I saw. <laughs> I think I think Hatchet there... will enjoy the name of the Pokemon I sent Bright. Sent over JoJo's... <laughs> I don't watch JoJo. JoJo's reference. <laughs> I don't even watch JoJo, and I appreciate that. All right, Squawkabilly. That, that bird. Uh -oh. That bird looks like a JoJo character. Yeah. Squawkabilly. Blue feathers Squawkabilly view their green feathers counterparts as rivals, since the latter make up the largest, most powerful groups. And they're a racial minority.
Yippee. Okay, well, now we can play multiplayer. Yippee, you can see my dinosaur boy. Yippee. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can also see one of the version exclusives I have. I think no. it's quite... Fuck you. I'm forming a group. Uh, if you want to know what it's called, because it's pretty cool, uh, it's called, and I quote, The Great Husk, or Great Tusk. That's pretty cool. Alright, back to making shark cards. Now. Fuck you. Penguin. Mm -hmm. Name a shark. Uh, Jerry. God. Peace. You know what I mean. I don't. I don't know many sharks. Well, just try naming some. Also, bright when you when you uh, uh, megalodon. I'm not. We don't have pictures of an extinct Set shark. Or well, okay. that particular extinct shark. Also, I'm very well prepared to see multiple. Glitches. Oh, same. Uh, I'm gonna just climb up this tower real quick. One moment. Don't mind me. No. Yoink. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Oh. Bright. Well, Give me a. Sh or, if you're about to say something, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna. Uh, two things. One for your shark, uh, Jared from Subway, and. Uh, oh. And I for. I forgot. Uh, for Gimme Ghoul, the treasure chest Pokemon. You have to collect 999 coins to evolve it. Hmm. So the treasure chest have... Pokemon is a gold digger. <laughs> no, that means you have to c commit mass genocide on its other beings to get it to evolve. And I actually saw its evolution, and I'm just gonna say, it's really fucking stupid. It is. It's really bad. Well, now also, I'm that's, yeah, that's the 1,000th Pokemon, by the way. Well, I mean... Right, if it's really fucking stupid... Then that just means that it's perfect for you. Fuck you. Now join, dragon. I am fuck... Goddamn, Peppy. Goddamn. No. Okay, so, Bright, give me an actual shark, please. Lemon shark. Okay, I haven't added lemon sharks. I only thought that because of lemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you can't use Z? Oh, oh that's why I, I... Yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. E. You know, there's actually one good thing about only having one meal a day, though. I don't have multiple intermissions, so I can play a lot longer. That seems like a very... Ha like... I don't know. My brain just fucking died. That seems very, like, hazardous. Not if you're strong enough. Right. Also, it says no communication partner was found. I sent when you I the hit code. Join group. I, I'm using the code. It's not working. 9YX4ME. 9? You put XY. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it was a problem on Bright's end. <laughs> Shut up. I type in lemon sharks, and there's, like, what's happening? very inconsistently whether or not it's an actual, like, the images I'm going to see is an actual lemon shark. One thing is, I really need to level up my Pokemon. Oh, there, we oh, there I am. You just summoned me. Can I punch you? I'm sorry. 
Like, your Pokemon vanished in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> you wait, learned wait, a Pokemon, nothing See happened. See this. Watch. Okay. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> you, what do you think? What the <laughs> fuck is that? It's Dawn Great Fan. Tusk. Great Tusk. I don't know what a Dawn Fan is. Why does it look like a mixture between a mastod- not a mastodon, a woolly mammoth and a fucking crocodile? Okay, the reason is, is my game is set on the future, while Dragons is on the past. I actually looked uh -huh. that up. That's why our titans look different, where mine looks like a robot elephant, theirs looks like a prehistoric creature. Mm. Dog. Thoughts? Thoughts on dog? Shotgun. Can you do this, dragon? <laughs> I can jump higher. Heh. <laughs> Bright's got hops, dragon doesn't. I have wings, though, loser. <laughs> I can do the exact same thing. Yeah, but they don't look as cool. That is true. Oh, you can't climb buildings. Okay. Wait, if I if I fly somewhere, will you be forced to go with me? No idea. Let's find out. Why am I very afraid? So I'm gonna go where I was hunting Pokemon. Oh wait. What the fuck? I think I'm in your world. Are you? Yeah, because the North Province had the fairy. You have the fighting. What the fuck? What the fuck? And I can't even fly to your... To the North Province where I was. The fuck? Right has made the foolish decision. Oh wait, never mind. It was just turned around. Damn it! My right. joke doesn't work now. No, now we can make much, a uh, much different joke. Bright can, are you okay? It, the map was turned, and instead of the usual way it was. It, right. it actually is kind of weird. Like, why is the North Province? Like, all the way south, it looked like. Yeah. <gasps> Chansey! Also, did you get teleported? Nope. Alright, time to burn the Chansey alive. Actually, I, I know how to test if I'm in your world or if you're in mine. Oh. One moment. Did you catch the, the robot legend? I didn't catch any of the legends. Also... Hmm, that's weird. The crocodile is having issues against this small pink ball of whatever the fuck. Egg. It keeps eating their eggs, so it's hard to kill. Pokeball. God damn it! Wow, that's annoying. Yes, it is. Like, it's not even actually a threat to you, it's just... It's just perpetually he healing itself. I literally spent five minutes trying to kill this before. Is that what happens when you try to kill a doctor? <laughs> no. 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 I'm not Are speaking from personal experience when I say that doctors fall down dead if you shoot them. I got the best uh, drain now. I got Giga Drain for Bramble Gas. Are you sure? Oh, wait. Okay, I found a stone joiner. Then, yeah, we're probably in your world. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi, how are you? Why are we in your world? Well, maybe it's like a weird mixed thing where we're in both of each other's worlds. Only one way to find out is if you find a version exclusive of mine. Which is Ice Cube, which means I need to get out of the desert. Which well, means you I need find... to go where I'm at. Actually, 
actually, unless I find your elephant. I haven't. Nope, your elephant is not here. I already caught my elephant, and you haven't caught any more, so. I like how the angle of every game, that, oh, every time I go into battle now, it always zooms in on my starter's ass. Well? I don't know why. It's like, yeah, would you like to see some crocodile ass? Actually, how do I find where you're at? It's rather crass that the game focuses on the croc ass. <laughs> oh my god. I hate Most myself. Oh. Do you not see me on the map? North province no. to the east. Are you at the uh, the uh, snow boys? Are you at snow boys? Existing? I'm at the I'm at the fairy uh team star guy. Oh, the twink. Yeah. I haven't actually went to the twink. The north region. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, okay. When I zoom in. To the uh, east. When I zoom in, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I should go fight the Twink, but I also, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to fight oh, him. Oh shit, I need to take Bramble Gas out of my party. I just wasted that Chansey. <laughs> why is there, why is there a picture? Like a point, I, I found a picture of Lemon Shark. That's like a point of view of someone who's scuba diving with a Lemon Shark. And it's just holding a lemon. Oh wait, I have an idea. You know what type of shark you should add? A lone shark. Is that an actual species, or are you just telling a pun? Alright, let's see. I'll take that down in a bit. Well, let's see if I can see eskews over here during their, in their nest. These don't genocide the penguins anymore. They do give good amount of experience. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's the nest over here. Oh, yep, I see SQ. So yeah, it's kind of like a bizarre mixture of your two worlds. When worlds collide. Now what's now what would be really interesting is if Penguin came over here and could also catch SQ. Yeah, okay, wait, go to the desert and see if you can find any Stonehenge. So I feel like it's easier to find the. No, the I'm staying over the here. Desert. Just come over here. There are a bunch Damn, of... I'm working on it. Damn. Then we'll find out if you can see the eskew. Ooh, that's a real lemony lemon shark. Please let me find an I uh, let me find a penguin boy, please. No. Please. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Weed smoke. What? Oh god. Okay, I need right. a Get the crocodile out of there. <laughs> There's no way that's good for him. <laughs> Don't worry, we smoke will be gone found... now. Actually, let me check my, my Pokédex, because I feel like that would be a good uh, good way to see. God, you're really close to that fairy twink, huh? Yeah, no shit. <gasps> Holy shit, an Espeon! Hi, oh, this buddy. is Dragon Lord's Crystal. Okay, so I can't even use that. So I, you are in my world. Well, then why is SQ spawning? Who knows? Oh, so I found an Espeon. Hi, little buddy. Hi. Morning, Star. It. Oh. Oh, it's a little baby. I love Espeon. Espeon is adorable. Oh my god, I almost one hit kill it. Kill that. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Get in my ball. Get in the ball. Get in you know the fucking ball. No, I'm bored. Ball. I want to go kill that SQ. Motherfucker. Also, is Espeon supposed to be a dog or a cat? Yes. The, the EV evolution is supposed to be dogs, so... What the fuck happened to that dog? I am outside the map. I think. 
That is a wrestling mantis shrimp. That's a piece of ice. Wrestling mantis shrimp. Another wrestling mantis shrimp. A pussy. Right. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find a good image of a lemon shark? This goddamn espion won't get in my pokeball. Ah, Eskew! Time to die. No! Stop killing the penguins. Well, tell them to stop going being in danger. Right, I'm going to tell the penguins that you are in fact an endangered species and make them suffocate you in your sleep. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah. You know how good those little flippers are at, dr at fucking suffocating people? Yeah, they're not very good at it. I killed you a penguin. You would be surprised. Killed the penguin. He's Time to go turbo. Yeah. Are you even close to here, dragon? Uh, yeah, I'm. I think I'm close where you're at. No, I would not like to nickname Espeon. I want to send it straight to the boxes, straight to the Pokemon Gulag. Right. What? If you're curious to the answer to that question, you could literally just open your map. Yeah. I'm right next. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm near you. I gotta heal. Then I can show you the nest. She just, just head bonks the Pokemon Center. <laughs> then, then, then heals. <laughs> I'm inside the dinosaur, but that's not a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Alright, dragon. Come on. Let's go. Turbo mode. One moment. I need to get out. I need to switch out the, the tusk for my actual light Pokemon I have. That's a fighting type. One moment. I'm sending the, the dinosaur back to the gulag. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> They're stretching. Actually, where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm going turbo. I still think, uh, I still think her ride on running is funnier than yours just being a motorcycle. Oh, this is gonna get depressing. Oh, there he is. I see one. I see one. Cause... I... Oh my god, there is! Hi, buddy! Oh my god. Yeah, I was about to say, this is gonna get depressing because... Now that I'm working on sharks... I'm probably gonna be constantly running into sharks that are somewhere... On the... Uh, endangered list. <gasps> Why did you tip your hat to that dragon? No. Okay. Hatchet, what I did is a dragon immediately sees a penguin. I run towards it and kills it. Yeah, I saw. I saw you kill it too. That's the worst part. Is it is played the flamethrower <laughs> animation. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? By the way, did Team Star really take over this entire fucking lighthouse? Those yep. bitches. Those bitches. I'm gonna b obliterate that twink. Uh, have fun. I'm guessing he's really strong. 
Uh, he's probably the highest level Pokemon of Team Star. Great. I'd I'd love to obliterate that twink. Shut the fuck up. I think. Uh, yeah. I don't Actually, even know like, what punching? he looks like. I'm I'm hoping you're mean punching. Oh yeah. By the way, Dragon, I voiced a VTuber. God damn it! Fuck you. Well, yeah, because, uh, I wasn't around. Well, you probably wouldn't have liked the voice I could give them. I try to make them sound as close to Gura as possible. Gura? Yeah, go I mean, I could just yeah. go back to doing my Gura impression. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I assume that Gura is just a Pokemon that's constantly saying Gura. Hey, Hatchy, can I borrow that Glock 15 of yours? Swear to God, if you kill another goddamn penguin, I'm going to find you. I'm fighting a Chansey. And I don't have a gun. Or do you? Well, actually, I do, but it's dysfunctional. It's like an old 22 rifle my dad had. Oh. But we don't have ammo for it, and it would like need a shit ton of maintenance to actually fire again. Wow, I'm finding a lot of chances. I just love butchering eggs before they can hatch. All that and abortion. I don't really think that's what's going on here. You're killing a creature that is that is currently holding hard-boiled eggs. They're soft. Oh no! Eggs. Actually, in a Pokédex, that's actual eggs they're eating, like not boiled at all. Then they they take it, boil it, then eat it. Like they're alive in there. Like live animals. That can I go camping? Everything that you just described does not equal there are live animals developing in those eggs. Oh well, I found I, a chancy, huh? Well, Dang I it. think that's what I was trying to get by. Like they they're I'm developing gonna... in the eggs and then they just cook them. I found what I remember. Chancy. Oh god, they're running away. Get back here, you bitches! That's how they heal Fine. themselves. Motherfucker. <sighs> anyway, well, I, I mean, well, I mean, technically, yeah, that's how a lot of people eat their eggs. But, like, that basically just describes literally any type of preparing an egg. Like, does it specifically say that the egg is fertilized? Bank at one Pokédex entry, yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is gonna be the best image of a lemon shark I can get. Nah, I'm not battling you. Would you battle a lemon shark? <laughs> no. Cause you can't punch a lemon shark. Are you experiencing any lag? Cause I am, it's very no. laggy on my end. I'm fine. You suck. And what do you mean, Bright? You could feasibly punch a lemon shark. I would just punch you afterward. <laughs> Ass ass assuming that, uh, assuming that you punch the shark without provocation. And even then, in that case, like you probably punishing. already, you probably agitated the shark. That would have led to the shark trying to bite you. By wearing so all probably... black in the ocean. What? What? Oh, I, I remember uh, in science class there was a scientific study where basically a person who wears like really black scuba gear or whatever starts to confuse them for seals. And like bite that, them. That yeah. generally required, well, one, that's only looking at shark species that hunt seals, which I'm right. pretty sure lemon sharks don't. And two, um, that's primarily when you're at the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. um, generally speaking, it's actually better to wear a black bodysuit that is non-reflective because um, other colors are more likely to get the attention of, sh of fish. Ah. Is part of why, like, for instance, like, Barracuda 
people commonly talk about how dangerous Barracuda are, like 99% of the attacks on people from Barracuda is because they had something shiny on them. And the, the Barracuda, not being the most intelligent of fish, registers shiny thing as being potential food. Wow. Oh. So, like, when you have something shiny on your person, it makes it more likely for fish to see you and be curious. And when you're dealing with literal apex predators, that can that that might not be a good thing. Yeah. Once I get them all level forty, I'm gonna take on the gym. Wait, can, wait, Dragon, can you join me when I take down a gym? I think so. Huh? Also, oh, what gym are you gonna take down? What gym are you gonna take down? The ghost one. Oh. Have you taken down the normal one? No. It's really easy. I really don't care. You need to take it down eventually. I might need to run. Holy shit! That bird just beat the shit out of a fiery crocodile. Oh wait, I just forgot. The chonk won't get hurt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, chonk... is that a water type? Yeah. Oh, I got jelly bird. I uh. love jelly bird. Hello. The chonk's gonna make you pay for that. What? For killing Grand Inferno. They're getting their revenge. I like how they, they put a skull Chunk. and crossbones on top of Chonk. The Chonk gets the Jolly Roger. Yeah. <laughs> they become the a Chunk pirate. Is... <laughs> yeah, the Chonk is a pirate. You are a pirate. You're a that didn't do much. <laughs> Are you a pirate? No. Then die. Okay, that did a lot. Jelly bird. I love jelly bird. Yippee. Ah, thank you for the water. God damn it, I killed it. Jellybird is such an interesting Pokemon because it's a pure gimmick, but it's also like the gimmick but one shot you or like heal you and it's like Jesus fucking. Oh Christ. look, a Vaporeon. Don't you fucking say anything. Thing is I wasn't gonna attack it till you said something. Oh I don't care if you attack it. You should, oh. capture the, it. you should ca you should capture the fish cat creature. Uh I think it's a dog. I think. We're a weird mixture of dogs. Yeah, AV evolutions are dogs. Uh oh. I still don't understand that. You should capture whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> fish. Oh shit, I poisoned it. Oh no. Better use your best ball. Oh wait, they can actually... They can heal themselves? They had Aqua Ring, but it's not gonna save them. Yeah, it's not gonna... Are you, you little freak? The fuck? What Get into you? the great ball. What is this thing? Oh my god. Damn it's it. gonna die. Oh, that's dark type. Water is <laughs> and then they can't do anything to the chunk. Oh, it's it's a uh, pre-evolution. Fridge backs. Oh, it'll bang. Oh, it's at it'll one bang. health. It's, it's at bite. one health. Do you think that the poisoning like uh doesn't like can't actually get rid of them? Is it starting to seem almost like poison in Minecraft? Like, where it'll get you to be really low on health, but it won't actually kill you. Oh no, poison will kill you. Oh yeah, it will kill you eventually. Oh, okay. It, it, it actually, it's okay, so at first it starts pretty low at the amount it'll hurt you, but then it keeps, like, each round it keeps hurting you more and more. Oh wow, that's actually really fucking powerful. Yeah, that's why, uh, in competitive, I don't think they use it anymore, but I'm pretty sure a ye old they used to set up a 
a poison Chansey stall. So because Chansey's so bulky, uh, they would have someone poison and then they would switch over to a Chansey and then the Chansey would just dwindle, like take all the damage until until the, the like big heavy hitter of that team died. <laughs> uh, I gotta put my ointment for my tattoo on. Mmm, oil. Could you drink the oil? I said ointment. What the? Where yeah, did you get oil ointment. from? Same thing. No, it's not. Bob, <laughs> can you drink it? No. Have you tried? It's well, not... no. The... You can drink it. It's just not going to go well. Yeah. Also, right? Have you tried? Itself. Have you fucking tried? No. Why would I? Stop, pussy. I'm not gonna die because you're being a dumbass. <laughs> why did this? Okay, so this. Why is this fucking Glaceon's Terra type also Ice type? That's okay. That yeah, that works out fine for me. I can light it on fire, and I want one shot because it, it's Terra type. Is there like variants between like what Terra type an animal or an animal? A Pokemon is, I think and it's like what their random. actual type. Mm. Yeah, the terra typing is completely random. So sometimes it it'll, it'll just align with the actual typing they are. Like with the chonk mm -hmm. having a poison terra type. Yeah. Also, like okay, so terra Pokemon you can find in the wild. They glow yellow, or you can find them in terra caves. Uh, those will most uh, most of the time have a random offshoot of their typing, but the Pokemon like the starter or Pokemon you catch that weren't glowing yellow or you didn't find in a Terra Cave, those will almost always be one of the typings that it is. Yoink. I like the fact that we just don't even care about its actual species name anymore we just refer to that particular pokemon as the chonk yeah and we all know what's and we all know what we're talking about it's chunky all right time the for me chonk. to take on the gym oh wait i just realized Grand inferno went from level 48 to level 57 i don't want to kill this frost moth so i'm throwing a quick ball at it please get in the ball yes i got a frost moth yippee what gym were you going after? The ghost gym? Yeah. And then were you gonna head up to the ice gym to see the... Well, I'm gonna level up a bit more. Only one that can take the ice gym is Grand Inferno. Actually... Well I, well, I mean, the ice gym only has level 40 Pokemon, doesn't it? No, it has level 47 need, and stuff. All you need oh. is some, uh, like, one really good dark type and then you're good. Well, I got my starter. At level 57, when they're at level 40. Is your- your starter is a ghost type. Ghost types are weak against ghost types. Yes, but they have dark moves and I have a high speed stat. True. So... So as long as I go- Yeah. I may or may not be... Uh, anxiously anticipating the chance to see the cute bundled up femboy again. I can tell. <laughs> I can very well tell, Hatchet. <laughs> we can tell. He really is so adorable. I, I know, still... I really like him too. I still find it so funny that fucking... An article after his uh, reveal, an article came out with, I think it was along the lines of, gamer bros are confused, are sexually confused at the reveal of new male gym leader. <laughs> that's that's a fire article title. No, because the amount of like uh, dude bros and like yeah gamer bros, they're like, oh no, she can't be a man, she can't be a man, look at her, and it's like, and he's just there like, I am. Hello, catch it. See you I again. I am cold. Uh, give I'm me a second. A I Die, am... This is weird. 
It might be because I defeated the VTuber. Alright. Also, can I don't think Ayano is a VTuber because she just uses herself. I don't care. We call her the VTuber. He's a streamer. <laughs> I'm calling her VTuber. I don't care. You're wrong and dumb. I don't care. Nothing in a Pokemon world makes sense, so it doesn't matter. I mean, technically it does make sense because uh, Spain is right next to France and we can see Kalos from the... We don't Aldonia. know if that's Kalos. We know it's Kalos. No, there's no proof given that that's Kalos. Have you seen the area around there? It's all fucked up. I'm actually near the area right now. It is fucked up. It right. also has Kalos Pokemon. I will be right back. You two keep arguing here. Alright, I'm just gonna skip it then. No, no! Also... <laughs> okay, I'm here. <laughs> also, um... also, why are you complaining if... Okay, if we get a Kalos DLC, you get to see the hot French professor guy again. I, I don't, don't understand care what about the find professor. That <laughs> I don't give a shit about the okay, professor. Okay, then, then Hatchet gets to see the professor French guy. We, there's no clarification if there will be a Kalos DLC either. I, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> you just say speculation after speculation. Yes, that is what I do. Can I mute the child? Shut up. Why are you asking permission to do that? It's your server. Okay, I feel much better. There we go. <laughs> Wait. Don't get me wrong. I didn't cho cho choose you. I don't. Right. I didn't right. chase you down just to battle you. But then again, I guess I wouldn't mind the battle or anything if you wanted to. <laughs> what do you say? She's so gay. Don't say no, Bright. <laughs> you are going to battle this girl. I want to kick her ass. Yes, battle time. You and me, Aaron. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to fine tune my team. Then we can battle. Also, I love the fact that with... Can I... Am I unmuted? No. Yes, you're unmuted, but we're... Okay. I'm still... I'm no, still I can't reading. hear you, Dragon. I want to talk about... In fact... Oh, God damn it, Bright! I thought you read it! No, I didn't! That was a different voice line! Alright, let's go take her on. I, th I, th I think the best part about Nimona is the fact that... The only Pokemon that isn't like God damn it. a Pokemon she's had previously is the starter. She keeps changing her team besides the starter every time. <laughs> I'm still gonna keep her kicking her ass every single time. Yeah, I mean you, to progress chose... you have to kick her ass, so you know. Oh, she's gone. Yeah. Have a love. I guess we do have to take on the gym first. Well... Wait. What? Oh, you're taking on the ghost type gym, aren't you? Well, 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 uh, well, uh, 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 They don't get uh, voice uh, lines. Uh, 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 Which is why I was going... Ow, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> they just start singing in every rock. <laughs> Oh no, not this again. I'm not reading this shit again. <laughs> this is the whitest bullshit I've ever heard. What is it? It's the rap battle before oh. you fight the ghost gym leader. Yeah. I also have a bunch of revives and potions too. Yeah, like, again, this sounds like the shit that came out of, uh, iCarly's, and the i- <laughs> Face. 
the iCarly and Victorious crossover. Oh yeah, I found out. You know Toothless? We were wanting to... Uh, we had that on the team for a while. I could have evolved Toothless the entire time. Who was Toothless? The ice whale thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that was Toothbrush. Oh, Toothbrush, yeah. Nah, a toothbrush. Yeah, all you need is an ice stone. I have one. Are you going to? Nah. Die. Toothbrush is a, sit as a baby forever. <laughs> Die. But I want to see Toothbrush evolve. I want to see Toothbrush brush grow old and die. Jesus! How long until it becomes a necessity to stage an intervention for the child? <laughs> Good question. No idea. I couldn't find a good image that like shows off the yellowness of a lemon shark while also looking at its face. So we're getting a picture of a lemon shark shunning the camera. That's just every picture of a lemon shark. No, there's there's some pictures where lemon sharks like practically booping the camera. It's just like those pictures also rarely show off how yellow they can be. And lemon sharks be homophobic. What the fuck? I highly, I, hi, I highly, highly doubt it, considering they don't know what that means. <laughs> and they also probably, just given the way that things work in the animal kingdom, they probably experience bisexuality. Most animals are at the very least bi engage in some level of bisexual behavior. Is that why bison are called bison? No. No, no. Oh. It, that, that name existed long before scientists decided to actually start looking to see if there was non-heterosexual stuff in nature. I keep finding black stakes in the ground, and I keep picking them up, and I'm pretty sure they're cursed because every time I bring- I, I pick them up, they crumble in my hands. Let's see. Also, you are absolutely- Also, oh. you are absolutely beating the shit out of her. Oh yeah, this time I am. <laughs> absolutely beating the shit out of her. Also, you can beat gyms in multiplayer, okay? Yeah. Uh oh, not the tombstone dog. Also, did you know that tombstone dog is actually banned and competitive? Why? Because uh, it, one of its abilities, if every party member except for itself is killed, uh, it'll boost its attack by 300%. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I mean, wait, then, like, the easy solution there is to just... to know that you need to kill that thing first. Well, its other ability it makes it, like, almost impossible to kill because it makes it really tanky. Oh. So, yeah, that's why it's banned. It's really fucking good. Is why she is forcing it? a whole bunch of the little ones to evolve? Maybe. Also, I just found a Poke Center underground. Why are you here? Oh, Don't wait, worry uh, about it. There's, little, there's a little, a bit of light. It's what? Why are you here? Hmm? Well, that's pretty cool. I love the caves in this game. Are you playing Minecraft? Yes. <laughs> oh, and and held it like a champ, and held it like a champ. They're at 7 health. If you're actually friendly enough with your Pokemon, they'll live on 1 health. And now the major problem is gone. Fuck you, bitch. 
Wait, but now you have to deal with a dog that has plus 300% damage. Well, oh, wait, again, no. Did you already take out the dog? No. The child was literally just describing that function of the dog's abilities. Well, I, that has to be on a six-party team. It could be. It's probably less since it's probably... Is it four or, or three Pokemon on our team? Four. Four. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually 150. Oh, uh, it's still significant. Why is this dumb dog still just being invisible? They're underground in the shadows. Uh... And I was Oh, dead. wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And just ripped that dog a new asshole. <laughs> Fun fact, when that dog's pre-evolution was revealed, uh, the, the dog killed a person. What? What? You didn't see the reveal trailer on Twitter for it? Of course I didn't. No. I'm not yeah, on it should have killed a person. Twitter. Yeah, in its Pokédex, it describes that if you spend too much time with it, it, it loves people. But if you spend too much time with it, it you will it will fucking kill you. You will die. Wait, the, but she has this as a Pokemon though. No, the evolution. Giving up the ghosts, not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, buddy. Why did I give her, like, a southern accent all of a sudden? It sounds like know. a smoker. <laughs> that might be because my throat hurts. Are you just skipping through dialogue? I actually skipped. You've got spirit, kid. You were in my gym badge, alright? Also, okay, so you know the crater in the middle of the map. I don't care. I'm middle... I... 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 Currently reading dialogue. Sorry, sorry. And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? No. I'll pass. Please just give me the. Please just give right. Oh, dear the God. Fucking... Oh, God. I'll, I'll take the pass. Her rapping is awful. You're awful. That nice comeback. You, you just really beat me with facts and logic there, kid. Shut up. You know what I'll do, Hatchet? Five. We're going to Ice Gym next. Hell yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, well, I mean, if you don't want to head there next, then you should go take care of some of the easier gyms. Well, yeah, no, the, the, I the wanna, normal type? The I want to see if really... we can take it down. Yeah, that's fair. But don't blame me if you get your ass whooped by the femboy again. That's fine. With five gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. And they'll listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna let you have this. Why does she sound like she's been smoking for the last 50 years? She's yeah, been smoking because... since birth. That... <laughs> That's Jesus because Christ, I have dying. been. Someone call an ambulance. I came out the womb with a doobie in my mouth. What the fuck? Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle. No, 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 fuck that. <laughs> Instead, who knows? No, no, I do not want to hear Bright rap. That sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'm sure I'm you've got some scary that. good adventures I'm ahead. Not. I'll be cheering for you later. What rise of chainsaw? <gasps> Nothing. I'm pretty uh, sure I'm... there's multiple things that rhyme chainsaw. A uh, coleslaw. Law. Oh, oh it's that lady again. It's the one. Jerry's not here. No, it was Jerry who read it. Oh, was it Jerry? God yeah. damn it! My brain. They get. They get. Jerry gave them a really hypish voice. Ugh. I know the gym leader defeated. Oh, oh we can both be there worse, and the unusual treasure worth looking me and I on. It seems 
sushi menu, I guess just much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League. Eh? Guess who's at the Pokemon League right now? That just flew to it pretty easily, actually. I don't care. Oi! Oi! Aaron! I've got my team all picked out. Why is she Scottish? That's not what I'm doing. My Russian accent, you dingus. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh man, it's pneumonia. And I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. Oh, good to see. <laughs> good to see you again, champion pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> that name will never get old. No, it won't. It has certainly been a while! Oh, wait. Uh, La Pangea? With Aaron? She's thinking that we're dating. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Pneumonia's getting jealous. Why Is she, she that it? important? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? <laughs> she turned her head in a way that made her look offended. Yeah. Everyone calls Miss Greta. La, 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 uh, uh, my brain. La, la Bangia. Because she's just that. She's the real number one. Even. Even higher than us regular champions. She is an entire single continent world. She's the top champion. Oh, so I see. I gotta whoop her ass. Phrasing. Hatchet. I do indeed hold that claim. Alongside, why did I turn into the? I turned into the janitor. <laughs> You indeed hold that claim, little buddy. Alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. What's inside the bucket? What bags? I don't see no bags. <laughs> Cranberry juice. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout out rather promising your young talent. Yeah. Oh, I look away for one second and you're famous, Aaron. But hey, I found Aaron first. <laughs> She's so gay! You may be La, La Pangea. But you can't go stealing her from me. <laughs> She's so gay. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. Oh, God. That's right. Come on, Aaron. Time for our battle. Wait, let's go. The middle field's calling. Wait, do I not get to heal my Pokemon? One mullet, Wait please. Uh, yeah, see, they, 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 did, they removed the thing that made the past games challenging, where they would heal before battle, and now you have to suffer. Wait, what do you mean that made the past games challenging? Because they wouldn't heal. Oh, they wouldn't heal? Nope. I would very much like to observe this m Oh wait, no, that's Greta. I'd very much like to observe this mess, if that is alright! Oh, uh, totally fine by me. 
Sounds fun, right there. <laughs> no, Aaron! Aaron! Wait, I actually hit no. yes! No! I God yes. damn it! I hit yes and it went down! <laughs> God damn it, Brian! <laughs> I accidentally let go of the choice thing and went down. This is. This, how is Bright failing to get a fictional girlfriend? Oh. There's I no have dating need. simulators. Oh, there's no need to be nervous. Oh god. Why? Is now she... that I gave, why not? Now that I gave her that voice, this has such a different context. Oh. I'm still Let's gonna be on our way then. That side eye. I love how your character is seemingly completely mute. She only ever nods or shakes her head. I like to imagine that mostly the like player characters in Pokemon use sign language. <laughs> and everyone just understands what the fuck like they're signing. They're like, holy shit, I didn't know sign language before this. God damn. How do I know now? You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges for more videos. I don't. You get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Wait, then what does that make you? Fuck you. No, I was meaning like pneumonia. Oh. She's one of the champions. Well, yeah, but she's also eating shit every time she fights us. Well, yeah. she you, she also knows you're a new trainer, so. Oh. She's still obviously going way too easy on us. At one point, she took out fucking level 20 Pokemon when Bright was at, like, level level 30-something. Look, yeah. she doesn't want her, her crush to be embarrassed, okay? Hey, you must face the Pokemon League! Right? Okay, that's much better. What's up? Oh, I had to change to what position where my headsets were at. So it's starting to hurt my ears. It is located in the northwest of... Uh, uh, mozzarella. The Pokemon League is where trainers are born as champions. The This is starting to sound like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest honor that they might dream of. <laughs> what hatchet? You don't want to be a part of a cult, huh, loser? Huh? You don't want to be a part of a cult, huh? Little, little think, loser wimp, huh? I, I think I think I'll just stick with Loki. The Loki cult. Oh. No. No, Bright. No. Well, I mean, if it was in an ancient sense, then maybe. Like, the original usage of the term cult in antiquity was very different from the modern one. God damn it, Bright. <laughs> I hit it while I was messing with my controllers. If you can face the challenge of the final ex examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into the champion mindset. Adrenaline rush. Now, set your sights on reaching that big important stage, and let's bet. I'm gonna go fight the gym, uh, the ghost type gym leader now. Oh. oh. Excuse what? me one moment. I believe Aaron's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. I lied. She heals your Pokemon. Sorry. Got a little cold up in my battle hunger. Well, you should all be in great shape now thanks to... ...that... ...that Kanjia. Okay, Aaron. Time to put our game faces back on. 
I swear, if her Pokemon are only at level 30... I swear... I have news. What? Well, what level are they? I don't know. I, they have not thrown a Pokemon out yet. Yeah, she's just doing her super cute getting ready to throw a Pokeball animation. Lion Cry. Okay, is it day or night form? Day, maybe? I, I think. And they're, they're 36. 36. <laughs> so. Let me just. <laughs> it's super effective, but look how much damage it did <laughs> compared to how much damage I did. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't even have to switch out Pokemon, I can just keep... Yeah, you can Pokemon. just keep blasting all over Pokemon with fire. Yeah. Unless, the, unless she uses a fire type. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The weird little slug? Not very effective, Goomy? Huh? Its name is Goomy? Yeah, you don't like Gumi? <laughs> I like how it's not very effective and I'm killing it in two hits. It's not very effective and it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> don't kill the baby. Pomo. The fuck is Pomo? Oh, that. The <laughs> She's sending out the awful Pikachu clone. <laughs> well, she just surprisingly strong. Die. <laughs> it was, her last Pokemon was one that like is that was the only one. Oh, oh, she has four this time. I think this we're about to see the final evolution of the starter. But uh, no. I didn't choose. Oh yeah, Nascarda. It turns oh, into wow. a bandit cat. It's not a bandit, it's a oh my. magician. Oh my. There's... There's something... I don't Hatch know it. what, but there's something about that, uh... I, uh... Stop talking. There's what about something. now? The cat is hard. Hatchet! What the fuck? I'm just stating a fact. They're made out of crystal now. See, now your crocodile is hard. God damn it, Hatchet. I'm stating facts. Wait, I yeah, swear- Yeah, but you're not using facts or logic. I swear, if her cat is female, that would be worse. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, it'd be kind of on brand in this game with all the muscular women to have a hard female. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't even get to see whether or not the cat was female. <laughs> nope. It it's just immediately dead. roasted it alive. <laughs> Obliterate it. <laughs> no fucks given. <laughs> The chonk leveled up. And now her cute ass little failure animation. Or failure pose or whatever. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. I've already been paying much attention to you. Uh. <laughs> I'm about to kill a puppy. He's clapping. Yippee! I can actually hear clap sound effects. Uh, an amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as Champion Pneumonia. <laughs> why? Oh no, why did you make her sound like that? I'm giving her the janitor's voice. That was a splendid match! I enjoyed watching very much. 
You see how I'm 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 tapping my hands together? That means I <laughs> Why I just beat a child and he just went one plus one is two, right? No, it's five, dumbass. No, even low. <laughs> no, even Law Pangea thinks you're one. Thinks. <laughs> I just remembered that I was originally calling her La Lasagna. <laughs> thinks you're one to match. Want to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. Yeah? Oh, wait. Yeah, you've been this... sure of something since we met? Uh, before we continue, I actually looked up the bit conversion rate. I get 80%, Twitch gets 20 Oh, oh. sweet. So it's not 75 Are there people talking in chat? My my chat's no. still doing the weird thing where it's... Okay. I... My chat's doing the weird thing where it keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Like, my entire chat window is filled up with welcome to the chat room. Mm. Because it well, just keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Do you feel welcome, Tatchet? Mm. Do you feel welcomed? You're going to become a champion. No doubt about it, Aaron. <laughs> oh, by the way, Hatchet, move on. when I defeated all the Titans, uh, Mabosif started walking and being healthy again. Yay! Oh. Wait, Bright. What? Did you, did you piece together that you... A character named Aaron was attacking oh my God. the Titans. Shut the fuck up. Did you know? 725678789810. What? Don't be racist. Let's continue. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. How? What? That's the joke. It makes no sense. Yeah. The the joke is 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 that you just said a string of numbers and I called you racist for it. You know what'd be funny if someone came in the stream, the first thing I hear is "Don't be racist." In <laughs> no context. <laughs> Don't be Don't racist. racist. I, I am a building. building. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be racist. I am a building. <laughs> That's what an Italian says to someone who hates Italians. What? <laughs> what? What is that? Because Italians, because Italians put an A instead of am, or like they put an extra A vowel. I am. Uh... Okay, catch it. Uh. The rest of these gems, you can take them. Hundred percent, no problem. Whip that femboy's ass. Or I, I wait. Um, Hatch never it. mind. I did not actually think about the 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 way that that could sound. <laughs> so instead of okay, so Pokemon I doesn't so, have. I am apparently subconsciously the H word. Uh -huh. Okay, wait. So. Pokemon does not have a femboy's a femboy hooters, but it does have a femboy ski uh, ledge. Ski ski ledge. Ski lodge. Ski lodge. Wow. There, there's just one single ski ledge. <laughs> it's it's oh, good to know that it's it's good to you see, you know child it's it's good to know that you've at the very least learned a little bit from your parent figure. By not being able to fucking speak.
speak well. Fuck you. Look, English is 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 it's a is dead my language. First language, okay? <laughs> is that a fact? Mm-hmm. Well, then again, like it's your first language, but you're from Florida, which basically means that it's like your first half language. You only got half of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hatchet. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. I like her. Terra Blast. Terra Blast. Unironically, un uh, most of the characters in this game are like the most likable in the series so far. Like the rivals mm. likable, like the other. Arvin like started out like kind of an ass but hole, but then then and oh, yeah, oh, like Jesus Christ! Sympathetic. Then you start like oh that's why he's kind of an asshole. He's, yeah, oh. like he's sympathetic. Yeah. You've got. You've got, you got the daddy rival. issues. He got daddy issues and mommy issues, but those issues only match up to the game you have. He has mommy issues in my game. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. And I, you know you've got the rival. You've you've got the rival who is very thinly hiding her extreme infatuation with the player character. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, be read as platonic, but then they have a bunch of gay people playing the game, so they're like, oh, that bitch is fruity as fuck. That's probably the case, but you know what? Fuck it. Well, Here, here's, here's, here's my hot take. Uh, my favorite way to view media is through death of the author. Therefore, what matters most is the interpretation of the individual reading it. I think it depends on the people who worked on it, because... In a lot of Pokemon games, it, they really made your rival re re really fall in love with you. Like, there was like one where you went on a date. <laughs> yeah, in X and Y, I'm pretty sure, like, one of the characters, uh, like, one of the female characters, Deadass, brings you on a date. Yeah. And you watch fireworks. Yeah. But, anywho. If a Pokemon uses that move while Terra stabilized, the move's tab will change to the Terra tab. The move's tab will ch Oh, wait. Of the Pokemon. <laughs> Why did you make her sound homophobic? What? I, I made... <laughs> well, actually, come to think of it, there's no way that the janitor isn't homophobic. I feel like the janitor's probably every type of phobic. His self phobic. He's, he's the he's the homelander of the kindergarten games. Yeah, that like he's sense. like honestly, honestly, I'd be willing to guess the only reason why he didn't call Jerome a racial slur at some point is just be is just because he knew he'd get fired. That's that's my head cannon for the janitor. Also, also he's that's a bit he's possible. also yeah, probably. he's also self phobic, which means he hates he's uh, afraid of himself. Oh, I mean that much is obvious. Have you seen the man? <laughs> but yeah, like like I know it's fucked up, but honestly, like it really tracks with his character. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I feel like, I feel like Applegate's kind of that way too, just to a lesser extent. But anyway. Welcome to American schools. Uh. <laughs> uh. Depression. One day, Aaron, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. Maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I'm going to go train. <laughs> oh no, that insinuates. I'm... Oh no. I'm also, they live in dorms. Train. Oh no. And they were roommates. I'm going to go train up even more than I already have. She just sprinted in the direction of a wall. Maybe. There's nothing in that direction. There's like the DJ stand and a rock wall. Why did she She's sprint in that direction? Is she alright? 
Look, she's hoping that you don't notice that she may be a bit empty in the head. She is just <laughs> Zoro from One Piece, that's all. Isn't Zoro- don't, don't people joke that Zoro is racist because most of the people he killed are, like, black? No. Or is that a different character that people yeah, make yes, a joke about? Yes, they joke about it, but he's not. Yeah. It's pure coincidence. It's pure, I mean, it's pure coincidence. It just so happens that well, actually the thing that kills are black. <laughs> Wait, no. Actually, the thing is, most of the Marines he kills, which is thousands upon thousands, are all white. So he actually kills more white people than black people. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> like the one thing I know that's a joke in the One Piece community. I know very little, but. Is Zoro? People jokingly say Zoro is racist. Like no. it's always in a joking manner. No, the the main joke about Zoro is that uh, he he lacks sense of direction. He always gets lost, no matter what you do. You tell him go straight, you'll somehow find him going backwards. <laughs> okay, so let's recap. This character named Zoro <laughs> has terrible direction. And seems to constantly stumble into seeming, seemingly engaging in hate crimes. I think Zoro is bright. Hey! <laughs> I mean, do I need to bring up the black neighborhood? No. <laughs> I wasn't also, even paying attention about... to my murders. <laughs> also, fun fact about Rhyme... Um, no. if I remember correctly, she actually has a sister in the, like, that's a teacher at the school, and I'm pretty sure her name is Time. Like, I, fir I first saw the lady, I'm like, holy shit, wait, you're not, you're not the gym leader, are you? I don't actually know if they are actually sisters, though. Probably not. They meant Time. Anyway, Hatchet. Yeah, very, like, very, -Y -E. very, very, very good job naming your kids their parents. You, you yeah. feel so clever, huh? She shows you such support and... F Wait, no, that's... The she shows you such important friendship. Or perhaps... Even she's picking up on it. <laughs> perhaps she hopes you will truly might be her rival? Actually, I knew... Yes, that's what we're going with. And they were rivals. And they were rivals. <laughs> The, I'm not going to say the, uh, the last name, but there was a person that I do remember in elementary school that he got heavily bullied. Their name was Kong Godzilla last name. Someone plays called CPS on their parents. <laughs> <laughs> what were their parents smoking <laughs> when they had this child? <laughs> That she somehow uh, that they somehow become a kaiju, maybe. Uh. No, I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. God, Ryan's animation for the start of her battle is so cool. I love the animations in this game for the gym leaders. It's so. No. Yeah. Like this game has issues, but damn, they're fun. I want more rate. glitches. We know. Wait, look at the windmill rate. shadow. <laughs> Your guys, it's going so slow. Well, what are you gonna do? As we all know, everything that's not in the immediate foreground of this game goes at five frames per second. <laughs> yeah. That's just yeah. how it is. You just have to get used to it. it time, time is entirely hinged on whether or not you are next to it. Mm -hmm. At any rate, allow me to return to the gym where I found you. And that's it. <laughs> Your group has been disbanded. A what? I want it was it was too laggy. I had to leave. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine.
I wasn't experiencing any lag. Yeah. If I bite Bennett, Bennett, yeah, Bennett. Bennett? Are you just gonna bite Bennett? Why? Bennett. Uh, I actually use. No, yeah, just bite Bennett and then sucker yeah, why punch the Mimikyu. Or yeah, why the Alpha fuck is the. Mimikyu. Why the fuck is the world completely different now? Yeah, and my flying spot's gone. I went here. Well, I guess you gotta hike. By hike, I mean ride on your fucking mechanical motorcycle dragon. Gotta go on turbo speed. Yes, time to see the femboy again. First thing I do when I get there, I'm definitely gonna have to heal. Heal up, so I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, probably should have done that before leaving. Probably. You always gotta gas up your Pokemon. Just gotta sh no, never mind. Also, I'm pretty sure I just killed the ghost type gym leader without her being able to use her her Terra type. <laughs> oh wait, no, never mind. No, I think she has five Pokemon. No, she has four. You just sent out Toxicity. She has five. What? No, she only wait. had four when I fought her. Wait, maybe because I killed all her Pokemon in one go, she she got another one added, or maybe because this is my sixth gym. She got another one? That's Maybe. probably what it is. Okay, but Toxer City makes a lot of sense for her to have. Yeah. Alright, so I'm done with Lemon Shark. What's what's next? What 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 else should I add? All of them. I'm not gonna do that. Give me an actual shark. Um a Goblin pink shark. shark. Pink shark. Pink shark I'm fairly confident doesn't exist. And goblin oh. sharks I've already added. Uh, one moment. Let me just, uh, let me, let me just... <laughs> bitch shark. Types, types of sharks. Shark. Here are the first three. Whale shark, megalodon, and tiger shark. <laughs> the second one is extinct. Uh... I don't have a whale shark yet, though, so I'll go and do that. We're about to do the femboy uh, battle. Basket? Bullsh Wait, what, what the fuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> I already have those two. Basket anyway, and now time yeah, for me to read. Have those two. Damn. Hello, hello, Aaron. Oh, God. Please stop. How does your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting yet for yet. That's great. Look at you. Know exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I'm waiting here to make sure you know your home teachers got your back. I got a lucky egg. I could have used this earlier, you sack of shit. Hey, don't bully him. And also, you haven't visited his classroom since you started your thing. I he did. He will give you stuff. Oh, you did? Oh, I, I'm just giving this dialogue, so I was talking. Try. Never mind. Have you visited the nurse's office? Yes. She. What do you think of the nurse? She's okay, I guess. I love you her. visited the nurse's office with pneumonia? No. Anyway. I love the nurse. She's hot. It's up for me. Cool. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Why did you make him sound like that? Because <laughs> I can. Please stop. Hey, I want to see my family again. Oh, what? wait, I don't have one. Wait, I don't have one. Never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I actually technically... Technically, uh, fuck. Hey, Hatchie, ready to voice your fin boy? Oh, no. Okay, time for my Gar impression. I swear to God, if you just say Gar Gara. I don't know. I, why, who do you think I am? Gar 
sound like a Pokemon that they can speak slight human English. <laughs> That's the point. Because Gura Gura is just a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, have you seen him with all uh, without all of his coats? He's obviously 25 different Eevees stacked on top no. of each other. No, I... That's Grusia. Oh, I'm talking Grusia. about Gura Gura. Yeah. Gura Gura the streamer. She's obviously a Pokemon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gur, gur, but don't let that gur, gur, go to gur, gur, head, gur, gur. As it gets colder out, the, 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 the more Grusia diverts back into gur, gur. Mm -hmm. The more, the more he just becomes Shork. Gur, gur, mountains are dangerous, gur, gur. They can gur gur your little life off course, gur gur. Easy as that, gur gur. They're trans species. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're trans VTuber. They're trans VTuber. No, they're transgender. That is no, they're confirmed. trans VTuber. That is that is obviously. Gar -gar. Same thing with Pokemon, Gar -gar. Is, is the, the snowboarder having a stroke? Should we call like an ambulance or something? I kind of want the animation be done where I just doing that voice and the, and the characters just rivaling on the ground. Or I say, does this person need an ambulance? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a random person in the crowd says what what the child just said. <laughs> yeah, this person needed an ambulance. Gargar, you want to gargar fight? Jesus Christ. Someone what? please help. Someone please help. He's having a stroke. That's too bad, Gurg. <laughs> help him. Oh, God's that look. <laughs> yeah. He's so. He's such a brat. I love it. And when he. Uh, and when the animation just shows them dead. <laughs> <laughs> like the camera turns to the player character looking shocked, and there just lays. Lays. Uh. Garo, forgot whatever the fuck his name is, just laying flat on the ground, dead. All of the other people in the crowd are still doing exactly the same thing, like cheering and waving their arms while he's just sitting there twitching. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just there, he's just there like the fucking um, Peter Griffin, like, death meme. Oh, uh, yeah. God, I love him. Yeah. They knew exactly what they were doing when they made this character. I mean, yeah. They Making them look know. like a woman. They knew exactly what they're doing. They knew they wanted to make I mean, him yeah, a fin boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, you gotta keep in mind, like, within Japan, it's, like, it, like arguably much more popular for femboy characters to exist within media. <laughs> the one shot at their Jesus cross boss. <laughs> yeah, I think although, I think I'll be fine. Although the term that they use for it can't reasonably be translated over here because it also ends up being a slur when it's translated here. Oh Jesus. Oh boy. All I know is 
I know there's like a lot of effeminate men in anime over there, but I also know there's as many uh, effeminate men. There are also like canonically trans characters or non-binary characters, and everyone's like, no, they're not trans, they're not trans because I say so. And it's usually the English audience saying that they're not trans, and it's like, why? There's, why? There's cases. There's cases where there's some validity to that, only because like there's a divergence between the manga and the anime. Like, that's how it is with ReZero and that one cat boy. Like, in the manga, that cat boy is absolutely a trans girl. But in the anime, it's generally made pretty clear that they are a man. They just are a cat boy and like to wear dress. But yeah, I guess it's like... Uh... I, I come to think of it, I think saying the word should be fine as long oh, as it's shit. within the right context. The the point being the the common term that people translate from Japanese to English is calling them traps. And like I think that it's fine when that is exclusively talking about like femboys, but the issue with translating it over to English is that that also exists as a term that has been used for trans people in a court of law to justify killing oh, them. Oh shit. Remember how this guy was a problem? Yeah. <laughs> look how much damage he did to me. No, look at how much damage I did to him. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> I think Point I can being... handle it. Yeah. Point being, I am rather wary when people are using that term. Like, to just, like, randomly call someone on the internet a, a that. Yeah, that's usually they're mostly... Like, most of the time they're, they're doing it to be transphobic, especially with English audiences. They're almost always, when they're referring to a feminine male character, they're almost always being transphobic. I don't know if it's that they're being... Tr Mm -hmm. Or, like, really, they're just being really fucking, like, just, like, hey, what the fuck? It, yeah, I think the real thing is that it's, like, in either interpretations, it's kind of that it's a weird, like, heterocentric perception that if you're attracted to a feminine guy, that means that he's somehow trapping you into, yeah. being, a, in, into being a gay. Like, it's... Like, it's kind of fucky on either end, but it's less so when it's aimed at a femboy, and even more so, there's a handful of, like, anime-liking femboys on places like Twitter that actually self-identify as it. That was but, easy. Yeah. The, the issue is when people just use it full, like, oh my gods. I just... Oh my god, he's so <laughs> fucking cute. I beat the living shit out of his team this time. Yeah, we're just talking about the about the politics behind behind the word trap while you're well, just I... whipping his ass. Yeah, I'm just like spreading gasoline everywhere and just throwing matches. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why would you do that to him? I mean they kinda had to. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, point being, I think it's yikesy in either situation to some extent, because it's like, it, it's that very heterocentric perspective of what sexuality needs to be. Mm -hmm. But, like, it can be better if it's used in the right context. But, like, the, yeah, the issue is when, like, when people just call any given person that they think looks kind of feminine, but is a map a trap. Especially because... like real people, especially yeah, real people. Yeah, like, it's like... That's, yeah, especially like the real issue is with real people. Like I have much, like I think it's more like a cultural issue when it's just applied to fictional characters. Like, maybe we should discourage people thinking like this because it can translate into real life. But when mm -hmm. people are calling real ass people this, it's it's 
like unless the person like actively identifies with that term it's just dehumanizing yeah honestly that's when you slap a bitch that's when you just like you look at them and you just go like just backhand them honestly yeah like like when i hear someone just use that without like it being very explicit that the person they're talking about is a femboy and even more so hopefully they identify as that if if I hear someone use that and that context is not already there and blatant, then I'm probably just going to assume that they're just an incredibly problematic piece of shit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, back to my uh, my voice so eloquently uh, voicing Grusia. Jesus Christ. Gar, 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 you strove for the future, no matter the challenges you face. Gar, gar. Someone please get him a doctor. Please. Just like how I used to be. Oh, Jesus. No. No, Grusia, you don't... Please don't be sad, Grusia. I can't... I can't... I can't handle you being sad. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Gar, the gar, oh, never mind, gar, gar. I should give you your gym badge, gar, gar. Oh, I huh? caught You want a photo together? Commemorate your win? Oh no, he's camera shy. Oh. Look what you've done. Gar, 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 come done? on, that's that's so uncool, gar, gar. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but. Okay, fine. Special of gar, gar, gar. Jesus Christ. Gar, gar. <laughs> Help him. Aww. Help him. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is the cutest shit. Okay, wait, I'm about to fight him. I want to see this animation. That's cute as shit. Oh no, like I'm looking at like the Jim defeated photo. Yeah, I'm about it's... to see it. I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, don't worry. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> the toothbrush guy, <laughs> or whatever they're called. With with gar gar badges, gar gar fifty level. Gar gar, you know the drill. Gar gar gar. Well, I took the scarf down a bit. Aww. Gift <laughs> The colder he is, the more gura gura he is. Wait, what if what if what if he is secretly seven ice cubes stack stacked on top of each other? Shut up. No. Then that's some really impressive skin grafts. <laughs> Should be a lot more photo Oh my uh Oh god, I this uh this 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 guy This is Hatchet's Pokemon Awakening <laughs> Pokemon Awakening yeah, okay. What was the other character, Nessa? Yeah. Like the water gym girl? Yeah. Yeah, that's Nessa. Yeah, I mean, if if any character awoke me to how, uh, how much I like the character design within Pokemon, it was probably her. For, uh, even less savory reasons, come to think of it. Savory? That's not the word. Uh, I think it's oh wait, dragon. So I'll just send out the fairy. Oh whatever. Feel free to stop by. I need a, I need a hot chocolate. <laughs> oh. Someone get <laughs> Nurse Joy, please. Someone get Nurse Joy over here right now. Newsflash: uh, I am Nurse Joy. If there's no more dialogue, I'll evolve Toothbrush. Yippee. Up there, God. Oh, no. Not Greetings Hazel. once more, Aaron. 
I've been watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Skeletor Edge before you launched your, into your strategy. What? I don't even have that Pokemon! <laughs> Oh, wait. Wait, Skeletor? That, that That's my starter. Oh, I Hard forgot that was my starter. I was just thinking Grain Inferno. Hard okay, hardly had you sent out Skeletor before you launched into your strategy. My only strategy was just burn them. <laughs> yeah, the strategy was literally just to use Flamethrower over and over and melt them. They are yeah. ice types. <laughs> they are ice types that are lower level than your fire type. Yeah. There was literally no challenge in this fight at all. Yeah. Wait, because the last gym I need to get after ice type is... What is uh, psychic type weak against? Bitch boys. Shut up. Bug, ghost, it's... dark. Okay, bug, ghost, dark. Oh, Listen, then, I'm, bug... then my starter can take that on too. Listen. Yeah. Listen. As mm -hmm. someone who may or may not like the idea of being a psychic Pokemon, mm -hmm. I can confirm that Grushia definitely... I'm definitely weak against Grushia. <laughs> anyway. Oh. That un unrelenting offensive, that flurry of, yeah, of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. <laughs> it's like a guy walking up to a person <laughs> on, like, the battlefield of World War II and, like, just congratulating them on their incredible prowess when combat when they're literally just standing there with a flamethrower. <laughs> I think that's literally called American propaganda at that time. <laughs> I, yeah, but, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's not wrong. And what artfully trained Pokemon such a vibrant palette of moves. It's just fire. They were just spewing fire. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotion run amok like that. <clears throat> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. You just came to an iceberg with a with a blowtorch, and he's impressed. <laughs> That's like, that's like expecting the Titanic to, like, win against an iceberg. <laughs> I mean, that's ironic enough. Uh, fun fact, the Titanic likely wouldn't have sing sunk if they just crashed into the iceberg head-on. Oh. It was, de it was designed in such a way that if they had just rammed the front of the ship into it, it likely would not have let in enough water to sink it. But because they panicked and scraped it along the side, it punctured enough holes in the front compartments to actually sink it. Damn. Oh. Literally, if they just fucking bulldozed into the iceberg, things would have turned out way better. Too bad <laughs> human, human nature is a bitch. Yeah. Anyway... I must admit, I'm eager f for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come face me with great anticipation. Is this is I this how the Elite Four operates? They it, do all of the Elite Four just like go like like do they just go to a fire gym and just start spraying water everywhere and feel proud of themselves? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, and but but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the academy now and then. Yeah, right. Fuck school, I'm becoming a champion. You just sound like a worst version, a worst version of a Team Star member. <laughs> Damn. Hallelujah, oh. Star. Oh god, no, fuck you. <laughs> So we need to take down the normal gym. The normal gym is really fucking easy, by the way. Then the I'm only issue is the, the test, but I can tell you the answers for the test. No. Okay. Suit yourself. Yeah, don't do that. I want to watch Bright suffer. You know what? Fair, yeah. Watch like the test be super to... easy, and Dragon just had a hard time with it. Oh, it is not... I need to focus a bit more on making my shark. 
I want to have Lemon be the head hunter in fighting this time. So I think they have a fighting move for it. No, they do not. Never mind. <laughs> what is normal like? What is normal good against anyway? A uh, normal's good against nothing. Yeah. Oh. The but chunk. it can't be used against ghosts. And ghost type moves can't be used against normal type moves. Yeah, why didn't they make any type weak against normal? I don't know. I guess it cause it's a normal type. I dare say it's abnormal for normals to not have a type advantage. Mm -hmm. That is quite abnormal within Pokemon, I would say. Well, the only thing electric is weak against is ground. Yeah, but that that well, is it strong against some things? Oh yeah, electric is strong against a, quite a few things. Exactly, so it has a type advantage. That's my point. It's quite abnormal that normal doesn't have a type advantage over anything. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Let me finish my whale shark. Oh, shit. Speaking of whale shark, I meant to evolve the whale shark. <laughs> hey. I heard the good news. Congrats on gym bag number six. I hear you literally just took flamethrower to iceberg and then <laughs> and then the big four. It's like, wow, good job. I'm very impressed. I'm impressed that you had the keen cunning and, and, and the intuition necessary to bring a fucking flamethrower into the Arctic. <laughs> Not even a tenth of the trainers can Take on the gym get that. Come on! <laughs> Is everyone in- Does everyone in this world eat lead paint? <laughs> no, but a lot of the people facing gym leaders are children. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, okay. So, the thing is, though, not all of them are children, because if you go walk around, uh, yeah, like there are trainers you can battle that are, like, grown-ass adults. Like, the one I fought earlier was 60 and he beat my ass. I almost got my entire uh, my entire team swept by him, but that's, he was that's, sixty years old. That's Ash Ketchum Legacy Edition. Oh wait, there's actually I meant to say this. I don't know where he's at, but in somewhere in Scarlet and Violet, there's a really old fat guy that's in a uh, a school uniform. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. I think someone needs to get over their midlife crisis. No. <laughs> anyway. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just know there is a reason you caught my eye. <laughs> oh, please, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before. On the chin. She's so incredibly hot. I god damn it. I can't I can't say it. God damn it. She's she's hungry for Pokemon battles. Let's go with that. Alright, I'm about to whoop her ass again. Come on, you know the drill by now. What drill? What kind of drill? I'm for flamethrower. <laughs> it's a flamethrower. Time to light this feminine man on fire. It doesn't help that he's wearing a fuck ton of easily flammable clothing. I, there for a second I thought you were calling pneumonia that. <laughs> no, I'm not on Bright Stream. I'm not watching I know. the stream. Da, da, it's too can. <laughs> Here's our battle court for the day. It's just the fucking sidewalk. Okay, right. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling. It's just the fucking sidewalk. Chill. The battlefield can have teen, teen, ten, tenny, teen, ten, teen, teeny, teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff. You know. You've never seen that word. I've. I'm like like. You know, come to think of it, like. 
I've definitely heard it. I've just never seen it spelled out, and it looks weird spelled out. Yeah, it does. Flamethrower. I love my flamethrower alligator. <laughs> he is my favorite boy. I named him Cheese it but he loves me. Secretly, he love doesn't. <laughs> Look, He's just it, being nice. Cheese it is a very good name. I don't know what you're on. You're on about. There's a haunter on the battlefield. Okay, it it okay. What is going on? Um. Okay. That's anyway. Cool. Anyway, sorry. I sort of dragged you here. But a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Aaron. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Like all the other ones where you immediately kill me. A fruitful battle. I am not at all fruity. Now, is this I don't the know one where she about. actually has Pokemon of my level? Maybe. I God, I love her pose. God, she's so cute. Watch it, like, not at all be my level. Oh, it's the chunk. All, all the characters in this game have, like, fantastic character design. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, she's higher level than you! What level is Holy she? Holy shit! She's 42. One level higher than the chunk. Oh. <laughs> all my Pokemon are in there. My, all my Pokemon are in, like, level 50 and shit. But stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh. That that wolf just spewed sand in your face. <laughs> and I just kicked the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, how the fuck wait, let's take a let's take a step back. How the fuck does the chonk kick? Have you seen his legs? <laughs> how does that happen? I can explain, I can explain. You see, he ha he may not have actual legs, but he thinks really hard, and so he goes on. He play he face plants. He spins around and s s fucking bitch slaps with the little stubs. Uh, the Pokemon in front of him. Go, Eris. The goddess of oh. chaos. Oh, uh, oh no, the slug. Not the slug. <laughs> <laughs> the slug just ate shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was a fucking slaughter. Yeah, it was. What's next? Throw something other than a slug, please. Sound, sound, uh, oh, I know who to use for this. We're about to send out Lemon. Yes! Lemon, my boy! We must stand Lemon. Oh yeah, he evolved. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's so chunky. Oh great, we've got a further evolved. Yeah, he's gonna use one. Bulldoze. Bulldoze? He just hopped up and down. <laughs> and yet it, like, almost <laughs> killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Like, he literally, like, his entire ana- like, he doesn't change- like, there's no animation for him jumping. He just statically hops up and down like he's a Minecraft character. Yeah. Nemana. Switch Oh wait, Pokemon. no, that's her character. Meowscarda. No, don't burn the cat again. Oh my god, I am in love with a fictional woman. Who are you talking about? I think I think she's a woman. <laughs> Rika, Rika. I love her. Wait, one more. Rika, is that the really shy person? No, green-haired lady. Hey, Hatcha, I'm gonna do a mega flamethrower. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know who Rika is. The red, the red hair with shot of uh, glasses. No. Oh, Rika, her. Rika is she's a green-haired lady. Oh, her! She's one of the Elite Four members. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen her. Oh, is what is color? it like with your version? Like no. you see different characters show up more frequently? 
No, nope. that happened apparently. I have more gym badges than dragon, most likely. Oh no, I have I am I have seven badges. My last Jesus. one I need is psychic. Yeah. Dragon be grinding. Yeah. Yeah. Well then again, I took down all the titans, they didn't. So, yeah. At this point, I really wish that Pneumonia had picked the duck. <laughs> I wish this was more of a challenge. Because <laughs> I just beat the living crap out of her. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing the really cute cat that I may or may not want to talk with later uh, get burned alive. God, she's so cute. Gotcha. I knew I was right to believe in you. What if she ha had the Gargora voice? Gar, 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 gar. I love you, Gargor. Gar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have not seen any pronouns used for Rika. Wait, does she have green hair? Yes. They, yeah, they're female. I, yeah, I love. Was, uh, they were. They I used love... the word she in when they were being described by another person. So. Ah, I yeah. love muscular, uh, not muscular, uh, masculine women. Oh my god, I'm in love with her. Oh muscular? my god. Wait, is she? <clears throat> what are you talking about? The one I seen was green hair, very thin. What are you talking about? I didn't mean muscular. I meant masculine. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> they don't have muscles. Also, there's a child in the Elite Four. Who let a literal toddler in the Elite Four? Don't worry about it. I mean, right. If, they, if they're elite, then they got it. Dragon, there was a, a nine-year-old as an elite member. No, before. like, this is an actual toddler. At least a nine-year-old can read. Don't worry about it. Wait, then what does that make you? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do no. violence to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, violence do not walk down a dark alleyway alone. <laughs> I will steal your keys. I will steal all of your money, and I will I will steal one of your eyeballs. Why in well, the see, eyeball? Well, you see, oh, child, it's straight the eyes. Well, you see, child, there's one small problem with your plan here. I don't leave my house. I will force- I will flood your house. What? As if. <laughs> I will use- I this will isn't... use the sassy gay duck and, flu uh, and flood your house. <laughs> this isn't- this isn't Florida. It's harder to flood things here. I will freeze your house. Freeze? I will make you into an ice cube. I actually really prefer the cold, so I'm fine with that. Anyway, hatchet. You have any? You have any other threats? Uh, every. Do you have any waifus? Are you a degenerate that has waifus? Do I have literal waifus like the way that weebs take them? No. Good. Okay. You know what? Good. I'll compliment you for that. Good. Do you have a like... wife? No. I've been single my whole life. Loser. Oh, Sneevel. Sneevel. Like, my brain hurts. I have, I have successfully done the thing I wanted to do. No, that had nothing to do with you. Damn. My brain just hurts regardless. Yeah. Well, shark. Anyway, hatchet. Snob. Little baby. Little okay, baby. Save. Okay. Hatchet, oh, I want you to pull up Google or whatever you use, and I want you to look up Snom. S N O M. I don't. Don't like do the it. This. Don't do it, Hatchet. Don't do it. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. I, trust me, I'm Snom. your butt buddy. Don't do it. S N O M. S M. Snom -O -M. Pokemon. Oh yeah, let me go to image. <laughs> look at it. What do you What do you think of him? It's just a butt attached to an iceberg. <laughs> so, okay, Hatchet, I want to send you words because I can't say it, Dragon Present, but there's a, there are people who think this when they first saw it. 
Oh no. Wait, including, shit, wait, I just found a spirit tomb. Gaming members? Wait, what? Right, I just found a spirit tomb in the wild. Okay. Oh my god, I'm catching it. Get in my ball. Get in my ball right now. Oh my god, oh, why on. are you out here? Oh no, and you put it in a ball too. Why is there a spirit tomb out here? I guess thanks for informing me of the existence of this iceberg, but... Mm -hmm. But hold- oh my god, I just- how- I didn't know Spiritum was in this game. Okay, anyway. What's a no for me? Man, you've gotten so good. And I actually pulled out somewhat, like, higher level Pokemon this time. Wait, did you know Spiritum is in this game? Judging by bright silence, I would assume not. Right? Are you okay? Did bright mute? I can't. Yeah, so someone probably walked in. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is the time in which we mock bright ceaselessly. Oh, what if, what if the person that walked in a room is being an asshole to her? That's mean. Well, I guess could have just went to go take a piss. Well, she'd probably say that. Fair but point, you see, yeah. that's that's the thing. Like, if we are jokingly an asshole, mm -hmm. then that's like inverse being an actual asshole. So that's we cool. could cancel out the actual asshole's assholishness with our own inverse assholishness. That is a good point. Exactly. Oh, or we wait, could just... wait, okay. Oh, or I we could to... just oh sorry or we could just do the thing where we act like we can't hear bright we could also do that bro i need to tell bright when she gets uh, back uh, apparently when you go to the little caves where you fight the pokemon and it's like a grayed out shadow uh, apparently when you interact with those those recharge your terra orb you don't have to go to a poke center Ooh. That is so useful. I did not know I am that. Back. Wait, what? Right, I have something very important to tell you. God okay, so it. you know how. Okay, Bright. So you know how you get really annoyed that every time you use your Terra Orb, you have to go back to the po uh, Poke Center, right? Right. It pro. They, someone probably immediately came back in. Fucker. I'm yelling at a baby for not getting in my Pokeball. Okay. Uh, save images. Now I'm going to make an, a, a, a mean of a whale shark that I will not be able to send it, share with you. God damn it. Why? Don't do that to the whale shark. <laughs> no. What did the whale shark ever do to you? It, I, it's not like I'm actually insulting the whale shark. They don't know the difference. I want that whale shark that you're using a picture of is actually probably dead. Uh, no, this one. Uh, oh, maybe. When was this article published? BBC. 
Uh, oh no, this one, this this whale shark's probably alive. Oh. Assuming, assuming they didn't get fucking murked oh, by some some fucking illegal shark finning industry shills. Uh, it's based. It's a. It's an article that's like talking about how. Uh, they found an individual female whale shark that is officially the largest fish that has ever been found. Jesus Christ! And the and the article came out in twenty twenty. Oh. So there's a good chance that she's still alive out there. Oh, I'm I'm happy for her. I really hope if they, uh, if and when they release a patch for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, uh, they add in that you can actually see the fucking, like, you can, s there's an animation that plays when the Pokemon is shiny out in the wild. Because I've, I've heard that a lot of colorblind people are absolutely fucking struggling to shiny hunt because they don't play the animation mm -hmm. in Scarlet anymore. They only play the animation when, when you're actually battling the shiny. Yeah, that's a big design flaw. Like, they're probably gonna add it back. Let's be real. They're a fucking multi-million corporation. Like, they have the money to add it back. Mm -hmm. so I mean, that? ultimately, no. ultimately enough, bully a corporation long enough and consistently enough, and they're liable to cave. Sonic. <laughs> okay, but the Sonic movies are really good, though. Like, the original design sucked ass, but the movies are really fucking good. If you have not watched either of them... I, I have not Hopefully I'm either. finally back. Hopefully. Yeah, right, I have good news. What? Okay, so you know how you got really fucking annoyed when you had to go back to the Poke Center to heal your... Poke, uh, get your Terra Orb to work again, right? Yeah. Well, you don't actually have to do that. You can go... You know those crystals from the ground? All you have to do is walk up to one of them and not fight the, the, the Pokemon inside. All you have to do is walk up to it, cancel it, and then you have your Terra Orb. Okay. Anyway, Hatchet. <sighs> That's an L for me, man. For me, man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't you for you and your meddling Pokemon. This is not Scooby Doo. Fuck you. There's just two gems remaining. Then all that's. Then all that'll be left is to try to be a champion. Give it all you've got. Now, let's get you back to the gym, Bobby. And well, remember, now... Aaron, keep moving forward. Well, now I gotta heal my Pokemon. I just realized that that's a dumb Attack on Titan reference that neither of you probably understand. I really don't care. What, what's the reference? I said, uh, I had pneumonia say, and remember, Aaron, keep moving forward. Oh. Which, oh fuck, wait a minute. I just realized, I think I just had pneumonia encouraged Bright to commit a genocide. Um. <laughs> Why are these pyroars so, like, low quality? Also, Bright, are you gonna commit a genocide? Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Because, like, while that sounds, like, keep moving forward, like, on the surface sounds like a motivational, positive thing, the way that Aaron takes it is keep literally walking forward, you know, with, uh, with the big boys. Anti-spoiler anti technology engaged. <laughs> 
refer to things as big boys. Well, uh, uh, what are you fucking? Hey, they they no longer get speaking roles. God damn it, you piece of shit! Secret menu, I treasure eatery. Festus is is ashamed of you, Bright. I don't care. Can we get a uh, Festus? Can we get Festus to fight Bright, please? How to regular Festus season your dishes is the clue. You know, like, given all information, Bright would probably win. You know, opposable thumbs, training in self-defense. Are you sure uh, Festus doesn't have thumbs? Have you checked recently? Well, I mean, he has, like, the thumb claws, but it's not, like, opposable thumbs like we have. Have you checked? I'm literally, I'm literally touching his paw right now. Check again. He has a hidden thumb. Yes, he has like a thumb claw, but that's not like an opposable thumb like humans have, you twit. Let's see how high our Pokemon pulling. is. Oh! That's an Ursaring. Oh, you literally just have to go out and fight this lady? No, just a bunch of people to get the, the hints. Or I could uh, tell you. No! I don't want the answer! Do it yourself. That's this. Point being, even though Bright has all of those, uh, all of those advantages over Festus, Festus is in fact the best boy anime protagonist, so he's an underdog, or undercat, and will, uh, defeat Bright against all the odds. Therefore, Festus could fight Bright. Oh, A dark spot surrounded by stairs. Oh, I wonder how many Pokemon characters boy. have autism. I would assume this. Yeah. This is a faint right in here. It says Fire Blast. I got the answer. How, you are right next to it. How do you not get that, you dumb bitch? Because you'll never understand this, Bright. It's a test. Dragon, how in the world was that hard? You have to answer several questions. Wait, I got the answer. You got a single answer. Okay, so fire oh, blast. Bestest, why do you? Oh, there's actually one thing I was also thinking about Agent Zeus hatchet. Mm -hmm. Is that unlike Kaminari, where he could fire lightning out, I figured if we did that for Agent Zeus, they would become overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> so there would just be a fist fighter, just by touch. Yeah. I mean, it can still propel Or maybe, themselves. like, very short range. Yeah. Aw, uh, damn it, Festus. Why do you have a lump on your neck? Lee. I mean, you know what? That might be his vaccinate. That might be the place where he got vaccinated a little while ago. Oh, he can't get rabies anymore? No. Good. Hey, Hatcher, would you like some ice cream? We got mint chocolate chip, fizzy pop, strawberry ice cream, mango ice cream, teriyaki, and knockly salt. Teriyaki? Ugh! Teriyaki um, is really good, but not an ice cream. I, I like mint chocolate chip. I'm eating teriyaki ice cream. Okay. I'm going to your funeral. You. Oh, oh, um. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like I'm on drugs. Uh, why did they drug that ice cream? <laughs> I got item drop power bug level one, raid power fighting level one, egg power level one. Oh yeah, egg power is how you get more eggs and hatch more eggs easily. 
That's how I was making the I just made apples. My, I just made my Pokemon more breedable. Oh god. Never say that again. Why didn't you again. make your Pokemon fertile? <laughs> you get it? Fertile? <laughs> I hate my life. What? As in, like, a lot of Pokemon have fur. Oh. That wasn't that funny. It really wasn't. Don't quit your day oh job. Oh my god, it's a- I don't have a day job. My day job is this. What Stop I'm doing. Stop doing this. You said don't quit your day job. Fuck, right, sure. Okay, god damn it. Um... It's Donald Trump. Oh god, the toddler brought out Donald Trump. Kill it. We need to eat. I don't know. I don't know what Donald Trump says. I know. <laughs> Mexico. No, Donald Trump did a credit call on the chunk. No, no, Donald Trump defeated the chunk. Donald Trump's sheer thickness cannot be beaten, apparently. You know what? We're gonna send out Lemon as revenge. Yes. Feed, feed Trump to the sharks that he mocked. He mocks we sharks? Need, we, we need Well, he Obama. mocked shark. Uh, he mocked shark conservation at one point. Didn't like, we also start a weird conspiracy theory that Obama wasn't born in the U.S.? I don't think he started that, but he definitely fed into it. Which is like, it's so easy to disprove. Yeah, it's literally just, he has a, he has a Hawaiian birth certificate, if I remember correctly, like. Don't you know, Hawaii is oh, not no. a part of the U.S.? Well, they didn't want to be a part of the U.S. They were kind of forced to be a part of it. And then, and then they were kind of like, well, fucking hell, you forced us to be here. Can you please at least give us state, statehood? Hyper so beam! Jesus! <laughs> Holy fuck, that tumbleweed! I can't use a move yet, I have to recharge. Yeah, I don't think this is an abscess. You're pesticide. Anyway, hatchet. Yeah. Time for another Hyper Beam! <laughs> It's a very dead squirrel. <laughs> I love having you know? primal guests have hyper beam. Did you know what? Your mom. That's odd one out of the ice cream stands. Let's look for something that's odd one out of, out at one of the ice cream stands. I'm gonna think of it, I could use some ice cream as a pick-me-up since I lost. Would it be the <laughs> Nockley Salt? So we did ask to choose one and it's, it didn't give us anything. Yeah, so probably Nockley Salt. Now I gotta find a damn thing. No, wasn't it that direction? I, f I don't know which direction it was. All I know is that it came down this way. So it wasn't this way. Okay. Yeah, that, that direction. Around this corner. Is that it? No. Are you sure? Yeah, that was the pretzel cart. Uh oh. Oh, it's over here. There you are. Because I killed so many Brahms, Zora, I can now evolve the small fire child into a big knight. Wait, Fizzy Pop sounds weird. Who? Okay. Oh god, are we gonna go on a tr drug trip again? 
Oh, god damn it. Why does it look- why does it look like all of the- all of your Pokémon are in, like, some kind of state of, like, I can't say. I guess we just have to thank the name. Well, teriyaki ice cream sounds weird. Mm -hmm. It could be teriyaki. It could be fire blast teriyaki. So now we gotta find more trainers. No, Festus, why'd you fart? Fart more, Festus. You stinky, stinky bitch. Oh god, it got worse. Fucking hell. Keep farting, Festus. How many questions are there, Dragon? Dragon? Is Dragon not in voice call? I mean, I don't think I heard them leave. Oh, they're not answering. They're muted. Alright, time for the last clue, Hatchet. To test our smarts. Oh wait, I didn't heal my Pokemon. Good job. Grandin for- oh dear god, this Dunsmars is dead. I am... Alive. <laughs> Just one shot. What got one shot? A dead sparse. Oh, poor baby. Anyway, I was asking, uh, how many questions are there? A lot. You have to solve... You have to fight every one until you got the correct answers, which is why it's a pain in the ass, which is why I offered to tell you the answer. Blue bird Pokemon. So we got... Uh... The Teriyaki... The uh, Fire Blast Teriyaki... Uh... And squawk ability. I mean, this is help uh, leveling up my Pokemon, so I'm not like all too mad about it. However, I'm not seeing any more trainers. I only, saw, I only battled three trainers, and I've seen any more. God, I love my Festus. It's an absolute lad. Oh god, I've made something so cursed and I hate it. Oh dear. I'm guessing it's the whale shark. Yeah. So I'm guessing Dad. I can't question what it is. Yeah, I can't tell you. Great. Yeah, there's there's no one else that I can battle. Well, time to go up to the guy and let him tell him the answers. Yeah, does it come in rounds? Not to my knowledge. I just looked up the answers and then went straight on with answering it. Cheating ass. You're cheating, you're cheating Shut bitch. Up. It's not. It's not cheating if I use my cell phone. That. Shut up. What? Shut up. What Shut kind up. of? Shut up. Broken ass Shut logic up. is that? Shut up. No. Shut up. Fuck you. Shut up. Fuck you. Shut up. Fuck you. Shut up. Fuck you. Your mom needs a back rub. Go give her a back rub. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Like, I actually think she's sleeping right now. Fuck. How do regulars season their dishes? Uh, I need to find How out do my, my clue. How do regulars season their dishes? Lemon. 
Hush, dragon. I don't want the answer. Is that even an option? I'm guessing teriyaki, because the teriyaki ice cream. Can't go in there. Well, I said to go to the treasure... place first. Ah, new sandwiches. Put fillings in like so, and, and do the con comments like this. I had also, I was thinking about how hard about something... Uh, I was I was really thinking hard about something right now. I researched sandwich recipes, you see. I turned one day to recognize amazing recipes worthy of, of being called master level. I can teach you recipes too if you like. Look, there's some new sandwiches, okay. Here, let's teach them to you. Uh, no, I didn't want to talk to the Meowth. Always hey. talk to the Meowth. Okay, great. I'm sending you something. Okay, so there's like a bunch of sandwiches. I love Ooh, sandwiches. Ooh, EXE point power. Huh. I'll take that. Uh-oh, we're about to go on a drug trip again. Oh, God. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, uh, did you see the cursed bullshit I created? No, I've been busy. Is it possible to send a censored version? No. Oh, this isn't even treasure eatery. Too. God damn it. Just, 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 it, just, just check, check your DMs, right? Right, be afraid. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is probably the treasury eatery. A famed treasure eater, yeah, that... That confirms it. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? It's not that bad, and I'm... Sh and since, like, I'm not sending it in the Discord, I will just toss it your way, Dragon. What a secret menu item. Now tell me, what, what will you be ordering? I'm guessing it's probably a joke similar to the Glub Glub jokes. Road yeah, it's... it's okay. uh, yeah. Uh... Um. Uh oh. None of these were answers. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. The ice cream teriyaki. That's fish. Teriyaki is a sauce. Oh, it's teriyaki is a sauce. Never mind. Do you want an answer? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want the answer? No, I don't want the answer. You're going to be there for a long ass time, right? It's a pain in the ass. Fried eggs. So what size serving are you having? Uh, bar serving. <laughs> I didn't want that cut, uh... Fire Blast style. Uh, cheese powder lemon. or lemon? Lemon, yeah. <laughs> got, got two right of those, up. right? You got two of them, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The last two it's like a regular dish. Two, Thank you right? very much for being Twitch. Maybe that was the right yeah, thing. So, so once again, I'm, sen I'm sending this because I don't think it's that bad. They're... they're there you go. Omelette. Medium oh. serving. Yes. Did Fire Blast style. Yes. Lemon. Did you get it, Dragon? Yes. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I did get it. I was saying yes to this. Oh, okay. So, okay, so it's <laughs> not... Yeah. So, okay, so Yeah, you not... got the first one wrong. But it's just trial and error. We got three right. Appar appar apparently, it's what Dragon's saying. Steak. No. Oh, well. We're just constantly forcing the chef to make food. 
Yeah, this doesn't seem very sustainable of you, Bright. This doesn't seem very sustainable of their fucking test. Well, they're probably forcing one of the people to eat it. <laughs> Grilled fish. <laughs> Medium serving. Oh, that kind of makes sense. I don't Fire think it's, grilled fish. It's, uh, it's not grilled fish. We'll see. Is Brett going to get literally all of the wrong answers before coming to the right one? Probably. <laughs> that is the first one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's see what the food is. Giant grilled rice balls. Yep. Medium serving. Yep. Fire blast style, which is extra crispy. Yep. And lemon. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was correct. Yep. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Where oh my god, the... go? Wait, what? <laughs> were they holograms? How does that work? They were dead. I killed them, I'm sorry, my bad. Wait, is this guy the gym leader? Is that is this gonna be the biggest bait and switch? No, the I final guy talk we talked to... I gotta talk to him when I wanna do the battle, but I need to heal my Pokemon. I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I already did or not. All right, so I've done whale shark. What's next? Oh no, I healed him. We can go. I don't know. Oh Jesus! Right. Give give a shark. The bitch shark. It's not a shark. Fuck you. <laughs> um, is there a cat shark? <laughs> yeah, there actually are. There is a cat shark? Yeah, it's a... Yeah. Cat shark and They're actually, like... They're actually really diverse. Oh, it's him. It's just a regular businessman. It's the gym leader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wary. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of the... Of the... Mozzarella. Mozzarella gym. <laughs> You didn't even give them a cheese name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've well, I'm not giving the people cheese names, but also I think Larry fits him, so we're just he's gonna be the first person that we just keep their actual name. Well, I guess we did that for Grucia. Because uh, he is Femboy Cutie. I also did no, that. No, I think that's just because you're in love with him. I may be biased, yes. I also did it to the VTuber, I just kept them as it. Because uh, they're electric oh, okay. electric YouTuber and they're called, their name is literally Ion with an extra O after the N. Yeah, that, that, that's literally perfect. <laughs> why is why is one of the, the, the legends, or technically a titan, why is one of the titans straight up just a giant fucking worm? Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. I love him, he's so stupid, I love him. Except when you go to catch him, he's just really tiny. Is he? Oh. Yeah, they shrink. Oh, oh little baby. Oh, anyway, I want to give him little. I want to head pats on his head, on his Good job. Head. Good job on making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too. Sometime, everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. I'm trying to do, like, an impression of that really tired public safety commission guy from, uh, from, uh, My Hero Academia, the, uh, um, the provisional licensing exam. Oh, yeah. Let's get this battle over with. Wait, so gym leaders' pays can get docked if they don't, if they if they just don't battle immediately. I guess. Probably. Thank Damn. you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. Wait, does he work for the restaurant? <laughs> uh. -huh. 
I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it's just because the the town just has like a big <laughs> thing for the restaurant. Like the they just love the fucking restaurant. It's a really good restaurant. They sent out a koala bear. Oh, he sent the out chonk. a sleeping koala against the chonk. The chonk's gonna win. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Uh. Also, uh, low kick. Oh, fuck you. Oh. I waited all this time to defeat the, the Steel Titan, and turns out it's the easiest one. Yeah, no shit. I'm a dumbass. I defeated it in one hit. No, the chunk fell asleep. Holy fucking shit. Cat sharks. They are the largest family of sharks with around 160 species placed into 17 genera. Jesus Christ. The chonk, That's more wake genres up. than penguins. Yeah. The chonk. Oh no. No. Oh god. Oh no. What level's the koala at? 30 something. All right, roast roast the koala. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna sing it to death. Oh yeah, there's also dogfish, which are a type of shark. Oh, although they are generally known as cat sharks, some species can also be called dogfish due to the pr due to previous naming. However, a dogfish may generally be distinguished from a cat shark as cat sharks lay eggs, while dogfish have live young. Oh yeah, like uh, the um, the prickly dogfish uh, is believed to have the longest gestation period of all vertebrates. Like, like normally when you're thinking like a long gestation period for like giving birth to live young, like what are you thinking, like? It <laughs> just glared at me. I don't, I don't know. And I became paralyzed. Like, you're thinking elephants and whales, like really big mammals. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, the, sp the prickly dogfish being only maybe like two to three foot long shark. Like, they're a really small shark. <laughs> Has a gestation period of, I think, between 18 and 21 months. It takes almost two years for them to give birth. Damn. That is, oh god. They remain pregnant for almost two years. Ugh. Let's see, cat shark. As cat sharks lay eggs, a dogfish have life young. Like most bottom feeders, cat sharks feed on benthic invertebrates and smaller fish they are not harmful to humans the family is paraphyletic containing several distinct lineages that do that do not form a monophylogenic group paraphyletic oh yeah so oh god there's so many of them i've got to just like pick like three or four cute ones You're pretty good. Oh, Come it is on, the what? chef. The chef is, is his boss. You've got hungry customers waiting. She's cute. <laughs> well, you heard the good folks i suppose i can put a bit more put on a bit more of a show he's constantly fixing his tie yeah Ooh, star raptor crystallized looks cool oh shiny bird Big bird. I think it's time to show you that real life isn't all fun and games. 
Para stabilize guard of war. Or maybe use it actually on second thought, maybe use a different Pokemon, cause I just oh. knocked more than half its health. I wanna hit. Yeah. Oh Jesus! That's why I was thinking. But yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you've got it. Dead. <laughs> Okay, so family. Jesus Christ. I like how when you defeat uh the last titan they go like, "Oh yeah. Uh it's we it's it, it just can't fight." Like they explain why. It's just like, "Oh yeah, he don't he doesn't fight." Oops. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost. So that means I have to give you a badge. But... <laughs> the battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? I don't think this businessman should be having a... Well, I guess it is. Oh, public. God. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of onigiri. It's just a pile of rice balls, okay. That's a lot of balls made out of rice. Oh god, dragon, no. God damn it. Lollipop catfish. Oh my. That looks like a tadpole. What looks like a tadpole? The lollipop catfish. Or cat shark. Was okay. So in my game, since his mom was never really there for him, does that mean he was probably a test tube baby? That's not what. No, that's not what that means. Was he popped out of an egg? No. no. That's not what that means. By the way, hatch Child neglect. Yes! That, yes, that, you should- <laughs> This is a fucked joke, but you should know something or two about it. Damn. Oh, yeah. no. Anyway, hatchet. Look. I'm sorry. <laughs> my my character and then walked off screen while, while I was waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Having seven gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh my god, his dog is okay, I'm happy. Oh, and you know the drill, they'll listen better too, yada yada yada, I need a nap. <laughs> Let me pay for the tab. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put it on its, put on its namesake. Facade. I... Honestly... Larry, Larry's fun. I like Larry. Yeah, I feel like everyone likes Larry. Like, you would think everyone would hate him. I don't like Larry. Boring. Fuck Piece you. Of shit. You want to be so different. Oh, Piece you want to be so different. You don't want to be like other girls. Fuck the you. Dish He's is too here. old. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary after all. Now, I'd better get back to work, if you'll excuse me. I wonder if that means Larry listens to Dolly Parton. What the uh, fuck? Okay. Dolly Parton has a song called 9 to 5 that's pretty much shitting on capitalism. Oh, look, catch okay. it. It's the, the Elite Four member. Oh, Rika. Child? No, Rika. Hey, hey, oh, no, hey, no. hey, Rika here at your service. These gems really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? You like to voice the child? Wait, is that oh, I can is voice that the, child the other? Wait, I no, I'm I will voice the child. child. No. You know what? I think it would be funny if Hatchet voiced the child. Voices voice the child, Hatchet. All right, so I'm guessing that's the other like toddler elite four member. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me take a drink.
Oh, wait, did my noise suppression stop that from coming through? I didn't yeah. hear you say anything. Yeah. Aw, oh, god damn it. Okay. Rika. Rika. Oh, god. Huh? All right. You two haven't met, have you? This young lady is Erin. She's so good with Pokemon, even La Primera is taking an interest in her. It's La... It's... It's La Pangea. Oh, La Pangea, right. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. I want to punt her. Like, Not really strong. Don't You're one to talk. <laughs> don't shit. kick the baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> no, don't kick the baby. Like really, really strong. Uh, had you, did you at least get my reference? No. That's from South Park. I, d I don't watch South Park. You should know this by now. Even I don't watch South Park and I got the reference. <laughs> Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. All right, I want to kick her. Yeah, <laughs> now We're we both want to kick her. <laughs> Can I... This is how much like money... I'll How pay you five money? bucks to kill, kick her. <laughs> that's that's not enough to pay for the legal damages. <laughs> yeah, are you forgetting the legal... The, okay, are you forgetting that legally in the Pokemon world, the Elite Four have like a fuck ton of power? Especially in politics. Well, not if they're dead. <laughs> that is called an assassination. <laughs> Do not assassinate and? the child. <laughs> I mean, okay, listen, here's... Okay, you know what? We will drop this joke if, child, if you make the agreement that on my birthday when you play Among Us, you play with the name Poppy. <laughs> that way forget. we can... I'll probably forget too, so... Fine, I'll agree for now. <laughs> now aren't you just adorable? I probably will forget. But if I remember, you better do it. I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is stayed one of the Elite Four. Literally, yeah. her necklace is like a lunchbox. Yeah. I am. Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived. Because I, I am here. Oh, not Homelander. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, miss. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the... It's where the soul is. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. Oh god, I'm turning into Nixon. <laughs> there. I'm no, the child, child no. Hey, wait up! Well, you, you keep up the good work. You heard it, kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. Marty, I like Rika's some design. Smoke, Marty. Even, I like Rika's design. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so... Let's see. Now I just need to take on the last gem. Where is the last gem? Right up here. Uh, I haven't... There's one area that is closer, which is right here. So many cat sharks. How do I choose which cat sharks to put in the deck? <laughs> them all. I can't Make a fairly fiddly uh, photoshopped image of every single. Oh, I am not doing dog. that.
Why not? Yeah, why not, huh? Because... Huh? I have huh? to make an entire card deck before my birthday in less than a week. I'm not taking the time to do something like that. Or will you? Shut the fuck up. Or will you? <laughs> They're so fucking cute. Pick the cutest one. I'm gonna guess picking the cutest one is gonna be the hardest part. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking I'm gonna grab three or four. Oh, it, Hatch. There's just so many of them. Hatch, it, look at the body slam one. Ah, <laughs> uh, got a good look at that pig ass. What? Oh, right, have you been to the sidekick, uh, uh Gym City? Uh, about to. Why? Uh, when you when you see the main big building, uh, I want you to. I want. I, I. I just want you to look at the side. No. I forgot. I already have ice punch. I want to teach. I swear, if if fucking the Chong can learn how to ice punch. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Not well, only could they kick, but they can punch. Well, can he? Also, I'm pretty sure Ghastly can punch. No. Um, hmm. I want to get rid of Hypnosis. For Ice Punch. Bad choice. Shut up, Dragon. You're not the one playing, are you? Yeah. I am. Well, on this world. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I know. You, you kind of goose-stepped your way into that one, right? Okay. Are you, in fact, Aaron Bright right now? Yes. I have stolen yes. your identity. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, have, I am I currently have logging into your bank account. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goddamn, you are broke as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Why do you think I'm only having one meal a day? Damn. Bro, what? Bro, I didn't even know that the bank accepted leaflets. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm generally confused. What the fuck's a leaflet? Like, one of the little advertising slips that, like, companies will hand out. Oh. Oh my god, the Izu Cat Shark. Oh, I love your name. Wharf Cat Shark. Yes, I love climbing mountains. Dark Freckled Cat Shark. One of them's just called a Nurse Hound. <laughs> Oh shit, there's a TM up here. It's got Snarl. Snarl. Gotta go over this mountain again. White fin swell shark. Why did you call them that? Swell shark? They're swole. Kinda like the yeah, Luga. Like... <laughs> It's either swell as in like the oh that's swell, or it's swell as in they are physically swelling up. Oh god, that means it's about to explode. Possibly. Right, run, are... get out of there. Are these are these sharks explosives? Indian not... swell shark. Oh my god, it's like a football with a tail. <laughs> I found a random building while I was looking for the... Oh wait, this is the psychic area. Good job, Bright. 
Look, no one ever said she was that smart, but that's fine. Alright, so I made it to the area by climbing over a mountain. <laughs> Watch, you swell shark! <laughs> Sounds like I'm in Egypt. You are not mm -hmm. in Egypt. Well, that's what the music it sounds like it's playing. It's playing like like that kind of music he would have the King Cobra go up. Mm. I'll look at it. In. It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even... Uh, oh, there's a Steven Swell Shark? Steven has his own Swell Shark? <laughs> of course. Even La Pangea seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll... Where is my fucking... There it is. Maybe I'll go find her so I can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Hello! Hello. 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 We need to exercise. Hello. Hello. When we're in the black tracks in the practice area, we'll explain the rules to you. I don't think you should, that's a normal thing to tell a child. I mean. Oh wait, I'm thinking of a different track sheet. Well, the lady outside uh, is hot, and she is in the tracksuit, so... Dragon! He is! Oh my god, one of them is called the Balloon Shark. Speckled Swell Shark. Oh, it's her. Oh, her. Also, welcome, new kid. This is where you do emotional spirit card practice. <laughs> Why is your battle studies teacher here at a Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, too, since we were kids. Wait, there's a scar on her forehead. I... Did you say star? Scar. Okay, I was about to say, that's a scar, not a star. Yeah, that's a scar. I didn't notice that at first. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. Uh... Uh... That's really close. Uh... Hey, Hatcher, would I've... you like to do a Pokemon battle? I've been on the internet for like five minutes. Uh. Hey, should I do a Pokemon battle? No. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere near your flamethrower crocodile. <laughs> the loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and, well. Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance for both to get a workout and help out. Uh, help hey, did, help did she, my. Did she get a message from Twitch? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I did the testing and I have no idea what the fuck is. Besides, like, pressing buttons, what you're supposed to do, I'm very confused. Help my. Why am I fighting a child? Friend, when I don't have classes. Why is she named Emily? The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement. 
And all you have to do is copy. This is just yoga. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope I also... your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Why why are you calling this that? Like yoga isn't copyrighted. Great. Also... Let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. <laughs> I also don't know if you're supposed to spam or not, because I spammed it and now I'm undoing a battle, so I am very confused. Oh my god, that's... We have to do it with our Pokémon. I Yeah, but your see. Pokémon does it automatically with you, so it's confusing. We've got two toddlers with smaller Pokémon, and you've got this one girl just sitting here with a fucking flaming crocodile. Yeah! You don't have a flaming crocodile? You just had to hit it once. Don't charm my crocodile. I have two crocodiles on my team. Someday you should make a team of nothing but crocodiles. I actually probably could do that. Well, maybe like mix out up with crocodiles and land sharks, but I could probably do that. <laughs> and done. I didn't have to fight anyone, dragon. You just had to hit it once. Oh. The Drought's Bored Shark. Good that job, was Greg. awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's get. Let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. Oh, so there is going to be a battle. You got to keep moving. This is no ordinary I don't like battle. like the stances they're giving this that child. This is workout. This is not. That's okay. I think it's meant to be like a really prissy stance, but it's yeah. She's trying so hard to be cute. Yeah, way too hard. <laughs> way too hard, buddy. Calm it down a bit. <laughs> Oh, and she's got a Gotharita. God damn it! Burn the Gotharita before, the child. before your before your AdSense suffers. It's dead. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> you just instantly killed that child's Gotharita by just snarling at it. Yeah, you didn't even actually hit it. You just scared it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now I just need to get a flashlight and just put a ball on top of them. What? Spit a black ball at the little Gardevoir. Oh god damn it, my crocodile is still asleep. She's act she's fake crying. I'm moved by how well you move. Oh my I gosh, she my just wife. stopped! As soon as I hit it, she just stopped in T-Post. <laughs> this game God. has zero flaws, Bright. What are you talking about? Bright, I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I see you're getting tired. Well, you're gonna have to hang in there. Time to start the house. <laughs> There's two more sections of this. Oh god, it's just this again. <laughs> I like how... I like how Grand Inferno just does not want to be here. Does Grand Inferno <laughs> want to be anywhere? Let's be real. Yeah, actually, when you think about it, Grand Inferno looks like he's, like, a really grumpy old man. Because he is a grumpy old man, and everyone loves him for that. 
I have a bad feeling he'd probably be racist if he was human. Stop headcanoning random characters as racist. Jesus it Christ. It kind of just happens He's... with me. Hatchet. The crocodile is based off, if I remember correctly, uh, someone said maybe Day of the Dead, but I don't, I didn't, like, give any evidence of that. But, like, that crocodile, I don't think the crocodile is racist, Hatchet. Well, you see, that's the thing. My main mode for understanding, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. My brain hurts. Well, you can tell. That Look, so he's a grumpy exercise. old man, which makes me ha feel like, like, if he's a grumpy old man, then there is a higher than not chance that he would be racist. Hatchet, you know grumpy old men cannot be racist, right? That's why I said there's a higher likelihood. Are Don't you? give up yet. It's time for another battle. Uh, uh, hold out again at the la. I'll hold out against I don't like all the that sounds. lactic acid. I, I don't... It's just an old man. What's an old man doing with a bunch of kids? Our goal is to grow Yoga. strong and build muscle. Any tips? I'm kind of concerned how Yoga. this just old man was just surrounded by little kids. Yoga. That doesn't explain anything. Yoga. Actually, it actually kind of does. Wow. Like, yoga is the sort of thing that has, like, parents bringing their kids with them and also has a lot of older people that come to do it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, uh, like water aerobics. Also, he could, could be the grandpa. He could be the grandpa. Yeah. You know, he's a grandpa that has, like, an angry pig creature in his back pocket, like any other good grandpa. <laughs> you don't have an angry pig creature in your back pocket? No, but I'm not a grandpa. Not yet. What? What? There, as we all know, there is a requirement for being a grandpa, you have to have an angry pig creature in your back pocket. Good point, yeah. Also, fun fact, I have 44 Hyper Potions, and I bought zero. Okay. Oh, you can bulk buy. Oh, that's so simple. A rain drop, it just gave, gave them a bunch of power. Yes. More power given on to them after the rain droplet, but it caused them to die. Ooh, there's a genus of cat sharks that are also known as the ghost or demon cat sharks. I gotta get some of these guys in here. I swear, when you look up the, on Google, I swear there's gonna be a bunch of shark pictures that just have demon horns on them. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, it's looking like these are deep. Oh, yeah, these are deep sea species of cat shark. Awesome. Well, Hatchet, here you go. Good job. You made it all the way through the. <laughs> I'm dead inside. That's it. That's all this character has said. I'm dead inside. That's the end of the dialogue. I see. Mr. Mo it's Mr. Wo Worldwide. Hello? Huh? Oh. No. Guess who has a thumb? Not you. What? Slandic cat shark. Long head and flat head cat shark. Broad mouth cat shark. Ghost cat shark. Are you food? No. What? 
You will starve. What? Okay. I didn't do anything. <laughs> but I got neither uh, right, but. All right, we're about Done. to see the final gym leader. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make eggs so I can no. eat my food. Eat shit and die. <laughs> no. I'm gonna commit violence. Uh, Hatchy, do you want to voice this person? Oh, they sound like a diva. Well, I know what that means. Cindy. Well, I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. N naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, could you? Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now, I'll chat with you later. The fuck is her dress? Better than you. Hello there. I like her. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though, I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. And I almost look like she has back boobs because of her dress. Very, uh, okay. <laughs> God damn it, I see it and I hate that. Wait, back boobs? <laughs> go, go eat food. Run along, child. I am eating. I'm eat Carl, what you doing? Oh, no. god damn it. It's shrimp, onions, uh, and cabbage. <laughs> oh, cabbage. Ugh. I think I it's must... cabbage. It might just be. I don't know what is in it, but it tastes good, so I'm eating it. I must say, you are a cute challenger, Eric. Oh, no, oh, no. Right, what are you doing to get all these women all over you? I'm sure my ESP exercise made you. All the more beautiful. Does that make you happy? She's like way too old to be coming on like this. Also, I'm pretty sure again it's supposed to sound like purely, purely like a like a rivalry type thing. Dragon, the only, it just sounds kind of gay. The only reason I get get girls is because mm -hmm. of my really big ass. <laughs> well, that means like a bunch of the girls that you get are kind of shallow though. <laughs> You'll keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equ equally important for both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my... Oh, she's doing the... Like the prissy laugh. Yeah, that's why I said she's Cindy. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful by beating them the fuck up. <laughs> oh, she got sparkles off her clothing, apparently. She is hot. She is pretty hot. Oh my god, it's a giraffe wearing a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the evolution of Giraffe. The gr giraffe You're quite Pokemon. a good base to test my makeup on. <laughs> it just immediately made it eat shit. <laughs> you didn't one shot it. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, then again, I'm using not a super powered dark move because I can't give him a good dark move. You can give him bite. Bite does pretty good. Well, the one I have does more damage than my bite. Okay. Yeah. Ring out the chonk. <laughs> the chonk doesn't have any moves stronger against these. Oh, you again. Oh, Ring Shadow Ball works. Chonk. 
Just toss a shadow yeah, at that's them. Your psychic type. Oh fuck. <laughs> they got instantly fucked. Yeah, ghost and dark work. Gardevoir. Oh. Oh, I was gonna suggest that you bring out tumbleweed. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Just bring one out tumbleweed. Shot. Bring out tumbleweed, right? Why? Because oh. tumbleweed. Oh, there this is a grass. Spikes. This is a grass type, but it's gonna. Ramble gassed. <laughs> it has a smile. You're just as hard to get rid of as cheeked on checked on mascara. I love her. Oh. No, he's a grass type too. Wait, he was already a grass type. Yeah. I'm done. Oh, there's one thing I want to say about the electric type gym leader. When at certain angle, uh, you can easily tell that the shirt she's wearing under is a chain shirt for adults. That's as far as I can go with it. You know, the ones that are slightly see-through. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. Damn. She must have got top surgery. The fuck? Yeah, you can remove your nipples. Yeah, I, I... Dragon. That's... I didn't see that far down. What is the relevance? Yeah. I don't know. I thought it would be funny to say. This is actually just random... Oh. You just randomly say, Hey, did you know you could cut your nipples off? You, also, this is, is the... It's not... Cutting them off. This is the first time Bramble Gas actually... Won on their own. Yeah, he does kind of seem like a like a little wimpy wimpy Pokemon. I still we love him though. He's stay they're staying on the team. We we stand a brambly boy. Your strength of was a magic to it that cannot be washed away. Jesus Christ! How many eggs did these motherfuckers produce? I was just watching the stream. I think that was seven eggs. Jesus Christ! And I was just watching the stream for that one battle. I lost the battle, and your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. I like playing oh. a nice version of Cindy. Oh dear god. Okay, Hatcher, I gotta send you something. It just, it's the first, first thing that popped into my mind when I was looking at the character closer. Do I want to know? They really don't. I don't know why. If anything, they look closer to beads. Yeah. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. All of your... All of your money is belong to us. <laughs> but I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first. Before I run off and do such a thing. 
You've earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of your best poses. Give it to you. God, I love her. Congratulations, Erin. Because you would expect she would be mean, but no, she's so... Oh. Mm. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Yoga. It just looks like you're surprised she is doing yoga and heels. Yeah. <laughs> that is surprising. That's like... That's impressive. Yeah. She's a girl boss. Literally. She's a boss battle. Mm. With all eight gym badges, yada yada yada, they'll be good Pokemon and this is your commands too. Yada yada yada. We've heard this before. If you train hard, you'll be able to use their move to total perfection. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took on social media, okay? Right, you know what to do if you have a if you took a screenshot of it to go post it on Twitter. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell then. You did splendidly today. I love her. I love her. I love all the characters in this game. This game is super flawed, but damn the characters, I love them all. They are they're not one character do I hate. The only character I hate in this game is Bry. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh look. Erin Skeledurge. You did it. Ah, I'm so ah. Is she okay? No. <laughs> is she having a gay panic attack? I am overwhelmed with the sensation of longingly happy. I mean... <laughs> I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Right, could have just retaken the thing. That's what she did with right. Ghost Fight Jim. What? Or he's taking the gym. Or he fought the gym, I guess, technically. Alright. Right, didn't you start voicing her? Did I voice her? You did. Oh, did I? Technically, Jerry did originally. Um, yeah. yeah, then he gave her a, a high-pitched voice or something like that. Well, screw that. Most impressive. Aaron Brett. A sudden display of talent, I must admit. This... It's hard to... It's hard to read when I do that voice, because the way that I do it, I have to constantly shake my head back and forth. <laughs> Seriously, pat yourself on back, or let me pat you on back. Uh, you beat up a single gym. I will meet you back at the dorms. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges. Okay. All that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If, well, if you hope to stand alongside Pneumonia as a fellow champion. Enter the Pokemon League. That's where you can take on the champion assessments. Assessments. Are you okay? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yo, big get to my rink. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Kevin. And wish me luck, too. Uh, 
unusual for me to see her so excited. Maybe it's because she's fucking un- <laughs> It's okay, Grandma. <laughs> she must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her. Uh, uh, uh. My head cannon is that La, uh, La Pangea has picked up on the subtext and is like slowly going insane because she can't stand the weight. Yeah. And a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. <laughs> Count me among those able to see how you fire, Togar. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. Northwest of... Yeah. I'm definitely not ready for the Pokemon League. Well, one of my Pokemon is. The others are not. <laughs> Grand Inferno <laughs> is ready. <laughs> Grand Inferno can take anyone. Yeah. <laughs> They're at level 60 where everyone is in the 40s. <laughs> right, how, how are your Pokemon the way that they are? My Pokemon are all like in level 50 and shit. Like, they're all around the same level. Well, I caught them at different times, then I kept switching them out for different Pokemon. So, of course, they're going to be different levels. That's fair. Mm. I kept my my team pretty much the same for the entire game. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have you guys entertain my stream. Because I got to take a shower. Oh, wait. That's a so... bad idea. Oh, gosh damn it. Wait a minute. No one speak, please. Goddamn headset. Okay, you can speak now. Blah, blah, right. blah. My headset fucking came out. Oh, go uh. for it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back, D-Class. Uh, I'll be running a small ad break, and my friends will entertain you. Okay, so here's my theory, right? Uh, So, it would be kind of weird, because the thing is, usually in Pokemon games, your character is usually like 12 to 15. And it's very obvious that uh, Nemona is probably, like, 17-ish. Yeah, around there. Or maybe, like, not, okay, 17 to, like, 19. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they meant for it to sound purely, like, platonic. Like, oh, you're supposed to just be besties. But they they kind of failed, and it sounds like, yeah, no, like, she is flirting with you. And even then, like... They're both within an age range that is, like, fine. Yeah. Then again, you can, as long as you're not being, like, really weird about it, I th I feel like it's pretty, it's it's fine if you think, like, the characters are, like, slightly older, slightly younger than they are, as long as you're not being, like, really fucking creepy about it. Yeah. Like, people, I like how people treated, uh, the, the girl main character in Sword and Shield, even though she is very obviously underage like, design, like, character, canon-wise, is very much a minor. Hmm. Some Pokemon yeah. fans need to learn that the age of consent is 18. No. Meh. You know my stance on that stuff. It's just like, oh god, that poor character, just completely ruined by the internet. I mean, what doesn't end up getting ruined by the internet? That's a good point. Well, I guess deer haven't been ruined by the internet. Deer? Or penguins. Penguins haven't been ruined by the internet. Oh. My well, knowledge. Looks like looks like we've got a we've got work to do, internet. No. Start with the deer, end with the birds. <laughs> no, don't touch the birds. And with the fish birds.
Uh, I'm I'm doing the Masuda method, and so how I've decided to hatch the eggs is running in a circle on one of the towers that you find in the game, and it it, it hurts to look at. It is very dizzying. What does that even mean? It it's it's constantly spinning because I'm running in a circle really fast, and it. Oh hurts. yeah, but like, what's the reason? Uh, Masuda Why method you... is a way to get shinies, so you have to hatch a bunch of egg eggs. And to hatch the eggs, you have to run around. Ah. Uh. Yeah. File tail cat shark. I would use a, uh, a lighthouse, because that's usually what I use in my tower. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I have found the five species of cat shark I will be adding. Your, your favorite one is? Uh, that's kind of hard. My favorite's probably either the uh, pajama or striped cat shark or the a uh, chain cat shark. They both have really cool colorations. Actually, no, I think it is the chain cat shark. They're really cool. Downside with a lot of these species is they are so obscure that we actually that the uh, conservation status is data deficient. Like we just don't have enough information as to whether or not they are endangered. Actually, let me all do this image. Yeah, this is a. I'm sending you an image. This is the chain cat shark. That is a red apple. I do not want a red apple. I want a green apple. Please give me a green apple. I think shiny apple is green. Wait, one moment. Well, oh, oh, he's a real, he's a real cute baby. Oh, he's and, adorable. Uh, though that is a striped cat shark. Adorable, I approve. They are very cute. No, I would not like to get uh give Applin a name because Applin is a di a disgrace because he is not green. The fuck is wrong with you? Have you ever heard of apple discrimination? <laughs> Uh, well, I hadn't, but I guess I have now. <laughs> Actually, shiny Applin. I'm lazy. I'm. Oh wait, yeah, he's green. Green, green boy. Give me the green boy. Can you can you say that my next egg will be green and mean it so that I get a green boy? Your next egg will be yellow. Oh, what happened? I don't fucking know. God, Maridon is not Maridon. Coridon is adorable. Because each time I hatch the eggs, because I'm riding on them, so to like speed up the process, you every time an egg hatches, they just go into an idle animation, and they are adorable. I mm. love them. Oh my god, they are my sweet dino baby. Mm. Oh, this is another really cute species. This is the coral cat shark. I send you. So in all honesty, I'm probably going to end up being able to get more done with Bright Dawn because I don't have any voice lines. Mm -hmm. I gotta work fast.
Did you see the image I sent you? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, so, was that the last one I have to hatch? Yes, it was. I'm a dumbass. Uh, oh my god. The chain cat shark is bioluminescent. It is? Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay, yeah, this is my favorite cat shark. This is a chain cat shark bioluminescing. Oh. Little neon green boy. Green. He is green. Indeed. I, there, there are very few things that make me happier than the knowledge that there are glow-in-the-dark sharks. Like, that's a thing that exists, and it's great. Mm -hmm. It makes me happy. Green apple, green apple, green apple, green apple. Also, since I'm hatching all these apples at the top of a tower, I like to imagine ever, uh, when I release them, I just throw them off the, off the thing into the ocean below. It's not a totally demented thing to do. <laughs> Look, they're apples, okay? They're worms living in apples. It is completely more. Or any of the people on the lighthouse wants the little apple boy, they can grab the little apple boy before he goes smashing to the ground like a pumpkin. Child. Get help. I would, but that's expensive and I don't have the money to get help. Well. God damn it, this motherfucker isn't green, it's still red. Well, fuck. Also, it weighs uh, 1.1 pounds. Do you weigh 1.1 pounds? No, I weigh like like 390 something. Oh. By the way, um it sounds like I'm going to need to go do something. I will be back as soon as I can. Okay.
Hello. Uh, I had to go do something. Oh great, I'm off the level with you. Why, why are you mean? I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dragon. So I have hatched about 50 apples so far, and not a single shiny. But then again, the odds are 692, so... Yeah, no shit. Well, usually people get it on the lower end. Then again, I'd be lucky if I got it in the 100s. I'd probably- I'm probably gonna get it in the 200s. Then again, someone got their shiny- yeah, their shinies starters from last generation in, like, about the average of 400s, so maybe not. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take on the fairy bitch. Wait, did you take on all the other ones? Uh, I didn't take on the... I took on the dark, poison, and fire. I need to take on the poison one. I don't think the poison one is that hard if I remember. No, no, they're not. Right. I, they were a bitch. I'd be Wait, what shit is the poison weak against? I forget. I don't remember what I used. Uh, ground, I, I, it worked against them, I think. Oh yeah, ground. One more, uh, one more egg. Let's see if it's a shiny. It probably isn't. That's you. The fighting one. It's not. I feel like the fighting one's gonna be easier than the fairy one, so I'm gonna take down the fairy one first. Well, you have to get it done either way, so... Yeah. Wait. Did someone join or something? No. Someone posted a reminders for everyone. Time to whoop some fairy ass. Oh wait, I'm kind of curious. Can I teach Psychic to any of other my Pokemon? Mm -hmm. No, I cannot. One apple escaped the apple that had release of 2022. It's wild to believe that it's almost, <clears throat> it's wild to believe that it's almost fucking 2023 already. Believe it, bitch. What do you mean? Jesus Christ. I'm just- I just like cussing a lot, dragon. Jesus. Mm -hmm. So yeah, believe it, bitch. Meanie. It's okay. 
I ignore you call me Mini after I murder a bunch of Pokemon. Don't you dare touch the penguins. You wouldn't dare. Jesus, fuck. Calcium. For six... Six... 67,000! No, fuck off. Well, oh, I'll well, go for that option. That's actually pretty cheap. I love the Tumbleweed Pokemon is so adorable. Are these Oni Pokemon? One heal balls. Heal balls are pretty expensive if I remember correctly. They're like a thousand each. Wait, let me go check. I'd like to buy heal ball. Oh, they're only 300 each. How much would 41 be? Oh, I got that for a steal. I got that for 3,000 less. Jesus Christ. I love gambling, don't you? I love murder. What are you murdering? Uh, a bunch of fairy Pokemon. Oh look, Mimikyu! Oh yeah, Mimikyu is a uh, fairy. I always forget that. Right now, I'm just taking down Team Star. Then I'll take on the Pokemon League after I level up. I still can't believe you don't like the name Butternut for Dragon. Butternut's stupid. Shut up. You're stupid. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. So, like, it's Ortega hot sauce. What? There's a, a Spanish hot sauce that's called Ortega. Oh. And I like it. It's my favorite hot sauce. Huh. So you're Hi. the... You're Aaron Bright. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. I mean, that's the main reason most people catch fairy types, is because they have good type advantages and are cute. Ross, I'll play nice, so don't blame me when I... The battle sends you blundering back home. Oh, fuck you! Fucking sack of shit. Okay, it's not very well. It's not doing well. Uh oh. I'm going to attempt date and hope and pray that Eris doesn't die. You 
people take on the science? Uh, it's not science. Psychic. Gem. Jesus Christ. Fuck! Damn. Yes! Fuck you! Gak? Fun? What the hell is that? I have no idea. Temp Fate? I don't know who that is. Oh, it's your dog. Yeah. I just asked what it was. Well, I'm not watching your stream. Well, I I'm said its name. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <sighs> Thanks. This is a slick move. Bet you can't handle my Pokemon adorable strength. Haha. <laughs> that didn't do as much damage as I hoped. I didn't go first. Oh, you did do a decently good amount of damage, but good, he didn't do much damage. Okay, let's try Ice Fang then. It's not gonna work on me, but... Hydro Bomb? Oh, that did decent amount of damage. Number 15, Jesus fucking Christ, you murdered them. Why the fuck would you do that? Damn. Fuck you. Not you, Drake. Well, I would hope, because I didn't say anything. Wow, I'm getting lucky with the hydro pumps. Mm. Seriously, sure they don't hit. Yeah, and yeah, there he goes. He voided his hat. And now he's dead. Critical hit. Fuck you. Oh. Go the trunk. I can't believe Tulip said Slade. On. Yeah, fuck you.
What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Oh, I am so gonna sweep this team. I just one hit her. Graffarig. Graffarig? What the fuck is it? There's a new evolution for a Graffarig. For a graph or something like that? Yeah, for a graph. Kill Guard of War. Kill Guard of War. Kill Guard of War. One yeah. hit kill. And also, it doesn't help that my, uh, my Crocodile has Moxie, so every time he gets a one-hit kill, uh, yeah, he, his power raises. Ah. Oh, fuck you. More one-hit kills. Die. This is definitely the harder one. Cause the other one is the car just runs him forward and hits you. This one using a confuse ray, using a steel type move. Fuck. Come on. Hang in there, hang in there. Come on, Chunk. The Chunk. Come on. Yes! Damn. That did not do a whole lot. Come on, come on. I like how in this game, gym leaders have, like, other jobs besides being a gym leader. Because in the other games, it's, like, hinted that the the job is being a gym leader, which is kind of boring. I know Ness is a model. But I don't, or I don't remember what the others are. If there are others that are not gym leaders as, like, the full-time job. Power up my poison type. I don't know why I didn't just thresh lies. Oh no. Fuck, he's still confused. Yes! Good job, the chunk. So now I need to get a full restore. That way, get rid of the fucking confusion. I'm pretty sure I I don't know if full restore. It does. It just said it. It does. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I didn't know that. Oh fuck you for re-giving confusion. Fuck you. Yeah. I want to hold pneumonia. Oh pneumonia's fuck! Hand. Oh, of course they do a critical. Oh, please don't hit yourself, please, please. Yes. All I need is one more hit, but I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna heal the the chonk. Yeah, the fairy guy was definitely meant to be the last boss. Yeah. Come on. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Yeah! Fuck you, bitch! Down you go! Hi, <gasps> Hatchet. <laughs> oh, yeah. He came back to see the chunk defeat the, the fairy bitch boy. The fairy bitch boy. Yep. 
I'm pretty sure you mean twink. Ugh. Ugh. How, how, how could I lose? What the heck? Oh, this has multiple voice lines. I don't remember this. Ugh. What the heck? Oh, uh, oh, uh, this is my... You're, you're doing good, you're dating a veggie edge, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called a, st a star mobile. And I was up all night building it. I mean, it clearly isn't that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two char cadet, but it's just too heavy. You want to voice airy hatchet? It's a very buff woman. Uh, I'll pass. That's such a... Such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I thought it would work. Come, good fellow. There's no occasion for Malakani. <laughs> Shut up. What? Melancholy, sorry. <laughs> Melancholy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why? I oh man, I, I I I feel like such an oppressive weight of melancholy. Shut up. Why? To make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Very well. There's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have would have zero payout, I would just ask Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say stupid things, you know that? What? Man, it'd look cooler, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, even if we were to put the code for crying out loud, when we started Team Start, we swore to quit relying on our parents or ba bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just crank it up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Star Mo Mobile moving in no sweat. But the hour of op Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melee, wait. You know, Melee shoots her mouth off for an off lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh. This sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing. But I also can't get over how awesome you are in that battle. If any of us squad bosses were defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code to make a traitor to the team. Ugh, fine. I don't have any choices anyway, so take my badge already. Better treat it with the respect it deserves. So the twink turned out to be a little rich boy. Apparently. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Just realized I was muted. Good job. Uh, honestly, it sounds like Team Star is just a bunch of rich kids who got bullied. Yeah, probably. But I think it was just the fairy kid that was rich. The other ones were just getting bullied. Oh. Uh... And just so you know... You are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. You have no idea how accurate that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, god damn it.
you just have to look once in your in my in the DMs I send people, and you'll immediately I, know how annoying I am. I knew this would happen eventually. What? I've used Pinterest to search up enough fish that I'm getting fish related memes on my home page, including <laughs> a including a no bitches meme with like a barracuda staring into the camera. Please send me that. I need that. Me image. too. I was planning to make my own version of this joke at some point if I found a good fish. But yeah, this is this is pretty good. I actually don't know what fish that is, but it looks like a barracuda. Yeah, anyway. But I don't get it. You're super strong. I would admit that much. You even busted my star mobile. <laughs> and then in the comment, there's a single comment, and it's just no fishes? No fishes. <laughs> With two hearts. <laughs> hey, Hatchet, you want to voice act the piano teacher? Uh, give me a second. Let me throw that your way. Throw that your way. I have sent you both the no bitches meme. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright. No fishes. Young Master Ortega. Right? Hold on. I was sending someone. I was getting a DM. So sorry. Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for our piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Ah, uh, actually a different matter brought me here. There's someone I would like you to meet. Who the fuck is this dweeb with a pompadour? Oh, uh, that's the... the principal. Wait, what? Yeah, that is the principal. He's just wearing disguise. You'll uh, you'll understand when you see his face. Uh, he's a dis distant acquaintance of mine. It's <laughs> God damn it! It's just it's just clavicle. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh well, actually, that's how I that's how I get into Cindy's character. Well, actually, and then I have to pitch shift it. Well, actually, the name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like the Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, the answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. Yep. Yep. So... I was being bullied for being too rich. So the Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am the best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. And an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a, re as a result of what occurred that day, the students who had Per perpetrated the bullying 
dropped out of the academy after one, one, one after the other. Okay, actually, but but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. Okay, head cannon. These two are gay. Okay. They're gay Wait, for each other. Which ones? I, I am not on the stream. Who are they? Harrington and Cl and quote unquote Clive. It's clavicle. Harrington is the old guy. He's wearing a coat, correct? Yeah. yeah. The piano yeah. teacher. Candela. <laughs> What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, uh, a certain student came to me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no, no one told me that. It's gonna be pneumonia, isn't it? Maybe. I accepted the request and agreed not to take a disciplinary action against Team Star. Waiting for the bullies to turn out to be the gym leaders and members. And members of the Pokemon League. They're not gym leaders. We've already met uh, most, yeah, most of the uh, Elite Four. They're just kids that got bullied. Yeah. Okay. Also, no, I think Bookworm. I think Bookworm is implying that those people are the ones that bullied the Team Star kids. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't think Pneumonia has it in her to bully someone, though. Well, no, I'm considering that Pneumonia was the original leader of Team Star. Maybe. That could be it. I have a big old twisterino. Did I actually read that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure when you defeat the last, uh, the last, uh, star... But whatever. Yeah. The then I assign. stars. You, you see who pneumonia is up. pretty young though yeah mm -hmm. then i assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team then again everyone in team star is pretty young too mm -hmm. a year and a half oh wait no that's clive C clive fucking uh well actually a year and a half of studying abroad. That was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted this student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to Gala region. Under the pretext of overseas studies. I don't think Nimona is from Galar. Well, whatever. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. You know what would be funny? If it was one of the members from Team Yell from the Galar. Was the leader. Maybe. That would be pretty cool, but I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> Bookworm, I'm not too sure of the timeline. I don't think anyone's too sure of the timeline. Yeah. Well, okay, we do know that, like, it's been, like, at least 10 to 20 years since Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Green. Because Red and... Red and Gary are both, like, in their 20s. And a lot of people are speculating that in... Uh, Alola, they were on, like, their honeymoon. Because they went together. That doesn't mean... Well, they went together, and I think they mentioned each other, too. That... And let's be real, they've always kind of been, you know? And Bright, that's why the penguin said speculated. Yeah. 
It what appears... About you? They, they, they're they're kind of, you know, they're kind of... Okay. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's, wait, that's not the right voice. God damn it. <laughs> Actually. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The result, oh, sorry. the result of the teaching staff, the rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. The result? The rest. You, you, you said the result. Yes, I know. <laughs> hey, if you give me shit for things I say, I can say I can give you shit for things you say. What the fuck? Common hey. sense, one hundred. Okay. <laughs> Fucking cat being weird. Right, for the poison one, because that's the one I'm taking on right now, you have to kill one of the big boys. Yeah. You have to kill the big boy, I'm sad, no! Deal with it. Oh wait, you already took up the poison one, didn't you? Yeah, I already defeated the poison yeah. one. Oh, I'm sad. And I hatch it. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of <sighs> trouble. Of my sincere apologies. Hey, hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Oh, Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to start a better course. But there's no way I'm banning my friends going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star mean a great deal to you. Isn't it ob isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Damn, you didn't get to see Clive's face. The transition was that. Oh, wait. Never mind. Aaron Wright, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. Wait, maybe it's this person that was the original leader of Team Star. Maybe. Ooh. The Cannoli. Cat. Yeah. Yeah, Cat Cassiopeia Cannoli. Yeah, maybe. With its boss no longer around, the Rockpa squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. There's a reason why I didn't call uh, Ortega a funny name. It's because there's a Spanish hot sauce called Ortega. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there now. Just one boss left. That brings us a huge success thanks to you, Aaron. And Clive has also performed admirably as well as well. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? I'm gonna lie. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. 
He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? Yeah. As, as you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Though you can hardly, could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared split, spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after the other. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. Bruh, you could just... Like, okay, from a game design perspective, we literally just heard this story. Like, we don't need, like... We don't need to have it reiterated. Yeah. A second time by a different character. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Wish we had. Wait. Oh, so they just... Oh, so they just... <laughs> this fuckface just came in, repeated the story we just got narrated to us by two different people, and then decided to not expound upon why they said the story. Okay, yeah, okay. Fuckface. Yeah. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good point, Bookworm. Like, I can imagine it'd be good if, like, uh, like, if they were to do it, like, from different perspectives, like, you hear one story from this group and another story from this group. Like, I'm literally trying to work that into the idea for a story that I have. But the, the way that they did it here is trash. Yeah. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. You want to voice her? Ooh. Uh, uh, the, the stuttery penny girl. Here I am. Oh yeah, you have not seen this. God, stay, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Yeah, he starts looking all over. Oh. Hmm. That's made. That's probably already been made into a particular image. Hatchet. Jail. Go to horny jail. You shouldn't be saying that, child. <gasps> Boy, Chrome redeemed bonk hatchet. Agree to bonk the hatchet. <sighs> this is Penny. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied. <laughs> that's, that's, that could be true. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe Miraiadon just senses that Penny is a is a good bean and wants to make her feel better. Yeah. Or he Miraiadon is in love with Penny. No. Getting bullied. That's also possible. Miraiadon is like has the intelligence of a dog. So. And dogs can be in love with people. Fair point. In fact, that's like their that's like their 
like they have three emotions love anger and food those are the three dog emotions actually there's no uh maybe moridon thinks uh they actually start are thinking that they have happiness as well because there is a scientific study proving that dogs can laugh oh oh yeah but i think that could go into the category of love yeah which means if my a dog, dog never smiles. laughs at you, that means they don't find you funny. My dog smiles at me. <laughs> there's a there's an advertisement for dog chow on Pinterest on my other screen. Oh. On my <laughs> other window. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Anyway, Hatchet. They'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. Penny takes the turn of Aaron Yeager. <laughs> oh god, no. Why does my brain do this? Penny's like, both sides are fucked up. Where's where's my giant army of dudes? Is that actually what happened? I mean, do you care about spoilers? No. Child, do you care about spoilers? And I think Bookworm's good. Is Bookworm good? Uh, they haven't Connecting said anything. Chat. Goddamn fucking internet issues on my end. Yeah, they said, yeah, I'm good. Yep, I'm good. Uh, so basically, you know, like, the walls of Attack on Titan? Mm -hmm. You know, the three walls? Mm-hmm. They're constructed of consolidated, consolidated 50 meter tall titans. I thought the titans were dead. No, they. Uh, if a titan's dead, it will vanish. Oh. They were just. They are just inactive, because they don't have access to sunlight. A proposed doomsday theory that was, well, not really theory, a threat that the original king of the walls made to the outside world if they tried to trample his uneasy peace uh, was that he would release the millions upon millions of titans within his walls to trample every bit of life outside of the island. Oh. And thus, that threat gave food to the bigots outside of the island wanting everyone within the island and arguably everyone from the Eldian race to be killed. And that's also the reason why the entire conflict started. The Colossal Titan that we first see, the Armored Titan, they're all agents for a contesting military that come in trying to make sure the rumbling can't happen. But eventually, Aaron Yeager, the, the, the spitting image of the fact, like again, I've put it this way. To me, Attack on Titan is best described as how you take an otherwise normal, innocent child and turn him into the world's worst mass murderer. Because all of these factors, along with a handful of metaphysical things and uh, Aaron's naturally kind of violent dispositions put into this environment, led him down the route of the concluding that the only way to stop the cycle was to take out one side of the cycle. I.e., he goes full-blown genocidal. And he decides that he needs, for the sake of his friends on Parody, to start the rumbling. And he does. And then the narrative continues on with him basically becoming the final antagonist of the entire series as... The majority of his friends and characters from the previous seasons all rally together to literally stop their best friend from committing literally the worst act of mass murder in the world's history. Well then. You see, this is a part of why I get frustrated with this idea that people have that Attack on Titan is fascist. Like, they will commonly point to Aaron Yeager and his followers, the Yeagerists, and say, look, they're fascists. Yes, 
Yes, Aaron Yeager and the Yeagerists are fascists. And they are the final antagonists. All of our main characters, Commander Hanji, who is literally associated with the god Odin, are trying to stop him. Like, just because he was the main character, and still is the main character, and just because he was a protagonist throughout the entire series, it's like people's brains break when they see that the protagonist has turned into an antagonist. Even though we see the literal reverse of this constantly in media. We see antagonists turn protagonists. Think Zuko from uh, mm -hmm. Airbender. Airbender. Yeah, that's the show now. Oh, Airbender. The last Airbender. Yeah. Like, we see the exact opposite of this constantly. The, the reason why I think Attack on Titan is such a good such a good piece of anti-fascist media is because it heavily analyzes and critiques the cycle of violence as it exists and shows that ultimately the things that make people cruel exist in literally everyone and all it takes is just the wrong environment for people to turn cruel yeah. it's an incredible story because of that Attack on Titan tangent, as, as, like, my weekly Attack on Titan tangent is over, if you want it to be over. Okay. Also, you got lines. Yeah, I know. But yeah, point being, that was my joke. Penny goes Aaron Yeager. <laughs> Which is bad. But I guess the big boss was, was the one who urged everyone... To face their bullies, despite knowing mm. who messed up the how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot! Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. The that's uh that's. If the system, okay, if the, if the systems, if, if, if the structure of the school enabled this to happen, and quite literally the only way that they can deal with this is to beat them up, that is justified. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not talking a, they literally killed them situation here. Like, uh... I'm sure of it. Yeah, granted, here I am. I was literally just talking about the cycle of violence, so... I don't fucking know. It's complicated. <laughs> well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Aaron. Okay, so he defeated the hardest boss for last. It was funny. But yeah, and hell, like... Like, hell, like... Uh, I love Attack on Titan. It's such an expertly crafted narrative. But yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm guessing you weren't planning to watch the show, child. Yeah. Yeah, I watched, like, I think up to... Uh... Fuck. I think, like, the season, end of season one of the anime and, well, in the manga. Yeah. That's as far as I've gotten. Cause that's as much as that, that was at the school. When I was at school. So... I see. There. Why, why is fighting weak to fly? Flying poison so kick a bug. Because flying is quite literally one of the biggest advantages to a fighter. Fair point, yeah. In nature. 
Like, it doesn't matter how strong you are if the enemy can literally just fucking carpet bomb you with pecs on the head. You're either going to get out of there or die. Or nuke. Get nuked. Yeah, that's another option. <laughs> Birds with nukes. Tactical nuke. Tactical bird nuke. Isn't that just when they take a shit and then it lands on you? <laughs> gotcha. Apparently you have to be really unlucky for that to happen. Like, it doesn't happen often. Well, of course, oh, yeah, like... in some places if bird shits on you, it's good luck. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm happy that they can think that positively. I, on the other hand, will literally <laughs> fist fight the bird. I will fist fight the bird. How are you gonna fist fight a bird? They don't have hands. Exactly. That's just called assault. I will assault the bird. <laughs> I will assault the bird. I will assault the bird. But yeah, and like, another, like, uh... I, I think about, like, these dumb criticisms of Attack on Titan needlessly common. They've got, like, that weird little section of my brain that I fixate on, partially because it's my favorite anime, and I think partially because, like, I'm constantly trying. Like, I genuinely, if someone can reasonably demonstrate that Attack on Titan is problematic, even as my favorite anime, I am more than willing to fucking acknowledge it. It's just every time I see someone saying it, it seems like they've never actually read or watched it. Like they base it solely upon a handful of Twitter threads. Rather what than actually on what's in the text of the show. What happened, right? I was chasing a chancy and it just vanished. Yeah, those that happens. I had I was chasing two chancies and they vanished. Yeah. And yeah, and like like hell, for for example, like the main arc that everyone uh every one of these sorts like acts like is uh, Yeah. I forgot to put my phone face up. I will be up in a sec. I have butter. Give me a second. I need to go grab supper. No. Fuck you. God, I love Eerie. I'm I'm getting ready to fight her, and she's just I don't want to fight her. She seems so nice. Oh, there's a fucking chancy. Can't outrun me now, bitch. Right now, I'm trying to get uh, Lemon to level 48 so they can evolve into Garchomp. Then I'll take on the last okay. leader. So Team Star has has uh, tattoos, right? That they are a part of Team Star. So oh god, that's level fifty four. Jesus Christ. Um, but so my question comes: Does that mean like what are they gonna do when Team Star falls? Like, are they gonna get it off? Like the 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 thing off? Like, I don't- what are- What are- what are they gonna do? What do you mean? Well, they have stars. Like, tattooed on their bodies, but it's very obviously the team star... Like, mark. So, like, what the fuck are they gonna do? Maybe keep it and just be friends afterwards? That's point. point. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like, the grunts and shit, though. I return with cheese sticks. No. Can I have a cheese stick? 
sure come to Colorado. Okay. Five, oh five seconds God. later, Hector just hears a knock on her door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm knocking on the door, Hatchet. Let me in. Let me in, Hatchet. Say the password. Cheese sticks. That's not the password. Eat Fail. shit. No, that's also not the password. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that is the password. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'll go let you in. Thank you. No. Okay. Bright said no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bright's your parent. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disobey that. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait, there's just a bunch of ghosts just sitting there. What the fuck? <laughs> What's with that haunting? Right. What? Right, what what level was team the, the fairy team at? They were all level fifty. So maybe I think the fighting and the fairy are at the same level then, because I'm at the fighting one right now and it's level fucking. The grunt was only level fifty four, and I'm like, Jesus fucking, Christ, what the fuck? But yeah, like, it just hurts my brain. Because, like, I think that the fourth season of Attack on Titan is the most demonstrative of how, um, how interested the narrative is to criticize the cycle of violence. Because it quite literally bounces back and forth between the perspective of Eldians who are under the thumb of outside powers and Eldians within the walls. And directly... Like, literally one of the major character arcs of the first section of the fourth season is a character, like a child, being de-radicalized from a fascist position. By literally just talking to the people that they were told to demonize. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why am I afraid? Lockwood couldn't see me post that, so I I wanted to make sure they could. Is Brett muted? No. Oh. God damn it! I forgot I had the <laughs> equal sign. I forgot I had the equal sign as my damn fucking mute key. God damn it! Where did you press the equal sign? I don't know. I apparently got pressed. So I guess that is a good, good mute key to use. You're never gonna use it otherwise. Unless you do math. <laughs> no, that's the point. What do you mean, bookworm? No, I don't know. Your child. Oh, what do you mean, child? That's that's the point. Bright doesn't do math. The point. Fuck you. I mean, are we wrong? Yeah, is it wrong? Yes, I can do math. I've had an A for math at every single school, you son of a bitch. Okay, then what does I and math represent? Imaginary number? Yes. <laughs> X and Y, what do they represent? Hey, hey, Brian. That depends Bryce. on the type of math, Brian. Right. What? If you do math, then why do you constantly say things like infinity plus one? Because I'm an idiot. Yeah, and idiots don't do math. Fuck you. Blockworm, defend me. How the fuck would Bookworm defend you? Bird alert. <laughs> Since Bookworm. Imagine the hypocrisy of my of me saying that. <laughs> You can be an idiot and good at math. <laughs> Thank you, Bookworm. Mm. Provide an example. That <laughs> shit. Well, 
Lemon, lemon wants to learn to move. Dig. Provide an example of someone who's very dumb, but also good at math. Ah, uh, you? <gasps> Hatchet. I ain't good at math. Lemon's evolving. And, and I also contest the idea. No, Bright is not. I Well, Bright <laughs> is dumb, but Bright is not good at math. Yes. Bright is good at math, but you just don't believe in her. You started this rabble with me. Don't turn yes. sides, you fucking traitor. Anyway, Garchomp Unless is the mock Pokemon. The protuberances on its head serve as sensors. It can even detect distant prey. Oh, six foot three. Big boy. Large Even though that's boy. actually really fucking small for a hammerhead. The middle wants to learn to move crunch. Each boy crunch. Also, okay. So I know, like, technically... The Team Star way have to run through it and shit. It's a, it's a bit laggy, right? But it it still works. How are you supposed to? Uh, yeah, why do they give ten minutes? That is a lot of time. As children. That uh, yeah yeah. This is a children's game. Now all my team members are fully evolved. Mine my. my Oh god, why did one of my Pokemon die? How the fuck did they die? My party's been fully evolved for a while. Granted, you didn't have a pseudo-legendary at the time. Good point, yeah. <laughs> well, technically, I think... No, I don't think they count as a pseudo-legendary. Who? Also, Jesus Christ. Uh, Lapple. No. Yeah, no. Well... They are the they they are the region's dragon type, if I remember. Well, no, the pseudo legend is the dragon type, and that's the uh, shoot shoot boy. Daddy, shoot me, cat out of your cannon! I love blood force trauma. So love fo blunt force trauma. Yeah. I love eerie. You love jeery? Eerie. Eerie. E-R-I. Oh wait, Volcom, you didn't say... No, I realize most people talk about different things about good at math. You can be good at math that you learn in school and good at math on a special interest level, says Bookworm. True. Oh. Though, Bookworm, you never did answer my question about the statement I posted. It's true, right? I don't, I'm not hearing anyone decline it, so I know it's true. That's how that works. not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it is now, bitches. It very much isn't, but okay. I don't know sure. what logical fallacy that is, <laughs> but it's definitely one. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I. And since I don't know the actual technical term for that logical fallacy, we're just going to call it the the bright fallacy. It works. That works. Also, eerie, eerie. In in. Oh my God, she uses heel balls. That's adorable. Oh my God, I love her. I love her. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck is that? A Nile uh, hape? What the shit? Oh, that's a new form, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where the fuck did you get this? I ended one shot. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? How the fuck do you get that? Oh my god, what the fuck? Right, prepare for the the fighting one, because I think this one might be harder than the fairy one. Too dear. Okay, thanks. Then again, the, the one day I had fair, I probably would be fine with the fighting one, because I have a bunch of Pokemon that can deal well with fighting. It's mm -hmm. just, I didn't have a lot to do with fairy. So you probably didn't have a lot to do with fighting. You probably have a good amount to do with fairy. 
Yeah. Can I climb that tall ass mountain? Yeah. And you have a ghost type. Oh yeah, that's true. Jesus Christ, the bash. Yeah. This this goddamn dog, bun dog, is tanky as shit. We must climb Anyone... this mountain. Uh, I'll switch for Lucario. Lucario is steel fighting, if I remember correctly. Lucario's in a lot of maybe I've seen. Yeah, yeah. No, Lucario's in a bunch of Pokemon movies. It's actually really cool. No, that's not what Hatch was talking no, about. No, Hatchet, Hatchet's obviously a big fan of the Pokemon movies. I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Yeah, I mean, I... I love those Pokemon movies. Yeah. See? Exactly, see? Hopefully, Ar Aris can sweep the fighting boss. That's fair. Like, I really love that one Pokemon movie where... Where like one of the female characters in Lucario, they uh, they uh, uh they have a fight. <laughs> I don't remember that movie, but that sounds fun. <laughs> it was a very very fun movie. It's imprinted on my cortex. <laughs> I see it How at all times. Happen? How did that happen? I, I don't even... know. Maybe I sat too close to. To the screen for some reason. Pokemon movies for adults, says Bookworm. <laughs> Please, I hope this fucking dog, Daisy the Gourmet, because I have a little title for her. Oh, well, now I don't have to worry about this, because the evolution to the dung beetle. You literally have to have it follow you for a thousand steps. Yeah, that also goes for the smiley fucking thing that you have on your team. Yeah, and this I is the only one I have time. to. This is the only one I had. Uh, don't have that has a thousand step evolution. So. Um. So I just gotta kill it. That did not do much. Okay. Oh. Cat shark. So I've decided that the five cat sharks I will be adding are uh, chain cat shark, coral cat shark, uh, the pajama shark or the striped cat shark, the izu cat shark, and the file tail cat shark. I like the fact that <laughs> I like the fact that this striped cat shark is also called the pajama shark. Is it? That's cute. Yeah, P Y uh, J A M A. Oh, what the fuck? They got a shield. That's some bullshit. Seems fair. Oh, it is a four star. Let me check a pronunciation for the pajama shark. Pajama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just pajama shark. <laughs> Everyone loves them pajamas. It's the pajama shark. And they're really fucking cute, too. Flying is good against the fighting, right? Yes. I've noticed something. Uh, uh, making these cards while you're streaming, I'm making more cards than I would if I wasn't trying to make cards. But it's super fucking slow. Because I'm so distracted. Fucking... Okay. 
Come on, guys, you just gotta keep hitting them. Why am I not attacking? Should have tried, should have made this thing um, better fucking flying type move. God damn it. Well, yep, there it goes. God damn it. Ugh. Fuck. Yeah! I have two. I got it! Now I don't I have got... to evolve the, the shit bug. The, the dung beetle used, uh, dysentery. Don't you need a dysentery? You might want to go see a doctor, <laughs> child. You, you don't have dysentery? No. No. No? Oh. I don't drink from 18th century wells. I do. It's very, it's a very fun hobby. I 100% I recommend. You're an idiot. That's you! Says hey. you, Bright. Says you. Hey, at least I don't consume things that get me killed. Alcohol? I mean... What? I don't Alco drink enough to kill me. Yeah, but it slowly kills you. Shut up. Also, I love how... I love its, um... Pokédex entry. An infant sleeps inside the ball. Rapska rolls the ball smooth... Soothingly with its legs and ensure the infant sleeps comfortably. Oh. It's a dun beat. It's a dun beetle, which means. Oh. And <laughs> bookworm. <laughs> life slowly kills you. Yeah. Well, unless you don't live a life. Now what? I'm sitting in my mom's basement, talking to a bunch of fictional people in my head, while searching up pictures of sharks for a shark card deck. Yeah, I have no life. Oh, that's a life. Nah. Nah, this ain't a life. Well... Yeah, a shark card deck you will only share with the people in your head. <laughs> well, I can't. See the cards. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Aaron. I like it. It's Clive. Oh. <clears throat> um. Fuck. Character, character, character. Um. Absolutely. Uh. Absolutely. Aaron. Cut. Cat. Cannoli. You good? Oh. Aaron. Cannoli. <laughs> this surprised face. They made it as well, Clive. See, you can see his face is the principal. No, I actually can't. The screen's too small. Oh. Why is the screen too small? I extended Because it. I'm... Because, oh. No, it's because I've, like, resized it to be about the size of... Um... The... Stream chat window. The majority of my screen is taken up by sharks. That's fair. Sure is a hell lot better than what you're doing. Of course.
Chorus. It's the last base. I would want to miss out on the action. Live, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was wary of you at first. I have a cheese stick in my mouth. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I mean, no. What does that even mean? I mean, no. Yeah, what does that mean? What is intended by that statement? Just no. <laughs> if you don't give me an explanation, I'll put the other half of this cheese stick in my mouth and make you wait longer. It means you can't eat cheese sticks. Fuck you. This is a free country. <laughs> is it? Sort of. Just Not no. really, but it's free Barely. enough for me. <laughs> And that's the American way. It's free enough for me, okay? <laughs> well, that's all water under the bridge. I forgot that I'm doing male voice rather than a female voice like this. When we're finished with this base, will there be the end of... Oh, fuck, excuse me. Operation <laughs> Starfall. Man. That's the end of the, uh, the sentence. Oh, 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 fuck, excuse me. <laughs> Don't let me out of all fuck, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Why do you find my burps so funny, Bright? I don't know. <laughs> Does this mean that to bright peak content is a a mouth fart? Yeah. Maybe. You are a child. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Bright has the mentality no. of a child. Shut. No, no, no. That's the point. Bright, bright is a child. Child, you have been upgraded to slightly less than adult. Mm. Bright is downgraded to child. Yeah. Anyway. There can only be one child in the server. <laughs> anyway, not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do we have any? I. I, 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 I. Do we have any leads on how to find them? Uh, right? Yeah, sorry. Uh. I'm hoping they'll come out in the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down. Either of you. And we tried end. so hard. And we got it so, far. so hard. And in the but end, in the end, it, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. matter. Constantinople hung up. Constantinople. <laughs> that, is that I love even, the name. I don't think there's a place anymore. Is it not? No, no, well, it it is technically, but it was renamed to Istanbul. Yeah. God damn it. It was the previous uh, capital of the Byzantine Empire. Then they got and taken then, over. And then, and then the Turks came in and, and named it Istanbul. God damn. Constantinople hung up. All right. Yeah, that's actually one thing that surprised me. I didn't, I didn't realize that the Ottoman Empire survived. Uh, to World War One. Oh yeah. I mean, it was on its deathbed by then, but yeah. And fun fact: it's the way that the West reacted to sections of its dissolution that led to the modern, a large aspect of the modern instability in the Middle East. Oh damn! Great. 
because basically they promised a rather progressive sect of Islam military aid and fighting off a more regressive sect of Islam. And then they just didn't give their ally support. Specifically, I think it was the UK and France. They just didn't give them support. So they got uh, superseded. Uh, this clan uh, was later changed. If I remember correctly, the name was either at the time or was later changed to the House of Saudi, which you might know, uh, which might sound familiar because the land that they took over is Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Yeah. And like on top of that, you know, like later instances such as uh, the CIA consistently Thanks, coming in and bulldozing democratic elections to favor Western corporations. If you didn't know, like one of like literally the first democratically elected, uh, at least if I remember correctly, the first democratically elected leader of Iran was uh, assassinated and then replaced with an American puppet. Because he was just a little bit too friendly with the Soviets. That's... that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long story short, CIA is evil. I feel like everyone knows this. Yeah, no uh, shit. Well, everyone except for... Them. The people who uh, <laughs> really like getting under the desk for the United States government. <laughs> I'll not yeah. say anything else. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Let's that's see. It. Thanks to you, Aaron Bright, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. Is he gonna take the fucking. fucking Pompadour off? Wait, Vocal I know is... what I need to do. Oh. I know what my final decision will be. Bookworm says, even they potentially know it. Just are, hit, are okay with it. Yeah, probably. Very likely. Kind of like how uh, it's obvious that folks like uh, oh, I forget the name, like Mar Margaret Taylor Green, whatever. Margaret Thatcher. Uh, no, not yeah. her. Cur current person within the say, state or the House of House of Representatives, like when Trump's Mar-a-Lago home was fucking rifled through, she starts comparing it to the way that the FBI treated MLK. You know for a fact that if this was literally any other person. They, she would just be completely a okay with the FBI bulldozing someone, because mm -hmm. these people never actually question governmental powers until they're slightly inconvenient for them. Yeah, didn't he? Wasn't he caught stealing some like nuclear things from the U.S. government or something like that? Uh, yeah, some of the documents pertained to locations and security at, uh, I believe, nuclear power plants. I don't remember if there was, like, nuclear weaponry. Yeah, and he thinks he can run again for president after he was caught with that. Well, depending still... on how well his legal team manages to fare, maybe. But the idea is basically to get him on, like, a federal charge, and then he can't run. Uh... So let's hope that the January 6th hearings go well, as as they've already been going very well. Like, yeah. Trump's legal team is basically just, their only option at this point is stall for time. Just stall for time. Please let us stall for time so they can get president again and fucking, fucking hand out a pardon for himself or some shit. Please. <laughs> Please. Just give us more time. We'll like, find the evidence. Please. Can they actually do that? Like, pardon yourself? I mean, I don't know, but... I mean, it's just sure as hell more likely to work than whatever the fuck they're doing in the hearings. 
Uh, sorry for getting all impolite there. Don't know what came over me. Goodbye, and Clive. And they just leave. They have a flat ass. Why are you looking at an old man's ass? You wouldn't? Why aren't no? you looking at an old man? <laughs> wait, wait, he walked away and he walked you. back. <laughs> wait, what? The fuck? <laughs> you are pretty skilled. Not many trainers shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Fuck, every time I put a cheese stick in my mouth. <laughs> Same to you, Ari, was it? She can rewind people. Oh my god. That was a dumb joke. <laughs> this is what Ariel will look like when she's grown up. <laughs> no. Oh man. Oh man, the glow up. Where'd her horn go, though? <laughs> uh, she ate it. That, that's where her quirk comes from. <laughs> Obviously, all the, no quirks exist in this universe. Um, or do they? Yeah, how do they you don't. know? What if the Pokemon's abilities are actually just highly derived quirks? What happened? I mean, there are some Pokemon that used to be human. Sorry, what if? Okay, fan theory. The, the quirk singularity doomsday theory. The idea that quirks will get more and more complex to the point where humans can't handle them anymore. What if that causes all the humans who have quirks to revert to animal-like creatures, and then the people who don't have quirks end up showing up, and, and the people who had quirks were Pokemon? <laughs> and they just Boom. start catching Please, them in I balls. Think, I think... I think we should go get Hatchet's medicine. <laughs> ah, I already took it, bitch, and it's why I'm like this. <laughs> Please stop taking your medicine, then. Anyway, Hatchet, <laughs> no. go ahead. I need my fish oil. <laughs> <laughs> the same to you, Eri. Was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt. That's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on your side, on my side. You know, what would be side. funny if if Ari actually did speak like the voice I just gave them. <laughs> if they spoke like that, like, like all you mean, it's, yeah. Do you mean like My Hero Academia, Ari? Yeah, little Ari. <laughs> yeah, she started speaking super demonic. Just like, I was really sad you got her. I didn't know your name. What, I know Lamillion's name, but what's yours? <laughs> that would be amazing. I want a fan dub to be just only Aerie's voice changed, and it's just that. <laughs> that would be amazing. I really would be great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a double battle? Who are you? The first second I thought Clive said, Who are you? <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> it's just like, Wait, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm really showing my age, huh, Sonny? A uh, book for said you would be a prophet. <laughs> Aaron, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was the team was with Team Star. 
Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. They were just battling it out. Who the fuck's this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't you know who question mark, question mark, question mark is? Vivi, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen? Are you okay? San Diego. You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Honestly, now get away from here. It's not safe. I'm taking over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until our big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you and the Saf squad. And everyone else on Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of the squad, I, ju I, I just can't. Riri, please. I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine. I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Man, it's not a way to sign off. Let me hear a, a hello, hasta la vista from you nice and loud. This game is full of so many gay people. Ha! Hasta la vista! <laughs> hasta la vista! <laughs> I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, cheese stick! <laughs> <laughs> I set the line. That clearly oh. says, hey, cheese stick. Fuck off. What, you don't like being called cheese stick? No. <laughs> Mr. White. No. Mr. White. <laughs> er, Jesse, we have to make more cheese sticks, Jesse. Jesse. The estrogen market's gone fucking wild, Jesse. Everyone's turning into cat girls, Jesse. My Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after the last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could battle this grunt alone? I could have said no and be an asshole. Thanks, I'll be sitting over here on my hands. How convenient for you, Clavel. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? And here I come. Uh. <laughs> what? that intro I can't stand the team star intro wrong hatcher I just said oh that was effective what level are they 54 and I just one shot at him well, I mean, isn't that like 10 levels below your below your gator? No, there's 60. Oh, so six. Oh, excuse me. Six, six levels below. Now they're going to be higher because I sent out Gardevoir. Oh, God, not Primate. Never mind. I mean, I think Gardevoir has a pretty good chance of winning against just the fucking grass. <laughs> Primate, Primate has small brain. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. 
My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! I think Just Hatchet slowly turns around. Yeah. I think Hatchet hates that. Does Hatchet hate that voice I gave her? Uh, not particularly. Uh, I think it's just Arvin's voice that you just hate. Yeah. I take it you defeated the guard out front. The, that base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Saf Squad. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she's likely to be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to the battle for anyone else. I love Yuri. She I knew it. Best. Tell me what happened. I didn't say a single word. She retreated? We're talking about the same Aerie, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now, but to attack the base head-on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of operation. Time to walk the Seth squad off the map. I said WAP instead of WIPE. That's not oh. a word you should use. I don't even know what that means. Uh, oh. Ben Shapiro memes. I still don't understand. Uh, Cardi B song. You're, you're, I, what? Wet. Ass. It, okay, I can do it. In the wise words of Ben Shapiro, wet ass P word. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Bookworm said that. Oh. You're all dirty minded. That's what it no, means. That's literally what it means. Well, I didn't know what the word meant. I, I thought I just made it up. Grow up and learn what euphemisms are. Why do you sound like J. Jonah Jameson? I don't know who that is. Spider Man? Spider Man's boss? Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> I need you to get me more pictures of Spider-Man, Harry. Wait, Harry, what? <laughs> Harry Harry Potter is now a photographer. He got tired of J.K. Rowling's bullshit and quit. Yeah. Understandable. You put... <laughs> it's like walks up to J.K. Rowling's desk. You put me under a staircase. You gave me a damn scar. And now you're being transphobic constantly. I'm done. I mean, the actor that played Harry is also... Ta uh, yeah, he actually did that. Yeah. Did y'all hear about that? What? The actor who played Harry Potter spoke out publicly against J.K. Rowling. Yep. No. So in other words, Harry Potter, the 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 character, the guy, is based. Yep, always has been. And <laughs> gave me anti-Semitic bankers. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, bookworm. Let's not talk about the bank. <laughs> or the fact that in the bank, the, the flooring, if I remember correctly, had the Star of David in the middle for everyone to see. Uh. Oh, wait, I need to heal Gardevoir. I need just like a fuck ton of jiggly buff. Just a bunch of buff jiggly buffs? Yeah. It's jiggly, jiggly puff. puff. Yeah, jiggly puff and jiggly buff. Jiggly buff is an evolution if I remember correctly. They made a new evolution? Isn't that what the evolution is called? No. Yeah, it's wiggly oh, tough. Yeah, wiggly tough. I'm a dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, where did you get jiggly buff? 
<laughs> what were you saying? Wiggle, wiggly buff? It jiggly buff. Jiggly buff. Oh my gosh, the guard chomp fucked him up. <laughs> it didn't even get hurt. Okay, so I t I typed in Jigglybuff, and all I'm getting is images of Jigglypuff that are swole as fuck. Hey, real? What? Real and true. Aw, oh, pajama sharks are so cute. Oh, Lemon got hurt badly. Oh boy, Lemon. No, not Lemon. No, Chunk got defeated! No! What are these people? Monsters. Oh, pocket monsters. Ha 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 ha. I want to die. Lemon got slightly hurt, but they're still keeping it in there. Don't say it like that. Do not. Don't. What? Don't say it like that. <laughs> Lemon, go okay. take the big fat guy. Okay, here's a question. Is Lemon a male or a female shark? I don't know. Yes. Can't you check? Lemon no. is yes. Lemon is yes. Lemon is lemon. What do you mean? Lemon you can't ate check? their gender. I can't check right now. I'm in the middle of a thing. Oh, okay. Lemon's gender is yes. Lemon ate their gender along with their breakfast. They were basically lemon died. Their gender is dead. Their pronouns are was were. Basically, the thing I was going to say is the way that you said that sounds almost perfectly like shark re reproduction. Oh. She got hurt, but they're still keeping it in. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Terrifying. If y'all don't know, the, the, the mating habits of sharks are very interesting, you see. Uh, sharks, have, sharks and rays have this weird ass genetic quirk called tonic immobility where if you flip them over they basically enter a trance like state where they can't move and this is used for mating because uh skates and uh, like elasma branks unlike most other fish are uh uh in vitro uh fertilizers so they have to do basically the same thing that we do to reproduce they the males have claspers and they stick it into the lady and then uh but you see they're in water right so the male to keep keep you know doing the process has to bite onto the female so like it Basically, any really big female shark that you come across is going to have a shit ton of mating scars. Great. The more you know. Flash cannon. I just hit a dog with a flash cannon. No. Die. Oh, fuck. Why did the dog use play rough? I am literally a fairy type, you dumb bitch. Oopsie, did you realize you're outmatched here? You did, like, you did 30 damage. Okay, Gardevoir does not deal well with this gem. Oh. They got one shotted. Oh, wait, you should have checked to see if Lemon was... They're male. male or female. Oh, they're male? And why did they get hurt while they kept it? I'm gonna stop. Yeah, she's fairy type. And that explains why. Oh shit! With hammer. 
Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit with hammer. Hit. Oh my god, that did half of its fucking health. Jesus Christ. That that hammerhead just phased into the ground. I don't think that's I don't think that's accurate. I'm fairly confident hammerheads don't do that. Hit with hammer, hammer hit, hammer, hammer hit. Oh, it's hammer, the new hammer, uh, hammer, hammer, it's hammer, primate's hammer. evolution, annihilate. How do you even get that thing? I saw, I I did not know that that existed. I somehow wasn't spoiled for that fucking thing existing. What the fuck is that? Why did they think that was a good idea? Holy they gave shit. a bunch of Pokemon evolutions that probably didn't deserve it. <laughs> they just grow a globe on their head. <laughs> <laughs> I searched Pajama Shark on Pinterest, oh. and literally one of the very first things I see is a, is a shark onesie. Lemon took oh. it like a champ. He took it like a champ. He survived. Let's go, Lemon. You're you're poorly named, but we love you anyway. Oh, no, we well, also Lemon gave you that name. <laughs> Lemon is about as well named as a, as as our uh, largemouth bass. Also, I just beat the, uh, the the twink. I just beat the twink up. So guess who has every badge now? Congratulations! You and, committed. And uh, Lemon died. No. I guess. I mean, I know it's really like. I know it's like the in thing for sharks to fucking die because of human actions, but can we not? All right, Grand Inferno is gonna take revenge. Burning Gator. Aw. No, it's the little pajama shark. Oh shit! They're super effective at fighting. This might be a problem. I think my team is really weak to fighting. Seems so. What's good against fighting? Uh, well, it was psychic. But, Aeris got one shot. Go the chonk! Oh, Primate needs to use Rage Fist, Rage Fist 20 times, then level up to evolve into Annihilate. Right? You have a new challenge. You must acquire an Annihilate. Annihilate. The chonk died. <laughs> no! No! The chonk! Not the chonk! It's also a little fucked up. You know, the, and on a secondary typing, it might help you out. Oh, sure. Oh, is he a ghost? Oh no, did leveling up kill him? It's ghost. Oh, oh. god, he died. Leveling up killed him. No wonder he's so pissed. I can't move first, so I can't even attack back. Then again, that's technically what also happened with Grand Inferno. Oh! In took it in! No! No! God damn it, In's gonna N. die. In's gonna die anyway! Miss. Damn it. And died. We lost. I mean, they were at level 56 or something like that. I only had one Pokemon at level 60. Mm. Gotta train up now. Yeah. I got my ass handed. I think the food got here for something.
or something like that. I don't know, because there's, like, what? dogs barking. I'm about to find out who is the big boss of, or used to be the big boss of Team Star. Well, don't tell me. I won't. Could I be the worst human imaginable and look up uh, who used to be the big boss and then loudly announce it? Yes. You would be an asshole. No, I said, should I be that? And you said, yes, so I guess I'm going to do it. <laughs> Don't you it's not really dead. that surprising in hindsight. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a twist, most definitely, but it's also like, oh, yeah, that, ma that, that makes sense, yeah. I'm still guessing it's the lady who's having us do this. Either that or... Could it be Penny? I don't know. I mean, if it is already here, then it's really fast for pizza. Who started Team Star? Hatchet Head. The first team in sports history to adopt a star was Jevna. What? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you got your answer. The Big Bang did. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go, go to Bulbapedia. <gasps> Brick break! Yes! Oh man, I wasn't here for... What was that Mela? That, yeah. that boss? She the is... Fire one? Yeah. yeah, oh boy. Oh, oh, I have to go fight the boss to find out. They're probably going to be higher level than the fighting type. Yeah. So, it was a twist. Don't say any more. I should probably level up my... Pokemon. It's clavicle. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. It is. It's definitely clavicle. It is. I have confirmed oh, it was I? definitely clavicle. The extremely old man started the the bullied squad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would Hatchet sad. ever lie? It's a fuck with me. No. Hatchet, you you would never lie, would you? What the I fuck is that? Lie. What? There's a giant spike coming out of the ground. Oh, you must be near the place that Penguin was talking about. Yeah, that's the that's where people are guessing the border of Kalos and uh, Paldania are. Or is. Or theorize and speculation. Well, seeing as number one, there's a giant fucking crater in the middle of Paldania. And we know that the super weapon that was revealed in X and Y was used around that area. And number two, uh, the giant fucking spikes that I'm pretty sure you can also, or has been like referenced, I think, in X and Y. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are, like, right next to Kalos. And it also makes sense because this this takes place in Spain. And watch, Kalos and watch it, like, put, and put it right next to, like, Seno. And you just be wrong the entire time. Seno! Seno is, like... What is Seno? I forgot. Isn't it, like... Isn't that part of Japan? 
Wait, well, no, Sinnoh is a... No, Sinnoh's... No, Sinnoh is a European country, I think. But I don't think they ever specified which one. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is somewhere close to Japan. I forgot. You'll never know. So I may have the answer, and I'll just never tell you. Which? I see the answer in the stream chat, but I'm just not going to tell you. Tell me, please. You'll have to ask Hatchet for the answer. But, well, Hatchet tell you the answer. That's the question. Hatchet, please. Hatchet, I would like to know the answer, please. Wait, what? I'm not listening. It's in Twitch chat. What's the answer? God damn, I did not mean to go. What's in... Like, what are you talking about? Oh, what Sinnoh is. What country Sinnoh is supposed to be. How the fuck am I supposed to know? It's in Twitch chat! What are you... Okay, one. My... Again, my Twitch chat is, like, buggy. I'm not seeing everything, probably. And two, why are you asking me? Because fucking... Bright won't tell me. <laughs> oh wait, you're just asking what Bookworm wrote in Twitch chat? Mm -hmm. Oh, Bookworm said, I think it's the first four regions are based off Japan. Yeah. Now you have the answer. See, you just had the axe hatchet. Axe hatchet. You're an asshole. <laughs> um, I mean, it is appropriate to axe hatchet. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> no, this is what you get for being a rude bitch. Grand Inferno got his ass kicked. I was gonna say something else, but then I realized the child was here. What? Don't worry about it. I am worried, because that's, that's like... What? Are you okay mentally? No. Okay. Oh, this is just fucking sad. Why? You figured out who the boss was? Yeah, I read through it. And I'll simply say I was correct in two of my suspicions. I'm going to try to fight, uh, I'm going to try to fight the big boss. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say what level the Pokemon are at. Because I, I think it's going to be 60 is my assumption, is level 60. Because I don't think they're going to go that high. Because usually they don't go to 70 unless it's like the final boss. And there is a final boss of this game. And I know the one for Violet and it's Jesus fucking Christ. Right, how do you, as a Christian, feel about having to fight your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Rocket Launcher! <laughs> what? Real quick, what's the name of the quest giver? For the Team Star stuff? Uh, like, the person on the phone? You could probably look it up and it'll show a better spelling. Cannoli. I just... That doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to spell it. Cassiopeia. That may have... Okay, that is easily... If I'm correct about this... Then that is one of the biggest... Yep. Yep, that's like one of the biggest clues. What does it mean? Uh, well... It would be spoilers since Bright has message me. Message me. Yet. Message me. Yet. Don't message Penguin. No, message me, please. Fuck Don't you. do it. Anyway, I'll be right back. Entertain the stream, bookworm. Okay, so you won't be here so I can say it? Oh, wait, bookworm, do you care? Bookworm, do you care about spoiler? 
kind of okay i'll just send it to the, the child. child oh yeah obviously the big final boss is jesus h christ they added a religion into pokemon uh Technically, Arceus. Yeah, I was about to say, didn't that already exist? Yeah. Technically, and not only that, uh, in Legends Arceus, uh, there were people that worshipped our uh, Palkia, and yeah, yeah, Palkia, Garatina, and Dialga. But yeah, there's a. I sent it to you. Oh, that makes so much sense. It was literally right there the entire time. To immediately be able to tell where the story was going, all you had to do is Google all of those names. Okay, but it, it's more fun if you don't. I mean, true. You but I like that just... sort of thing, like, where, like, these little things are hidden into it so that, like, in hindsight, you can go, wait, if I had just done this very specific thing that I wouldn't have done anyway, I would have gotten insider information. Yeah, also, I feel, I wonder if there's any people that, like, their second language is Spanish. That they were like, huh, I know what that means. Or, like, their first language is Spanish, but they also know English. And they're like, I mean, oh my other, god. At other points, but I don't think that that's that language has much to do with these namings. Fair point. Oh my god. Okay, so I got to the school to fight the big boss, and... A uh, colonoscopy just pulled off his disguise to reveal that he's the director. It's that's funny. Oh my god, I I knew it was him all along. Honestly, but it's not a colonoscopy. <laughs> Kevell. You I so you mean so you've been calling Clive colonoscopy in the back of your head? Yeah, I, there was the other ones I called him, but you yelled at me because oh it's bad. Wait, there was other ones? Mm -hmm. I don't remember any of that. What was it exactly? Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Hey, fellow viewers, Wait, saved did you know that the Unova God region was based of off New York City? Wait, what? He's the big boss. Keep your face boss. silent. I thought it was Penny. No, don't say that, you dumbass. Sorry. God damn it, you fucking. I didn't. It's fine. What the fuck is wrong with that monkey? Why is its mouth open? Close your fucking mouth, goddamn! What the fuck is wrong with it? Why is it- Oh, okay, it closed its mouth. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. I'm recording that? Also, it's level 60. Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ. I god. searched Izu Cat Shark. The first thing I get is a clip of Izuku Midoriya. And then a little further down, it's a fucking picture of, um, Davi. Oh, it, here's what we found for Zoo Hat Shark. How is that related at all? Why is this motherfucker spamming yawn? Could you fuck off? Oh my god, this motherfucker. Worm says because they sleepy. Stop! This is the third time I fucking wrote this goddamn monkey has, has used yawn. Are you fucking kidding me? 
I'm gonna kill a monkey, Bright. Good for you. Aww. Four times in a row. This motherfucker. This mother. I'm going. You know what? I'm not even gonna fight the po the Pokemon. I'm gonna fight the trainer. I'm gonna strangle this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to strangle him. I don't give a fuck about the rules on Pokemon fighting anymore. I'm going to strangle him. I'm going to strangle him. I don't care. I don't care what role he has. Five times in a row. You just, you just pull a gun on him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this school go from Spain to United States oh, real fucking quick. Oh, no. I swear to fucking Christ. I swear to fuck, I'm going to make this go from Spain to the United States. Thank fuck, this motherfucker did not for once use... Okay, thank fucking shit. Oh my god. Motherfucker didn't ways... use- No! Okay, is there a way to avoid getting hit with yawn? No. This motherfucker- Guess what he did after using light screen? Guess what he fucking did? Guess what he fucking did? You'll never fucking guess. Guess. Uh, he pulled out a gun and shot you. No, my child is and still then alive. He... And then he yawned. No, he used <laughs> fucking yawn. No, because I'm pretty sure that move only has, like- Ten times you can use it. Okay, foul play. Oh fuck, that's not good for my gorilla. Not gorilla. God damn it, Gal alligator. I'm a dumbass. Good job. Shut up. How did oh. that not kill? Are you fucking? What is this creature? I'm going to hurt this goddamn monkey. I oh, swear to fuck. Oh, is it like a shit. like a praying mantis creature? That flies. Yeah, flying praying mantis. I've seen them in my state. All praying mantises can fly. No, what I mean is, like, they're really, really big wings. Uh, like a specific weird-ass subspecies? Yeah. Kill. Uh -oh. I killed the monkey that was spamming yawn. Thank shit. Oh, I thought you were going to try to catch it. No. I'm loving it. Why, you didn't want Scyther? No. Scyther's cool. So there's actually pretty good if you want to do shiny hunting because it can learn false swipe or it has false swipe naturally. Also, thank you again for a food bookworm. Bookworm is simply the best. Yeah. He really is. Oh, bookworm got your food? Mm-hmm. Based. Die. Based Die, bookworm. fucking giant ass tree. Okay, Sorry, now Bookworm, capture. I didn't mean you. Bookworm, you can live. You're good. Well, what? I don't think... Book... Well, Bookworm's not a giant-ass tree. Bookworm's a simulation. What? Yeah, don't what you do know you this? know that we don't? No, this has been established canon for a while. You should yep. capture this dude. Yeah, Bookworm's a simulation. Even Bookworm's aware of this. Yeah! What? Right now gas has a Scyther. Are you gaslighting? Oh, hell yeah, Scyther. Are you gonna evolve Scyther? I honestly sometimes forget Scyther has an evolution because its evolution looks nothing. Yeah, it's Nothing like it. its pre-evolution. Oh, do you I thought they removed having to trade it. As far as I remember, you had to trade it. Oh, well, in Arceus, they, they removed having to trade it, but also that you couldn't make your Pokemon hold items, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> You're naming it Hatchet? I love having a, fl a fire. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, you could just say Hatchet Head. Well, it's now Hatchet. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's going to get confusing if you're referring to the Pokemon, though. <laughs> Name it Hacky. Hatchet, I choose you! I'm not doing shit for you. <laughs> also, okay, so I'm battling a motherfucker, right? And I just... One of the, the, the fucking... Um, one of the fucking, like, uh, NPCs walked by, and it was just their face. And... I am afraid... Oh yeah, Bisharp <laughs> has an evolution. Oh, oh yeah, I remember Bisharp? that. It's a it's a fucking samurai if I remember correctly or mm -hmm. something like that. 
It's actually really cool. I love it. I, I misheard you, and I thought you said this shark. <laughs> <laughs> what? This shark has an evolution. Yeah. Do you not have an evolution? Are you a shark without an evolution? Hmm? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Sweet, I, no I got idea. this guy. Easy cat shark. I think it has Amulet. it evolves special though. What's this? Also, a oh, this cat shark? Uses... Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, okay, I love that they did that. That's cool. Kill it. I got attacked by a baby. I'm making this hamster hard, and then I'm gonna murder a duck. Why murder a duck? Because I can. Because it's a stupid fuck. So it's you. That was unnecessary. I am a penguin. Not a duck. Can you prove it, though? Yes. Okay, that fight was really fucking easy. I thought it was going to be really hard. Besides the fucking monkey spamming yawn, that was really easy. Okay. Well, then. Right, you don't have to worry about the big, uh, big big boss fight. I don't. Yeah, after the Team Star shit, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. It is surprisingly easy. Also... Unless your team sucks ass with variety. Also, Pokemon says both are swimming birds. No. Oh... Huh, I can have an aerial view oh, of the fight. Nice. There's a Lion. cow shark? Yeah. There's a motherfucking cow shark? Hey, Hatchet, remember him? The blood force trauma? I don't know what his pr what his pre evolutions look look. Like. I don't know what he looks like in general. Oh my God! There's a round shark. There is a shark that's named the round shark. Fuck <laughs> yeah. There's also a horn shark. Or uh, never mind. Yeah. Japanese spur dog. Kite fin shark. Ooh, I need to add kite fins at some point. Alright, <laughs> Booker and Bonk Bright. <laughs> they know me too well. Hey, Bright. Mm -hmm. name, name the shark that when it's an adult has spots. The leopard shark, the zebra shark, or the bull shark? Bull shark? No. You wanna try again? Gone. Spotted shark? I, I gave you a multiple choice question, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Morgan said I also should block myself because I thought it too. <laughs> anyway, the correct answer is the zebra shark. The zebra shark has spots, and the leopard shark has stripes. Someone was high when they named those two. Oh no, you see, it's funny because it's the exact opposite when they're infants. Like, when they're juveniles, the zebra sharks have stripes and the leopard sharks have spots but once mm. they get older they develop literally the opposite patterning that's interesting you know what else is interesting not you ease 
What did you say? These. I'm not falling for that. You don't know what these is? Uh, fuck off. Let me guess. Bookworm got you? No. I know what you're trying to pull. Fuck off. You don't know, you don't want these? No. <laughs> Not Someone was it. thinking about Iceland and Green. <laughs> 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 what are your thoughts on and opinions on colonoscopy? It What? Why are you asking me my thoughts on an important medical procedure? It's it's a medical procedure. Anyone over a certain age should probably get one to check for colon cancer. I now own a Pokemon Center. Dicks! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Bookworm played dicks. Yeah. Dicks! Thanks, That's Bookworm. Throat spray. Ooh, throat spray is pretty good. This, anyway, this is now my Pokemon Center. No one else is allowed to go right. here. Right, 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 right. What? I don't know who has to tell you this, but you can, in fact, not own a Pokemon Center. I can if I try. Yeah, those are, no. yeah, those are all. Yeah, the Pokemon Centers are all owned by the Shell Company. Don't you know that? Oh god, I'm going away now. <laughs> what? It's the Pokemon gas stations, you know? That is... No. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> it's just a pen sloth just laying there. <laughs> and you've got Bookworm over here telling a story with two... Uh, two messages. Privatizing a nationalized healthcare system. And their second message? Bad. That's it. <laughs> I agree. Based, based, uh, and red, based and blue pilled? Based, based and something pilled. Uh, what? Based and good pilled. <laughs> yeah, based and red good pilled. pilled. Well then, uh, learn how to pause the counter. Fuck oh, off. Anyway, uh, Bookworm, I got disconnected for some strange ass reason. Discover fish. I really found it funny that it, it stopped at slacking. <laughs> so, uh, what you missed, uh, Bookworm, was, uh, Bright Killing Bears. That's about it. I see a Hermit Scyther. Like, he's just sitting over there, just in chilling his, like, in his own little island. I'm gonna go murder him. Good for you, Bright. Oh, he's gone. He left. Uh, uh, uh um, I, I have, having difficulties? Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> 
can I just find one decently sized image of a fucking fo file tail cat shark, please? No. Fuck you. Fuck you. File <laughs> I was saying fuck you to Bright. Oh. Yeah, since I got stuff to do tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go to bed at 1. As much as I hate, hate it. Mm. Mm. Wait, but the... Subathon the... was still going. Subathon? Yeah. You'll oh. just yeah. be a bit longer coming back to it? Yeah. Sadly. Did you know? Orange is better than purple. Shut up. Do you know the definition of subjectivity? <laughs> Did you know? I don't fucking care what the fuck English means. Do you know I that I care English. that I, I lose brain English. cells when some people on this voice chat speak? Bitch. But then I guess you better stop talking, Bright. Hey! Yeah, you better stop talking. You walked right into that one. I know. <laughs> How many people in this voice call think? Done. Correct. Well, I'm currently thinking, but I'm... My brain cells are being exclusively occupied by sharks. Um, there's... That is... <laughs> There's a soldier stuck in a rock. That's Why are they stuck in my rock? No, a rock. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. Oh wait, no, he no, he's not. This is area view. Bisharp. What the fuck is a bisharp? Night. I found out how, how, how to do the spinning thing they, that they do in Pokemon Championships. Right. Bookworm, <laughs> silence. Mm -hmm. okay. I said silence to Bookworm. You're gay. Not to you. What? I mean, I am kind of. I'm Pam. You're gay. Hey, look, it's Spoon. Number homosexual Spoon. Have you heard of homosexual Spoons? Have your family been affected by homosexual uh, Spoons? Don't, don't tell Jerry, but I'm about to kill Spood. No! Wait, what? didn't you trade Spood? No. Oh, I thought you got rid of Spood. No. You told me not to. you're an awful fucking person. I got rid of Car. You're still an awful fucking person. Fucking car. I what thought car about getting rid of you? Toothless. Oh, fuck. Not Toothless, Toothbrush. Alright, I'll do the thing for you right after this. Hold on. I'll do the special thing you wanted to see, Hatchet. The spe- what? You'll see. Hold on. Let me go back to boxes. Where are you, toothbrush? There's toothbrush. Go to bag. I specifically said I wanted to see toothbrush evolve. There you go. I want to see. Oh, I know what toothbrush evolves into. Here you go, hatchet. <laughs> DreamWorks coming for that copyright lol. Yeah, I've already seen that. Best evolution. You wanted to see it. The Femboy already had one. Sea Titan. The Terra Whale Pokemon. Ice energy builds up in the horn on its upper jaw, causing the horn to reach cryogenic temperatures that freeze its surroundings. 
It is four. Okay, real quick. Four foot. Why is it a nine? Yeah. Sorry. Why is it a Terra whale when it's not an Earth type? Don't question it. I am questioning it. Shut up. Stop questioning it. They don't want you to question it. The two dumbest people in the room are telling me not to question something. Yeah. yeah. Did I just walk into a Republican conference? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We've lied. We are secretly... We are both two clones of Ronald Reagan. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to hear about our politics about trickling down? Uh, Alright, here's my ideas on economics. I'm just <laughs> gonna whip it out and piss all over the proletariat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the worst thing you have ever said. It really is. Book said also, because it walks on land. I'm not a Terra type Pokemon because I walk on land. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Stop Wait, saying yes, that. Yes, you are. You are such a fucking annoyance. You are now. Who joined? Hi. Hey, Jerry. Oh my god, it's Snake Man. Oh. Jerry, I want to show you someone. Okay. I'll send them out for you. Lemon. It's, it's Lemon. The big lemon boy. Lemon 3.0. Is Lemon the... Uh... <laughs> big boy. Land shark? That shark is like three of you. Yeah. It's a land shark that is three of you. I am three of me. No, you are. God damn it. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> no one knows. Garchomp. Garchomp is honestly... I love Garchomp. He's really strong, too. Like, when he was first I mean, introduced, he, he was crazy legendary. strong. Because his only weakness was ice. Yeah. And ice types weren't really used commonly because they're kind of wimpy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like uh, ice types, though. They're pretty cool, but very, very weak. Uh, Jerry. Hmm? Uh... The child sent me down the rabbit hole of trying to choose uh, cat sharks to add to the deck. Cat sharks? Yeah, cat, cat sharks. sharks. Cat sharks Not are them. really cute. I have cursed Hatchet. How have you cursed me? See, now you can't pick the ones you, you, you think are the best because there are so many and they are so cute. What do you mean? I've already picked the ones that I think are the best. <laughs> Jerry I've got the know. pajama. I've got the pajama shark. I've got the Izu cat shark. I've got the coral cat shark, and I got the chain cat shark. Those are my four. Oh favorites. yeah, Cynthia. That's true, bookworm. I fucking love Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Also, why is there some like random lady on this far off island? This yeah, but I was. But the child specifically, surprisingly, sent me down this rabbit hole majorly. Uh, because, um, they simply said cat shark. Uh, honestly, did you even actually know cat sharks were a thing? Were you just throwing words together? I was throwing words together. Yeah, so I knew cat sharks existed. I go to search it up. There are a hundred and there are about a hundred and sixty individual species of cat shark in seventeen genres. Like, I, I knew there were a lot of them. I didn't realize there was that many. Yep. So I have picked uh, the four that I find the prettiest and one extra one that is a deep sea one. Oh. Hatchet. An apology yeah. for rubbing it in yesterday that I saw albino crocodile and crocodile. There is an adorable gift of an albino crocodile. I mean, it's... It's no worries. I was mostly just joking around. There but yeah, it's taken... It's taking me probably three hours to download five images because I've just been 
so constantly interrupted. Hey, Hatchet, would you like in Among Us? What? Would you like in Among Us? In Among Us? Yeah, would you like in Among Us? I'm saying, I, re I see it right now. Don't tell me you don't know about Among Us. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's Among Us. Actually, it's it Among really Us. is Among Us. It's actually pronounced Among Us for some reason. I don't care. We should keep the Among Us. I got put to sleep. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, wait. My berry. I ate a berry to wake up. Uh, how the fuck does that work? <laughs> Doesn't. But it does. To be fair, if someone shoved a berry in your mouth, you'd fucking wake up. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I would. I'm a really heavy sleeper. I'd oh. probably just die. So I can draw on your face hatchet when you sleep? No, you cannot. You're not allowed. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I, I, I want to. I want to draw on people's faces. No. Yeah and, yeah, and I want to own a fucking whale shark. But sometimes we can't have what we want, Bright. I wish I was loved as a child, but I didn't get that. So yeah, we can't always get that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're still a child! Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, child, child. You're still a child, child. Shut up. You're just not I, a tiny child. Am... Look, There's you're wrong and right, okay? Child. Sleepy, you're gonna pull Chiglick off that. Gonna pull a Chiglick off? They're not. The Chiglick puffs are notorious for putting people to sleep. Oh. I caught the Among Us. What, that's not even what the child was trying to fight earlier. Small child. I'm going to rename it to Among Us. Personally, I love the fact that at this point, uh, the child is less like a designation of someone who is underage, and more is just a title. Yeah. What will we call Penguin when they eventually turn 18? The top- the, the child. The top child. The top <laughs> child. We will upgrade no, the no, child no. to Child 2.0. Child yeah. 2.0. Are big you going to call them the adult child? <laughs> That's an adult child. kind of funny, too. We'll have to figure it out. Like, we have, what, a couple years? Yeah. Year and a half? Uh, you have, like, a year and three months. Okay, yeah, so about a year and a half. A oh, year and a little less than a half, year and a quarter. How does, it, how does it feel that I am almost 18 years old? I'm 37. Uh, I, would, I would say that I'm actually relieved because then we don't have to... Constantly avoid certain topics when you're around. And we wouldn't have to tell you to shut up all the time. Yeah, all you I can know... just you can just be your weird little uh, insert word that I can't say self. Fucked up. Well, that too, but I was thinking of a different word. Welcome says it makes me feel old. <laughs> Isn't Bookworm, like, only a year older than us? Yeah. You and me, Brian? Once again, I am 37, and Spood, what is your age? Well, yeah, we all know that you're old compared to us. Also, oh, I was wrong. Uh, Jigglypuff uh, drew faces on people when they fell asleep because they felt, uh, because people fell asleep whenever Jigglypuff sang. Spood? Hmm. I, I had that power. I would constantly sing just so I could draw on people's faces. Wait, am I 37 and you're 38? Gary over here forgetting their own age. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway, I am 37 and Spoon is 38. Okay. I really want a shiny uh, rock, rock rough because they're blue and no. I like the color blue. Not. Child, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you catch what you just said, uh, it will be deducted from your taxes. <laughs> shiny rock rough. Yeah. yeah, we will. We will take your shiny rock rough as tax money. I will get a f gun. Yeah, and then there'll just be more taxes, so we'll ask you for one and a half rock rough. Oh my god, you're just gonna cut a rock rough in half? Yeah. What about its organs? No. What organs? Yeah, you can keep those. Hatchet, you're not allowed to to cut any doggos in half. What, have you never heard All of Pokemon we need are the taxidermy? Legs. What? All we need are the legs. Don't what? ask why. <laughs> what? You know what? No, I'm gonna ask why. What the fuck do you need the legs for? No, no, no. We will not be talking about what we need the legs for at this time. Eating? No. No! Who would eat a dog? Not us. There's I mean, there are some cultures that eat dogs. Yeah, it's Chinese. Penguin, penguin, no. I think it's certain regions in China, not just the Chinese <laughs> flat statement. Yeah. And it's like for holiday shit. It's not like they think it's yummy. It's like holiday shit or out of necessity. Oh uh, no, there is a Chinese restaurant that serves dog meat near me. What? Right, I think that's just your state being really fucked up. I don't think that's just how people are. Honestly, it's probably not that much more immoral than almost any other animal we eat. Uh, yeah, like pigs are smarter than dogs and we eat pigs all the time. Yeah. All that matters is how they're how how they're treated before they're killed. Mm -hmm. Or well, obviously preferably we just advances the society to the point where we're not killing and eating animals anymore, but while it's still going on. It's I not mean there's the also some thing. people there's I also like some meat. people that literally cannot live without eating meat because like they'll just fucking die. Yeah, well, yeah but they're like hell shit. Point. There are people who are allergic to most or all plants. I know how to fix the oh, problem no. with both Cheering and Dragon said. It's called a gun. No! What? <laughs> That's not... No. And the... The thing I'm thinking of isn't like... Everyone just stops eating meat outright. The main thing I'm thinking of is the advancements in cloning technology. Oh yeah, fair point. There will probably within our lifetimes like fully cloned meat will be available that had never been attached to a brain and that as would... such we as and not only that but this sort of meat would likely be more mass producible and better on the environment than anything that we have now also probably cheaper most likely yeah Unless Human the rich get to sale. it and then make it expensive. Because Human meat for sale. Sorry. Right. Did you know that human that human meat tastes similar to pork and is incredibly fatty? I mean, yeah, when we get right down to it, like, if this was to happen, like, that's actually something that we could try. I don't know if I would eat human flesh. I think actually, that's just, I, I, I probably how fatty it would be dep would depend on the human. There are yeah. humans that have basically no fat and would taste horrible to eat. If no. we taste similar to pork, that would mean we would taste similar to wild boars. And wild boars, if you do not cook it right, are totally inedible due to the lack of fat. Also, um... Oh, does that mean I taste good if I was gonna be- if I were to be eaten, I would taste good? Anyway. Probably. Yes. Also... Okay. Welcome to the new hamburger at, at McDonald's. The human burger. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. This the human Mc... used to be named Aaron Bright. <laughs> the McMahon burger. The McMahon burger. <laughs> McWoman burger. <laughs> Masonists yeah, like... wouldn't eat the McWoman burger. They would only. In the Happy the... Meal, you get to choose which type of child you want. That you want. Uh, it's food. Jesus not... Christ. <laughs> That's. 
Okay, let's get back to the point I was talking about. Overall, if uh, assuming this sort of cloning technology does become available within our lifetimes, we will not only likely see the phasing out of uh, factory farming, both for the sake of the environment and for moral objections of treating animals like this, but as well as the fact that it's probably just going to be more practical to go the more moral route of farming meat that has never been attached to a brain. Mm -hmm. Well, the issue with that is, even if it does, is more a more practical thing. Uh, capitalism. Well, that's the thing. Like, it depends. It depends how the corporations are engaging with this. Like, uh, and like in in like food prep sorts of areas there tends to be more interest in new and innovative ways to get supply like it this like it's actually kind of a less common thing for like how uh oil like how oil companies now are just like super rooted in their ways rather than trying to actually innovate on what we have, try to invest in green energy. May I comment? I actually know something about uh, kitchens and uh, the, the ingredients purchased. Yeah, I'm yeah all, go ahead. I'm also in a culinary class, but I don't know how much. I don't know that anyway. much. Anyway... Uh, how much you can get an ingredient can actually uh, affect what ingredients they even sell there. The only ones they aren't able to phase out are meats because even if one meat gets very expensive, you're going to have to use another meat because people eat a lot of meat. There was uh, a time where the place I work at tried to switch out uh beef for pork because beef was getting more and more expensive. Just we didn't stay on pork because everyone was throwing a tantrum like, how dare you get rid of our beef? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> and then we went back to the shredded beef instead of the shredded pork. Wait. And everyone acted like it was a victory. And there was also a time where Avocados became so expensive that it became basically we were not able to uh, buy avocados to make guacamole with, and then people were pissed. Even though technically one gua one avocado takes the amount of water of a football field, so they're not very good plants to grow, no matter how healthy they are to eat. Some plants are unsustainable to grow for mass populations. That's one of them. Yeah. Also, uh, I guess I found a game glitch. Ahead. What? But I can walk through. I can. I can literally phase through the bamboo. Oh. I don't think. I don't think that's a game glitch. I think that's just. It's they're so that you don't get treated like. It, it's 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 like any other plant. No, Besides I, I trees. Yeah, trees. I was about to say trees. I bunk into those a lot. But yeah, let's let's put it this way. Bamboo is grass. Do you get stuck on grass? Yes. Is this bad logic? Kinda. Wait, what? Wait, did you say yes to you get stuck <laughs> getting stuck on grass? Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think the big thing to also keep in mind is that um like, people in our society demand meat, but not only does that not make it moral to perpetuate that demand, but even more so, it's largely a cultural issue that could be worked on. Like, for the majority of human history, like, we did not eat nearly as much meat as we do now. Welcome like, to this series on the vegan teacher. No. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that piece of shit. But, like... Like, this obviously isn't to say that... Like, let me put it this way. I run in a circle with a decent amount of vegans that are, like, really progressive, and the majority of them argue 
from the position of if you can be vegan, you should. Assuming that it's not like and like when this says you can, it means you have the means to do it and you have the bodily capability to do it. As well as assuming you're not being forced to do it to get rid of your cultural background like a lot of people have suggested a lot of liberal vegans have suggested with uh, folks like the inuit peoples uh, to be honest i don't mind having caesar salad every now and then but i can't give up meat i love it too much well that's i guess here's the question like i don't even eat it like super often i eat more salad than i eat meat Oh no, look, like, that's that's the big thing, is, like, if you are eating meat constantly, incessantly, and you feel almost addicted to it, that can be an issue. But, like, say, for example, like, the majority of, like, European history, meat was, like, a once-a-week sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, in the modern day, like, the average person in America eats uh, a significant amount of meat every single day. And almost every meal has some meat content for the majority of Americans. Which is not only unsustainable, it's, well, it's, in my mind, significantly more immoral because, well, one, this is happening in absence of the actual connection to the animal you're eating like existed in those older times where, like, if you're eating meat you knew the animal, or at the very least, knew the family of people who raised this animal. Mm -hmm. I would like to comment that how much uh, meat you ate and how often you ate it depended on your job. Like, if you were a fisherman, yeah. you're probably going to eat fish very often. If you're a chicken, oh. you're probably going to eat eggs quite a lot. Yeah, to, to clarify, when I'm saying meat here, I, yeah, I should be clarifying. Like, I'm primarily thinking of, like, livestock meat, like pork... Uh, well, cow, fish still counts as meat, and so does eggs. Well, yeah, I know, but that's, like, what I'm meaning is those livestock meats here. Like, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying meats. I was just not being clear enough. Well, just remember, every unfertilized, every egg came unfertilized out of some chicken's crotch somewhere. Well, yeah, but oh. it's also not generally considered meat. I as can put meat. Like meat, meat, from my understanding, primarily talks about muscle tissue, which eggs do I, not have. I, I still consider it meat. Then is I blood meat? It. Like how? How do you? How do you define meat? Technically, it's unfertilized, so it have never been alive, but. Oh, yeah, like, I'm asking, like, how do you define meat to where eggs fit in? Um, if it could, if it's something that could have possibly developed into a living creature, probably meat. Oh, it's yeah, but that... Baby meat. Makes sense. Uh, well, that's the thing, like, that would also, make almost... Fish right, go are ahead. Meat. They're just another kind of meat. They're fish meat. Well, yeah, I agree with that. Like, I'm just like when I'm talking about meat here, I'm primarily meaning livestock meat. But uh, okay. I, I wasn't being clear enough there. That's what I was meaning. But um, sorry for being a jackass. Just I've known a lot of chickens, and I just feel like kind of demeaning to them to not count their crotch eggs as meat. Well, I mean, I just don't think that it's, a, like, an appropriate way to categorize them because it becomes almost meaningless at that point. Like, eggs are their own thing. They're their own special thing. But they're not quite meat because, from my understanding, meat primarily speaks to muscle and organ tissue. While that that's does not exist that's there. undeveloped muscle and organ tissue. Oh well, yeah, but it's undeveloped. Undeveloped muscle and organ tissue. Well, yeah, but it's undeveloped to the point that it's just not those. Like, is it? It like this actually is in some countries, uh, they well, like yeah, in the fertilized eggs. eggs. Have, yeah, 
Like, yeah, that's that's a case where the egg does have meat in it, but the egg is in that case literally a container around the meat. The meat that is a poor, about to die little duck. May he rest in peace. Or or, or chicken. Or chicken. I only knew ducks. Do people also do that with chickens? Yes. I mean, it makes sense. I don't see why they wouldn't. It's just I'd only heard of ducks. And you never heard of a depending on the area, it's uh, varying degrees of developed. But it's not developed enough to be born yet. What about yeah. a turducken? Uh, but we're not talking about the turducken. Uh, Why not? Because it's awful. We should never have invented the turducken. Exactly. Whoever, whoever thought of that, um, It'd be deserves. Little fire. No, the, whoever thought of that deserves to sleep in Needhog's venom. What? Why was Jerry laughing? Or is that Spood? Me. Oh, you were clapping to that? I hate turduckins. My, my, just so you know, I literally eat meat mainly because... I'm not rich, and I'm not going to spend yeah. extra money trying to avoid meat because... I'm sorry to say this to people out there, but being vegan is expensive. Yeah. And so, that's like... Which sucks, because actually, my body will get very pissed if I eat meat on certain days. My body is not very happy about meat most of the time. Yeah, that's... That's so... something. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Like that's that's the that's a major thing that like I've talked with some of my vegan friends about, and it's like kind of it, it's it's along the same lines of like the divide between socialist and uh, liberal, but in this case it's progressive vegan and liberal vegan, where liberal vegans commonly look at it solely from the perspective of individual actions rather than trying to understand meat consumption as it exists within the system that is capitalism because when you actually broaden it to that point you start to realize wait not everyone can actually choose to go the pricier routes some people literally have to only eat mcdonald's and like you can obviously encourage people that can try to go a different route to go a different route you can encourage people to try uh trying more inexpensive vegan options there are ways to do it and you can find cookbooks and stuff but proper vegan activism comes down to one focusing on attacking the infrastructure that surrounds factory farming as the abominable, disgusting practice it is, and focuses around learning to help support people of all types while we hopefully eventually reach a point where we don't need to be worrying about the issue of the morality of killing a living, breathing animal to also, acquire meat. It sounds like... I, I think this, like this in multiple countries needs to happen very likely since I have a friend in Europe where their country is having issues where literally one side is going extreme on legislations based on a, an entire group of their country not knowing food comes from farms which is terrifying to me as someone who grew yeah. up in a farm town that terrifies me but I also hear people say stupid shit like complaining about the slime on spam which tells me they have no idea that's fat and they have no idea how certain parts of the pig cooks differently like different parts of the pig will become that weird gloopiness when it's cooked and it's not bad yeah. it's very flavorful and one thing i'm pissed about is over time spam has had less fat in it, causing it to have less of the blue, being a little less flavor. Fuck all of you people who are taking fat out of spam because you're scared of the gloop. Because you don't understand how pigs work. Pigs are gloopy gloop boys, and everyone who says otherwise is wrong and dumb. Yeah. Also, I think... gloop 
is delicious. And uh, also, if people understood what uh, more about where their food comes from and what parts of the animal cooks into what and how much of the animal is edible, maybe that would help them either become vegan or vegetarian or maybe at least appreciate the food they yeah. eat for. Yeah, that's or, a big... Like little bitches about certain things like the gloopy on Spam. Spam is one of the... There's so much bad food we have, but Spam is one of the better ones. It's so good yeah. that it's one of the only meats we can ship to almost any country. Most of the, the other meats of the United States, we can't. Because yeah. it has horrible stuff in it. Spam literally just has salt and pork. Yeah. And like, yeah, that's a point that I commonly, like, both kind of make with my vegan friends as well as like generally to people who are used to that liberal interpretation of veganism. I think one of the most notable aspects of what makes it hard for people to be vegan is just that. In the same way that workers are alienated from their other other workers within the corporate structure, we are alienated from the source of our food. Throughout the majority of human history, if we were eating a pig, we knew the pig. We knew the person who grew the pig, who raised the pig. We don't now. And I think that's a big difference. Because this meant that in the past, people had an overall understanding of how this shit worked better than the modern consumer base. Because the modern consumer base is just completely alienated from the sources of our food. I do think if that there's a chance the some some vegans are also alienated and therefore would also need those lessons and they're looking well, no. so much at the scary stuff that they're not looking at the positive stuff and yeah, that's a uh, that's actually one of the most fundamental criticisms I intend to have of liberal veganism is the fact that they're basically doing veganism within the framework of capitalism that partially is to blame for why veganism is necessary as a progressive thing. Like, no, I... like vegans who can like take a step back and say, wait, maybe stuff like homesteading is fine. Let's focus on the factory farming for what it is. Like, homesteading, like, genuinely, there's almost no serious moral implications there besides the base morality of whether or not we should kill animals to get our food. And, like, that's a that's a different conversation than what I think vegans should be focusing on. I think the main thing should be focusing on reducing the amount of harm that is done and pointing out that the current means through which we supply this over-the-top demand for meat is one of the most abominable things humans have ever created. Yeah. Also, uh, this is off. This is off topic. But uh, when I was before you go off topic, can I comment on the topic? Sure. Uh, then I would like to also say that um, there, oh, there's a lot of smaller farm town areas that have no factory farms at all. Yeah. And you'll see that animals look really happy. Some animals aren't even kept as meat. They're literally pets. I yeah. went to junior high with, like, across the street were literally pets as cows. They weren't, like, there for meat. They were just pets. And I don't know why they had pet cows, but I guess why not? I mean, why not? They're awesome animals. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Bright. You, you go. Yeah, you do your um, I was fighting this person who was talking about Amoongus uh, when I defeated them. Their only words were Among Us. Oh, or Among Us. Really? Yeah. Is that because you named yours Among Us? No, uh, they, were, I, they were talking about Amoongus before I fought them, and their last words were Among Us. So I think Nintendo. Nose. <laughs> yeah. 
They have to know oh. what they're doing there. They made an Among Us joke on Among Us? I think, yeah. Oh. They have to know what they're doing there. There's no way they don't. <laughs> they're a savvy company. What, or savvy what does she enough. look like she wants to take your body and cook it into salt? Oh, what leg? the fuck? What? Uh, because it's probably what she wants to do with that thing. Oh, that's... It's like I'm gonna she... burn it. Oh. It's like yeah. an olive tree merged with a bird, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's dead. It's Italian bright. Italian? I don't think I Italians are it. Yes, thing. I love killing Italians. Right. No, to Italians. <laughs> right. I'm going to put that in quotes. <laughs> Hatchet, you said Italians. How did you not for... expect Sorry. me to say that, Hatchet? Sorry. Sorry for, like, pronouncing Italian differently than you, child. It's Ita it's Italian. Is there an A in Italian? Yes. It's Italian. Yeah, I mean at the start. No. Then why are you making an uh sound? Mm. That's what I was taught in school. I'm just... Putting this because that's how badly it felt like she was pronouncing it. <laughs> I love killing Italians. I'm almost gonna look at that like wondering like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh dear God. <laughs> Wait, which, uh... You think I, I spelled it right for how Bright pronounced it? Oh, I gotta do something. At At Bright, look, Momo. I am currently editing pictures. Look up. Added. God damn it. Bright, why are you harassing poor Momo? He's oh, wait. Uh, Midge is answering. Wait, you love killing me? <laughs> oh no. Right, what have you, you done? You dug your own grave! You dug oh. your own grave! Oh, well, I mean, I'm Italian, so that means I love ki- Okay. No, I'm not gonna finish that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. How long the... until Bright- how long until Bright starts making Mussolini jokes at this rate? Uh, what? I love punching that man's Bright... face in. How long until Bright fucking explodes? Hey Bright, you want to play GTA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d don't you know about... Uh, did you know GTA 5 is going to the Nintendo Switch? No one cares. Cool. What do you mean no one cares? Some really excited Japanese kids probably care. I lied. I just, so... oh. I, I just wanted to hear someone say. <laughs> hear someone say, "Mommy, what does what does the H word mean?" I can't say because the child's present. The hatchet. We you all know the fuck's sake. You are a first woman. <laughs> All right. Wait, so... what H word? Uh, uh, nothing you should know about. Hepatitis? <laughs> I mean, you can get that from that H word. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! It. Okay. Do you remember when we were talking about the horned shark earlier? Yeah. There. Just use words from that, and you'll figure it out. Oh. Uh, that actually reminds me. Uh. Oh god damn it! I that reminded them of something. Me, there was a Japanese streamer who didn't know what the N word was, and she was playing GTA Five. Oh no! Oh, oh no! And okay. she didn't know what oh, no. she didn't know what the guy was saying, so she repeated it, and her entire chat blew up. Oh, is this the Hollow Life one? I know what you're talking about. Was it? I don't think it was a Hollow Life. No, there was there was a Hollow Life uh, VTuber who. 
who musically set it back because they didn't know what the wrong Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Yeah, because of the Lamar roasting Franklin meme. Yeah. I mean, they they were very Japanese. They didn't understand. They don't understand English at all well, so they probably very didn't. Very Japanese. Well, and, uh, Japanese people, not all of them, but uh, there's a good number that they only see Americans as loud hot dogs. They're fat from soda. Even though soda doesn't even make you go fat. Actually, Italians. Uh, soda can make you fat. It literally... Uh, Soda yeah, like literally it. kicks vitamins out of your body and liquid. It, oh, does, it dehydrates you. Did you know that? It dehydrates you as instead of rehydrates you. Hey, Jerry. I did not know I, that. I'm going to help you add one more thing in the quotes and things. I love killing orphans. Uh... That's like so box standard. Get more creative, <laughs> right? Actually, wait, no. Don't get more creative. Because last time you tried to be more creative, we had that last game of Cards Against Humanity. I love killing or orphans that have depression. Right? I'm not putting that in quotes. Someone else does, but I won't. I ain't doing I that. Have, I have killed 37 orphans. I killed a, fa a thousand. Child, why? Why are you saying that, child? Anyway. I like, I like killing a thousand orphans. I think there are a thousand orphans. That you know of. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, uh, right? Do you make people into orphans? Maybe. <laughs> Is that why I'm an orphan? Maybe. You are well, no, you're orphan. no longer you an orphan want... thing. Penguin, you're know. not an orphan. You just want to be an orphan. No, penguin, you're no longer an orphan thanks to Bright, but we can change that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh, Bright, Bright, Bright. I can fix it. Run. I just need a knife. What the fuck? I'm Bright sorry. Is stupid. I'm so... Ignore her. Bright <laughs> is just a very stupid woman. Ignore her. Anyway, <laughs> so the main thing I'm trying to get to, the main point, is basically the difference between, in my mind, a good vegan activist and a bad vegan activist is whether or not they're able to understand nuance and actually look at systems rather than simply focus on individual actions because ultimately individual actions are just one part of broader systems wait is Brookham still here who heard all of that maybe <laughs> I want their thoughts of what I said like hell it's actually analogous to yeah, like it's it, it's analogous to how liberals think of racism. Like is ra or maybe I should say like older less progressive liberals. Like they don't think about racism as the system that it is. They focus more on is this person individually racist. But it's like yeah, you can use that to understand demographics in different places. You can use that to understand whether or not you want to actually be around a person. But it doesn't actually help the broader system improve. Or does it? No, it, it if the Republican if the Republican Party has taught us anything, it doesn't. Or I mean the Democratic Party. I like it the bigger hops now. Yeah, like Actually, I, I, I think this is funny. Like, I don't think I've said this out loud at any given point, but I could probably reasonably call myself a vegan activist while also not being a vegan because of the circumstances of my living condition. I live with my parents. Thus, I eat what my parents eat. I don't make money for myself to try to go vegan. And I do try to phase out more problematic meats and eat less meat overall but i mean so long as i'm living in my parents house i'm not going to be able to get off of meat entirely let alone stuff like cheese jesus christ
I don't think there's a good argument for getting rid of cheese so far. Oh yeah, I meant to say this hatchet, but the chonk has gained the ability to create earthquakes. Amazing. Uh, like, the argument for, like, trying to phase out cheese tends to be based on, uh, exploitation surrounding animals. Like... Yeah, but all the ones I've heard are t always talk about factory farms instead of normal farms. Well, that's the thing. The vast majority of cheese and meat we get are from factory farms. So that's where we talk about them. Obviously, again, if someone's not taking into account nuance and says all cheese, therefore, is the bad, I think that that's ineffective advocacy and probably not going to be the best way to actually think about it. But generally speaking, most cheese and meat that we get are coming from those fucked up factory farms. Actually, most of the cheeses and meats I've eaten throughout my life uh, we're from my hometown, which were not factory farms. Well, yeah, but that's... I, I mean, like, in terms of, like, the general population. The majority of the time when we get cheese, it's from a factory farm. Mm. Whenever which you have the... a chance, you can also get uh, cheese from a farmer's market, which... Yeah. I know not everyone can, but... That is much tastier cheese, and you get to see how happy the cows or the goats are. I like seeing happy goats. Yeah. And I like their cheese. And yeah, that's fair. Like... Yeah, like, that's the big thing. Like, veganism, like, vegan activism needs to like I said earlier, hinge on talking about how immoral factory farming is, rather than trying to act as if literally all expressions of this thing are bad. That's where we get from, that's where we go from being progressives into kind of regressive in the way that we're addressing this. Yeah. Because you're treating it like you're fundamentalist, which generally doesn't go well. Yeah. People like that, uh, a lot of people will get offended because uh, they probably, like me, grew up in areas where they knew the cow, they knew the chicken, and they knew the goats and the, the, all that other stuff. And it's kind of like saying, hey, these animals that you saw that looked very happy, um, they weren't actually treated nicely. They're actually miserable. It's like, well, you don't know those farms. You don't know those farmers. You don't know anything about them. Well, I they guess also that's... don't look factory farming either. They, they, that actually plays bad for farmers as well. Yeah. I guess that's also just the thing. Like, it really, really depends on which rural community we're talking about. Because, look, like around here where I live, like the majority of people who have livestock out here do treat them very well. But they would never like they are also the same sorts of people that would probably be wanting to strip vegans of their human rights i could see that like i think it commonly just has to do with a difference of the moral fiber and makeup of a group of people combined with their economic conditions and how they were raised around these topics my fucking flying dragon apple just produced 10 eggs in a matter of minutes. Let's see. Are you still saying it's moral? Yeah, it's ethical. Yeah, I thought so. Jerry, do you know about me ethically producing uh, apples for a green one? Not ethical. Uh, it is not ethical. W what's going on? The child is creating a mini Pokemon version of factory farming. No, 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 no. See, okay, let I can explain, okay? You want to know what it is? See, I want one green apple. But every time I breed my Pokemon, I'm getting red apples. 
but I want a You're green apple. You're literally trying to say I'm mass per I'm doing this farm thing so I can get the thing. And so it's not wrong because I want the thing. That's not yeah. how it works. I can think of a lot of immoral things that people have wanted. Have you ever heard about this one guy named Epstein? Oh no. Oh no. Did Einstein? you know Mr. Mr. dropped a, a bomb on the Middle East? Uh, like, like a child. Mr. Tactical Explosives himself, Obama, is on Epstein's list somewhere, apparently. Or maybe I'm getting that wrong. There's a lot of celebrities on Epstein's, like, little book, apparently. Yeah, there's kind of a reason why uh, he very conveniently had to die when he did, because based upon the circumstances surrounding it, it's kind of clear that the majority of big name old politics members of the country were on that list. Are you saying he had the ability to go out and kill those people? Were those people on that list? No. The people on those lists were his patrons. Oh. The, the patrons for uh engaging in extremely illegal no no fun not i shouldn't say i shouldn't say fun there no no times with children that he may or may not have acquired through very obviously illegal means and what oh. he the first the first time he was caught on it he was sentenced to, to prison for like a year and then served all of it in his mansion on probation basically and then the second time he was caught, he was going to have his whole ass black book of people that he's worked with in doing this end up being exposed to the nation. And he, uh, let's just say, uh, um, decided that that was the best time to off himself in an unbelievable chain of events of, uh, circum of, of happenstance in which all the guards that that had been instructed to keep an eye on him because he was deemed a uh, um, auto homicide risk. Uh, just just so happened to you know be taking like a couple hours off. You know they they went off probably got some coffee and donuts. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. They tell me we stayed higher as guards. There's, there's absolutely no way that Epstein didn't auto-homicide in that instance. That's definitely not what happened. Don't worry. And honestly, in that case, even if he did actually auto-homicide, he obviously was basically just hiding secrets that would have revealed this much shit. More of the story is, uh, our government is fucked. And uh, kind of the whole world is fucked to some extent because literally the only reason he could get away with this is because he's a fucking multi-billionaire. Like, when you have that much money, you literally can do anything and get away with it. Yeah. You know, I should be, be, be doing what Wright's doing and leveling my Pokemon, but instead I want one green apple and I love wrecking havoc on the environment Why around me. Penguin? What? Let go of the idea of the shiny. shiny. No. Look, okay, see, I have a Japanese ditto, and the Japanese ditto can breed with literally anything, which. Uh, six times is the chance of me getting a shiny, so instead of being in the 6,000s, it's in the 600s. Wow. And I've already done, like, 50, 50 apples I've already released into the wild, so... No. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like you're desperately trying to make a, like, a profitable, heavily inbred species of fish to sell on the aquarium market. <laughs> I thought you were going to say eugenic. Which is technically right, because I only want well, one that's, kind. Well, that's also the case, but you, but eugenics specifically is applied to people. It's literally just what we do with animals, but if you try to do it with humans. Yeah. 
backup went. Yay, breeding humans! No, yes. no. I think you go bright. 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 What? Bright. Do you have a brain? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, could you please invest in one because I would like to keep this server up. <laughs> Look, what is it? Bright's. Why does that happen? Hatchet, I'm gonna say this as nicely as possible. I don't think Bright could inv invest in a brain even if she tried. Hey. Yeah. She's too reckless. She <laughs> leaps before she looks, and even after she leaps, she tip she doesn't always look. <laughs> she... <laughs> Fuck you. Bright stands at wrong? the Bright stands at the edge of a cliff. Bright is given the option to leap. To not leap, and to look down, Bright simply stares up at the sky, and then does a fucking backflip off the ledge into the rocks below. <laughs> Why does that sound like some cheap something she might do? I don't know, Bright. Bright, if you don't include that in one of your in like like a side short story comedy about your character, I'm going to be disappointed. Actually, no, no, no. Here, here's here's my thing. You're all wrong. Bright is the type of person. So you know, in how in cartoons. The the big ba bad will be chasing the good guy, and then they'll they'll the the good guy will jump so that they don't fall into a pit, but the villain won't, and the villain will pause, look at the the camera, or the, look at the person yeah. watching the cartoon, yeah, look like down, the, the look wily back, coyote and then, stuff. yeah, yeah, that's that's what Bright would do. She's wily coyote. Mm -hmm. That actually, yeah, that is scarily accurate. <laughs> Except that I would use a minigun. Bright, bright, bright. I don't know how to tell you this, but mini guns do not stop gravity. Now I know this is a very hard concept for your no, brain to grasp. I'm talking grasp. about shooting the bird. We're talking about a cliff. <laughs> I. I feel like there's not much going on in Bright's head. I feel like if you like did the like you knock on Bright's skull. Uh, it's hollow. I think, you. It's, Sorry. I think he's just not a, up to our usual due to not having as much food. Fair actually, point. I actually I kind of question whether or not act Bright actually has a skull. Fuck you. Fair point, yeah. The soft spot never healed and it just didn't consume her oh. skull. Okay, this is getting bad. Let's stop that. I'm what? just getting fucking roasted for no reason <laughs> yeah sorry. you deserve you. it actually you there there is a reason you are you and you say fucking awful stupid shit that you shouldn't i like killing earth orphans what things like that <laughs> I mean, at least we know- at least we don't have to ask whether or not Bright's in on her own joke. Or am I? You're either in on your joke, or, or you me. don't deserve to have a- have a channel. <laughs> or Those I? are the only options. Pick one. Or should I? Shut up. <laughs> Can we just all agree that she's not the sharpest tool in the shed? But yeah, we still love her. I'm the Shrek song? It's lying, you're not... idiot. And it's... Oh my god. <laughs> you you referenced All-Star, a song by Smash Mouth that has... that has that commonly used phrase in it. And then you called it, you are a Shrek song. And you wonder why we say these things. <laughs> Smash Mouth, I'm sorry to tell you this, Smash Mouth is not run by Shrek. It would be like ten times better if it was. Oh, pretty little chain catch. No. 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 
Why would you say that, Spood? What horrible nightmares do you want to inflict on others? So, okay, so from my totally ethical amount of breeding. Of no animal, ethical in, in the amount of breeding you've done. So, from my research, uh, I'm pretty sure at max, the picnic basket that you pick up the eggs from, uh, the basket can hold up to 10 eggs because that is the most I have gotten from the basket every five ish minutes. Also, are shinies good luck or bad luck? Because, like, if they're that rare, that kind of insinuates that it's a birth defect. Think of them as albinism in the Pokemon world. Technically, while humans enjoy it, it makes it harder for the animal to live in the wild. Fair. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, like, the camouflage is absolutely fucked. I have a question that confuses me. You know how ghost-type Pokemon are are humans, right? Uh, it depends on the type of ghost-type. No, like, yeah, like we... on some ghost-type uh, that are humans, you can breed them to create more ghost-type humans. I would like an explanation. Don't think too deeply on that. I would like Bright to stop talking. <laughs> this is a Jiri, Dragon, and Hatchet Head stream now. There is no Bright. You do not see the Bright in the water. Well, to be honest, after... Oh my god. To be honest, after this lecture, I'm gonna have to take a shit. Uh, gonna have to take a shit. Uh... I'm probably needing to go get coffee sometime soon as well, so that works. I has coffee. Coffee is good. Jerry stole exact. coffee from Hatchet. It's a mix of coffee, chocolate, uh, marshmallows, and a cinnamon stick. Jerry stole coffee from Hatchet. No. My coffee has chocolate, marshmallows, and a cinnamon stick. Go F yourself. <laughs> I have a very important question. It already sounds like it might be the case, but Jerry, do you have a coffee maker? Like a coffee machine? I use a coffee drip. Well, same basic thing. In other words, Jiria has much better coffee than me. They don't have a reason to steal from me. Or do they? Anyway, I'm I'll be sorry, back. Hatchet. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> my first uh, coffee drip was from a Japanese dollar store. I mean, and it worked amazing. I mean, it's fine. Ultimately, like, I, I wouldn't trade the convenience I get from my little coffee tea bags for much, but... Coffee tea bags? Yeah, they're basically just tea bags, but they have coffee grounds. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Why are you apologizing? It's really convenient. It just doesn't taste as good as something that's fresh out of, like, a proper roaster. I... I... Oh no, I really do have better coffee than you. Yeah. Oh. Jerry is a superior coffee nut. I'll, I'll praise the coffee lord, Jerry. I don't use anything expensive. I'll praise the coffee lord, Jerry. Oh, I'm not a coffee lord. Hey, Bright, can you change Jerry's name to Coffee Lord? No! <laughs> oh, wait, did Bright already head off? Probably. Ah. Coffee Lord? How about this? I changed my name to Coffee Snake. I am fine with that. That is a good compromise. All right, let me just figure out how the fuck to do that. Coffee Lord. Oh. There we go. I'm doing it right now. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay. Jerry, what do you think? What? A noodle always has its flavored coffee. What? Are you saying a noodle that's flavored coffee? What, Spoon? Does that even exist? Why am I going to look that up? Why are you looking it up? It, it, it doesn't exist, right?
shiny is cute. Coffee ramen. I looked it up and coffee uh, flavored pasta does not exist. I'm very happy. There is a coffee ramen. You're welcome. What? Ramen coffee. Coffee ramen. Yum yum yum. Oh, you are chilled coffee uh, uh, is a Japan summer thing. Oh, thank you. I hate it. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Oh, actually, those aren't, those don't look like true noodles. Are they glass noodles? They, they don't look thin enough to be glass noodles. They also don't look, well, we'll find out. Like, we'll find out. But anyways, I put in triggering topics. What? You can put that in dumb posts, you know. It triggers people. Put it in dumb posts. The person says, I forgot to take the old coffee pot out of the coffee maker for making cup noodles. Wee. Why does it look like licorice? One, okay, one egg, two eggs, three eggs. It is a apparently a coffee gelatin soba. Five eggs, six eggs, seven eggs, eight eggs. Nine eggs. Ten eggs. Maybe eleven? Damn, okay, it, it's max ten. I can only hold ten. Why, Spood? Mm. Why? Mm. And you can put both of those in dumb. You can trigger everyone of all ages. You can trigger everyone of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not taking it back. Uh, if you put it in dumb posts, then you can torture Penguin with it. Did we torture Penguin? Yes. So take it out of triggering topics and put in dumb posts because that is not even above 18. That is not even teen. It's food. It's disturbing food, but it is not adult food. It is food children could eat. They probably wouldn't like it. They'd probably ask, what's wrong with you? And that'd be a valid question. Oh no, I found something far worse, Jerry. You know what? Take all three of those pictures and put them all in dumb pose. Would not recommend. Should I delete the pictures out of triggering topics for you? Okay, I'm doing that. Put all three in dumb posts. There we go. Hoot <laughs> whisperer. My fart, fart 
words do not whisper. What the hell are you talking about? I really hope Red Scream can't hear us. Well, that's uh, too bad. Did you say something, Penguin? We can hear you. Oh! Well, <laughs> you can hear me because of the chat we're in right now, right? Do not Bright Scream. Are you saying Bright Scream can also hear us? Probably. Well, I'm not going to assume such unless one of Bright's viewers says they can hear us. So it's been like five minutes. Let's see if I was actually right with my asp ex my guess that it every five minutes produces ten eggs. Okay, wait. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, fuck. Hmm, my math was wrong. Unless, wait, maybe the effects of the thing I was using wore off. Okay, that's why. How many eggs do I have? 